I don't understand. My keyboard just isn't working on this computer. It's it's plugged in. Lights on. It's connected with Bluetooth to this computer. No, sir. No, sir. Get the fuck out of here. What? No. No. Bad IQnix. Get out of here. Sticky keys. Listen. Doesn't it doesn't explain this is in wired mode. Like, why is it connecting? Why is it even trying to connect with Bluetooth? It's literally in the wired mode. Hey, sometimes you gotta slap it around a little bit. Oh, that, now it's working. Hey, look at that. You slap it around a little bit and it just starts working. <laughs> I don't know why, that was weird. Okay, now that should be fine. Now, the bad news is that the technical difficulties are absolutely happening on this computer. Which is tragic. And I don't know what's causing it. Um... Okay. They suck so much. I hate tech issues, yeah. Which computer? The main one. The game in one. Power usage of Streamlabs OBS. Why is there like 19? Oh, it's all the different cores. Um. This. Because I have to send the projector output. There's no way to get around it. I remember when I got engaged. She walked in the room with a positive pregnancy test. I said, I suppose we should get married so we all have the same surname. That is a true story. She's my ex-wife now. <laughs> all also a true story. Huh. Um, okay. Well, hooch. That's uh, it's a far venture from your normal microwaving Sylvanas joke. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Thanks for the two bucks. Better story than wow. <laughs> You're so hilarious. <laughs> Hopefully it stops. I could have a fucking loose cable. Well, good, Hooch. Whatever's best for the kids, you know? I'm, I'm glad you still get time with them. A lot of it. What are you eating? I'm eating the best chip in the universe. Baked ruffle, sour cream and cheddar. I'm gonna kill the cricket. You like it? You want it in the background? Ketchup chips, I still can't believe it. Nah, who she came away with her kids. You're alright. I know, Bagnetic, it's so fucking bad, dude. Sorry for chewing into the microphone. Sorry. Well, we lost half our viewers. That's fucking shit. <laughs> Let's get back into it. Let's actually play the game. So anyway, at the end of the day, I'll look at how many subs we got, and we'll use that as a determining factor of how many we unlocked. But I'm pretty sure so far we've already on. I'm pretty sure we've already got a. Uh, I think two. 
They're pretty fucking close to two. I feel like we've got two at least. I'm also having one of the other best snack foods in the universe. The snack that smiles back, motherfucker. Goldfish. It's so good. It's like crack. If you could take crack without doing anything illegal or something that's gonna kill you and make it into a cracker, that's what a goldfish is. The Parmesan ones are literal fucking fire. Maybe we actually play this game now, huh? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Good morning. I trust you slept well, or at least better than I did. Could see my dozed off in the middle of something, but your carousing, carousing with Lord Hien and Gosetsu woke me from my fitful slumber, and I retired to my bunk. All oh, right, he was he was sleeping, um, leaned up against Alize. Alize, Alize is faring rather less well than either of us, but she will be fine. I'm sure, as so long as you do not remind her of what you saw. Yeah, we won't bring it up, Alpha. How's the goldfish taste? It's a... Uh... What do you compare a goldfish to? The texture of it is just so good because it's airy. It's like inside a goldfish is hollow. So it's got a good crunch. Can't really see, but. A cheese it? Yeah. It's like a cheese it crossed with an oyster cracker. Mm hmm. And a little bit. Maybe a teeny bit saltier? I don't know. Alright. All hangs in the balance as he and well knows. There he is. I trust you are none the worse for wear after last night. Yeah, not really. We received commu uh, conf Okay. We received confirmation from the Kojin not long ago. Their sappers stand at the ready and await our signal. Let us not keep them and the others waiting. Gather your things. We departed once. Okay, we're going to Doma Castle. Oh yeah, I have to fix the sub goal. God fucking damn it. I'm so sorry. Tylonius told me to do this, like... 30 minutes ago. We'll just set it to... How many would it be total? Fuck. It'd be like six... If we got... If we literally did all of them today, it'd be 16. So we'll just say... I don't know. We'll just say 7-5 for now. Technically, it's just every 100 subs, but... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. God fucking damn it. There we go. That is what I wanted to do. 100 billion. We could set that as a goal. That's a... Kind of an insane goal. This... This... Cricket, dude. Alpha, no. Instruct Lee and the others to move into position and launch their attack. What's in the tank? It, it's a uh, bearded dragon. Our scouts report no change in the Imperial's disposition, but I would leave nothing to chance. We must act quickly, lest we lose the element of surprise. Understood. I will re relay your orders uh, to her and rejoin my unit. Kasetsu and Yagiri uh, uh, await the two of you at Monzen. Good luck, my friends. I will see you both again soon. It's still going. Dude. 
<laughs> He's singing the song of his people. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. All right. Can I mount here? Yes. Can I go out here? Of course not. Can I fly out? Of course not. There's a hole somewhere, is there? I can't see shit with that thing open. I got bit by a horsefly once. It fucking hurts. Yeah. Not, uh, just not feely goody. I'll tell you that. It's pretty shit. Yeah, I'm just having the original goldfish. I love this version of this song. It's so good, dude. The music in this game just never disappoints. I'll say that. Never. Alright, here we go. Lise will contact us once the attack has begun, after which the others will carry out their allotted tasks. Our part comes last. Alright. And now we wait. I have dreamed of this day, a chance for freedom, for liberation, for redemption, after 25 years of regret. That thing's disgusting. And now it's dead. All right. Let's go then. Let's see what we got. Understood. Wish us luck. Right. You all know what you have to do. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Ready to show them what a good job they made of breaking us. Then what are you waiting for? Move out! Lisa's like running a squad and shit. <sighs> Why must we waste our time guarding this blasted... Hmm? Uh-oh. Looks like you're fucked. Sound the alarm! Fluminous is under attack! Armed insurgents have breached the perimeter! We need reinforcements!
This is Lee's. Imperial forces hmm. converging on our position. Looks like we've got their attention. We'll be sure to keep them busy for as long as we can. Sorry about the chewing, guys. I'm sorry. Not meaning to. Yo! <laughs> What's good? The liberation of Doma Castle has begun. Ah, war! To wield power to make men kneel before you. There is no better feeling. Yo, what if Xenos wanted us to kill his dad? So he could take the throne. Maybe that's why he wants us to be so powerful. He's next in line, dude. All right? Kill my father. Let me assume the throne. Some crazy shit. That's definitely what he's gonna do. He doesn't like having to the listen to his dad. I know that's a random a thought, but I was thinking of it earlier in the cinematic. Preening, Oranir. You fear that she will put the sun in shade. Hold on. Those are for you. Go, claim your prey. Some shitty Imperial ships. Those things suck. That's where Askians hang out. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Okay, that was pretty cool. Oh shit! Drops back down onto the swooping bird. That was awesome. These in game cinematics are fucking sweet. I like WoW's fully rendered CGI cinematics, but the in-game cinematics in this game are far superior, dude. I mean, it's it's not even close. <laughs> Come to me! Come to your death! Yes, mama. I'm just kidding. Balls, my soul <laughs> soars higher! Okay. Send it. Swiftly, brothers! Fall not behind! Make an offering of their steel to Father Azim! Get it. Seems lightly guarded, considering what it is. This is gonna be bad. This altercation with Yosetsu's, or Yotsuyu is not gonna be good. <laughs> they seem to be enjoying themselves. Hmm. My lord, the barrier! The barrier! That it should fall so soon! Truly, our allies seem determined to surpass each other. The wall is free.
The Magitech field is down. I repeat, the Magitech field is down. Confederate vessels, you are clear to advance upon the Enclave. Do we even have to say that? Can't anyone know? <laughs> I mean, I get it, but... Do you think they didn't notice? The feds are here. <laughs> Confederales! Blasting shit. So anyway, I just started blasting. Damn. His plan is working. The wall is breached. The Kojin 2 will not be outdone. How fucked up would it be if there was like nobody even in there and we just uselessly flooded the castle of Doma and uh, Yatsuyu just is like, how's that feel, dumbass? Like I'm the only one in here and you just fucking literally flooded your own palace because you thought you had to. Our allies have set the stage. Now we must take the castle. It seems like it's going too well for us, don't you think? Almost like With me. Xenos didn't give enough of a fuck to fortify this place enough to actually stop us from taking it back because he doesn't give a shit about it. What the fuck would Xenos care about this, this place for? Gives a fuck. And if he baits us into Garlemald there's some shit like that or into a, you know, My lady, then there's a higher the chance we, we kill the breached. Emperor. The lower levels are already flooded and the water is still rising. Mm-hmm. So I gathered. He would tear the whole thing down. All for the promise of freedom. A noble sacrifice. Or the last desperate flailings of a fool. Ah. Speaking of which, how fares my brute? The the procedure was carried out as instructed by Lord Aulus. Uh by all indications. It was a success. Uh, the what now? Is that so? Then he may yet be of some use. Devotees of vengeance should rightly pursue their cause unto the bitter end, don't you think? Their hearts aflame with passion until the last few embers fizzle and fade. Leaving naught but ash. She's so nuts. The Viceroy's orders were clear. If Dorma falls, none shall be spared his wrath. Tell the men to fight as if their lives depend on it. Because they do. Well, if they don't fight and win, then they're probably gonna die anyway, right? I mean, when they're fighting us. As you command, my lady. I mean, I not I know that not everybody dies when their health hits zero, but again, they come to make you kneel, to make you grovel and suffer. Ooh. But you have endured their worst and survived. You know their tricks. They will not find a flower simply waiting to be plucked. Whoa. Good little monologue there. I like that. Some interesting insight into Yatsuyu. She feels like she has overcome. We will find out if she has. I mean, she went through some pretty fucked up shit. I mean... The way that uh, she was treated as a child was pretty terrible. It is done. The water surges through the broken masonry and floods the castle even as we speak. Though my heart breaks at the sight of it, I must be strong. All is for the sake of, of Doma. Yeah, you're right, Gosetsu. We out here. 
The Confederacy report that they have secured the Enclave. We need not fear for the civilian safety. Good. You're implying that I was going to be worried about the civilian safety. Aye, there can be no doubt. The Viceroy is trapped. And so comes our part. Oh wait, he's not pretty. He's He has a different kind of voice. He's like a... Aye, there can be no doubt. <laughs> the Viceroy is trapped. And so comes our part. Our coach and allies will deliver us to our destination. To the Western Dock. And do not forget to bring your fellow adventurers, Pyro. Oh, I turned into English at the end there. What's going on? I can't help myself. There's so many of them in this game, I find myself drifting into it all the time. Fuck. Now let's go this way. Speak with the blue skiff, Captain. I'm getting on a blue skiff. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You understand, chat? Oh, I can fly. I forgot I could fly. Whoa. Down here, here we go. Whoa, there's a lot of people here. Hello, everyone. Oh, we're about to go in, huh, I guess. I can only imagine the chaos inside the castle. To be trapped by the rising waters and know the enemy is at their gates. They will fight with every ounce of their strength. As we will them, for the eyes of history are upon us. When I led the Doman refugees to Eorzea, I did so only with the intention of seeking sanctuary. The thought of enlisting you and yours to aid us in another rebellion did not once cross my mind. Yet here we stand. Shoulder to, sh to shoulder. Ready to strike at the heart of the occupation. It has been and ever will be an honor, Pyro. Cool. To see the castle thus defaced, and by our own hands, it is enough to make me smile, to laugh at the sheer absurdity of it. Right, right. But this is not the end. But it is an ending. Soon. Soon I will be free. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Because he's like sworn he's sworn in service to this guy, right? I was watching some stuff on like uh Japanese um history and like samurais I think like samurai were like originally often used like for hire by very high, you know, high status people to protect them and stuff. And uh, like, I don't really know the rules of it, but if you're like sworn, like, I mean, once you swear in, like that's like, I mean, that's binding shit, right? He meant uh, free, yeah, but here he meant free from the shame of losing Doma to, to, the, em oh, to the empire twice. Yeah, you're pro yeah, yeah. For hire for a lord, okay. So he's not talking about, yeah, I don't know. I, I was just, that wasn't really necessarily, like, specifically to that point of him becoming free, but I was just commenting, I guess, on samurai in general. Greetings and well met, my friends. Climb aboard, climb aboard. There's room enough for you all. Pyro, that we might improve our odds of success, we will divide into two parties upon arrival. One compromising you and your adventure comrades, the other Gosetsu, Yugiri and myself. Each will enter the, the vault. The, blah, blah, blah. Each will enter the keep via a separate route, dispatching any Imperial forces that attempt to bar their path. Okay. Even should one. Okay, I don't, don't want to. Yeah. Even should one meet this misfortune, this misfortune, the other will reach out. So you agreed? Yep, here we go. He's a mod for hand. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. He's sworn to hand. He's a mod. Yeah. Then let us be about it for Doma. Doma Castle now accessible. Okay, before the river swallow. Yeah, it's gonna get pretty bad. How, how many people is this? Oh, it's a dungeon. A dungeon. Who do I bring for the dungeon? Someone's got a tank. Someone's got a tank. Nice. Here we go. Cool. 
To win a war, one must be willing to do whatever is required. Even if it means sacrificing the very thing one set out to reclaim. And thus did Lord Hian declare that Doma Castle should be flooded, to eliminate the greater portion of the Imperial garrison, and to trap Yotsuyu within the keep. Your allies have set the stage, and now you must play your part, as well as the wandering adventurers whom you have recruited to fight for Doma's liberation. The fate of a nation shall be decided this day. Marshal your forces and venture unto the unto the flooded fortress. All right. Vulsion, thanks so much for subbing with a prime and reels reels real rags. Thanks for subbing with a tier one Haven Birch. Thanks for subbing with a prime for two months. Congrats on the new sub badge. And Cole Red or Colonel Red, color Red, Cole Red. I am having a good time. Thanks for the two month sub and congrats on the new sub badge. Oh shit. We're gonna get some bangers. Some g -g 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 cat jammers. Oh, Pepe D is a good one for this, dude. Rat Jam's not bad either. All right, here we are. Wow, this is huge. Let's see, how do I want to do... Okay, we'll do one of those, and one of those, and one of those, and one of those, and one of these, and one of these. You're on the roofs, by the way? Oh. Wait, I mean, I guess, yeah. I mean, obviously, this is, like, the ground level's down there. And this is all Gar Garland bullshit here. Yeah, all this bullshit. They built all over. What the fuck? Music is so good, dude. I like this. I like this music in here a lot. start actually using between the lines now. I keep forgetting I can do that. Yeah, that's that's a nice ability right there. I gotta get used to that.
Mm, I don't have that yet. The third armory. That thing looks pretty cool. Cool. That was a fun boss. I like that. There was a lot of shit happening on the floor there. Ishino Kuru Kurua? Nino Kurua? I don't know what these words mean. Oh shit. It is still alive. Whoops. What am I doing? I thought we killed it. So much health, I know.
Uh, I say lost audio. No. It happens. If I restart, I'm just going to be right back here, right? Press Control S. I don't have. There isn't. A, there's no bound. There's no bind to Control S. Relax. We can hear you, but not the game. I, I know. I know what you guys can hear. Yeah, you just come right back. Okay, I'll just exit the game. That's the first time that's happened. It happens rarely. Okay, it's not a big deal. I'm enjoying this dungeon a lot. It's got nice pacing. The music's fun. It's kind of fun feeling like you're kind of like going through the maze that is like the collapsed Doma, you know? Getting to see the Doma and architecture firsthand, like this stuff is, is some of it's really neat. Uh, it's exciting. I'm liking the dungeon. Never seen that bug and I got over 600 hours. Well, lucky you. Lucky you, sir. Bobby Kotick's maze, dude. Kick BLM for AFK? I agree. There we go. Thanks for being here, everybody. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're enjoying being here. I'm having fun playing. Um, I feel back in the groove of it. I think I'm I'm into the part of Stormblood that's getting interesting. And um, starting to feel good again. I mean, uh, we got some extra time, so let's just, you know, let's keep pushing. That's why I want to do a long stream today, because we just I just want to keep it pushing. Why didn't you guys vote kick that dumb fucking black mage, dude? He was literally AFK for like a minute, two minutes, dude. That's unacceptable. I have shit to do. I have to go grind. I have to go grind Azerite. Okay. I have shit to do. Do you know? Do you understand that? Good thing. That's cool. What the fuck? Magitek Hexadrone? This is shit that the. Okay. The Garlands are starting to freak me out with some of the stuff that they have. <laughs> Circle of Death? Oh, fuck. Well, that's pretty obvious. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm just over here being a black mage. I'm sorry. I'll try to get in the next one. What the fuck are those? Oh, it's all... Okay. Hmm...
I don't know if that's just a tank thing or not, but I'm going to help you. You can do it! Let's go! Only 21%! You can that you can do it! Only 20%! That's awesome. So, should we not be in that? I mean, we we obviously have to soak those, but we died to that thing we were standing in, not, that's what we died to, right? Oh, there was two towers on the first one? Oh. I didn't even see the second tower. I was just so focused on the tower that I was standing in. So one person per tower? Tank got knocked away from another. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Where are you guys going? The red lines on the ground knock people away if they touch them. Oh, I see. Yeah, you gotta be really careful of those. The entire tower was almost entirely covered in lasers. Oh, the other tower was. Ah, gotcha. So I guess I could send it in there and use like a sure cast and that would stop me from getting knocked back and I could successfully soak. Like that's one of, that's like the cl the clutch play that can save it, but other than that you're probably you're probably fucked. Yeah, but you might die. Yeah, probably. Even if I had mana ward up, I'd probably die depending on how hard it hits. Oh, tank has its own. Oh. It's not necessary. No, 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 I, I understand. I'm just saying if it's like covered and you get knocked out of it. I don't know. Tank at arm's length, yeah. Whatever. We all here? Oh no, we got one more. It will never be fully covered. I understand that, I understand. But in the event that someone gets knocked out is what I'm saying. Do one of these. I triple casted way too soon. Oh, whoops. Oh, I went. Uh, that was an accident. <laughs> I accidentally hit a. Sh I accidentally hit the vine to go back to it right after I went to you. <laughs> whoops. Sorry about that. I would. I kind of dumb goof too. Well, I fucked that one up. Magitech missiles. Oh, 
I got this one. Oh, please. I think I'm gonna get this one, you know? Just a feeling. Nice. Fun boss. I like that. I like, went to it and then immediately accidentally hit between the lines and went back. Would you consider using the Gosetsu emote I made for you in the Discord art channel? I fully understand. Oh, I totally forgot! After this dungeon, please remind me. After this dungeon, Gosetsu emote. I will use that. I will use that. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go back to that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like trying to min-max single target DPS on trash right now, like... <laughs> Instead of putting it in one of my emote slots, could I put it on like... I wonder if I can put it on like... Uh, BTTV or, or something like that, so that way I can just use it to replace the Keck W emote entirely. You know, instead of having two different ones. I don't think I've ever uploaded an emote there. Is that just like a you just go on you just like a free thing? You just go on and stick it on there or what? I don't, know. I don't really know. I don't know. The mods are on fire. Oh, they always are, dude. Because normally the building's on fire. Oh shit! I'm pretty sure that is the the proper macro, uh, even though it's kind of spammy. I'm pretty sure that is what I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Someone else gave it to me, so like I, I didn't I don't I don't know. You can always get seven seven TV there visible to those who have Frank. I'm not I'm not familiar. I like the glamour. Thanks. There's also a mouse over action plugin in uh, XIV Launcher. Good to know. I didn't know that. It's kind of new. The spam's intended. It improves usability. Right. No, I just meant in the chat. I didn't mean like the spam of the ability. Like when I use mine, my whole fucking chat lights up red. What did they do to him? Oof. He became Doom Guy.
It's the new Dead by Daylight character. Hypertuned Grinwall. 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 I don't know how to say his name. Oh, nice. I didn't think he was actually going to say it. Boom! The music is so fucking sick. Can you stop shooting at me, dude? We go together! This is actually really twisted. Die, die, I think, die. if I mean... It's the more that I think about it, the more I'm like, uh, I didn't like this guy, but this is pretty bad. You didn't have to do that. Only comic relief. I didn't know if you would notice that the AoE had already been placed by you. Yeah, I saw it. But thank you. It's all good. Ugh, that's like, uh, yeah. Your character does not celebrate that victory. Uh, yeah, that's true. I guess we did not. Yeah, I don't, I don't really feel good about that one. Have you aught to say for yourself? For what you have done to our people? Your people? My people, he says. The precious lordling beloved by all come to confront the wicked witch.
my parents taught me no better. They woke me from dawn to dusk like an ox or an ass or some other piece of burden. Until, that is, my brother spied a chance to transform the family fortunes. And so I was married to a vicious old drunk, who beat me as he pleased. And when I pleaded for help, I was told to grin and bear it. For the family, for him, for everyone's sake. They pretended not to notice, but they knew. They knew! What did it matter? I was nothing to them. Less than nothing. I wasn't of their flesh. I wasn't a fellow Domon. I wasn't even a person. I might just as well have been dead. And then my husband passed away one day. And so I was sold off yet again to pay his debts. But this time, this time, I found a way to live for myself, to survive as a spy for the Empire. Oh, those were the days when the scales first fell from my eyes. No longer would I be a slave to my parents or my husband or the pleasure house. I would be free and receive due compensation. That would be enough, I thought. Until I saw a doorman in the road, beaten and broken. And my heart... My heart skipped a beat. Lying at my feet, groaning in agony, yeah. sobbing in despair. Powerless, helpless, hopeless. A vision forever seared into my soul. <laughs> oh. There was nothing I would not do to feel that joy again. To bend this cruel, twisted world to my whims. <sighs> <laughs> Now, having borne witness to my life's work, oh my have you got to say to me? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead. Stupid fucking cricket was driving me nuts. I need an excuse to stand up and try to do something about it. Sorry about that. Right. <laughs> it was kind of you to lend me your ear, my lord. But now it is time for us to conclude our little tete-a-tete -tete with a final game of chance. Uh -oh. Who shall stand and who shall fall? Let the die be cast. This was her plan from the first, to bring the keep down on our heads. Holy shit. Dude. I will remember your words. That was fucking sick. That was so sick. He just cut that fucking bullet right in half. We must flee. Order our forces to withdraw. 
and just an in-game cutscene. That was just like an in-game. Like, what? That was so sick. Eddie, thanks for something with a prime. That was awesome. You still can! I cannot hold it forever! No! We will not leave you behind! Do your duty! Deliver Lord Hien and the others to safety! Now! Forthwith! I shall manage on my own! I'm sorry that I looked away for a second there. I got a really important message from a, a potential house, so... You can... you can... you can... Spam blind at me all you want, but I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Gosetsu, can you not do this? Can we just, like, prop a stick in there? I mean, look, if you've been able to hold it for this long, like... Everyone else is already gone, man. Like, just... Come on, dude. It's obviously not that. I mean, he's just standing here. I mean, it's not that fucking heavy. <laughs> You fucking bitch! Oh! Kosetsu! Oh shit. You fucking bitch. No one leaves. Not you or anyone else. Tis not this old frame cannot bear. Now, all of you, the day is won, and the morrow beckons. Do not despair, my friend. Never before have I felt so alive. My eyes unclouded, my purpose clear. This is right. Okay. Go, Setsu. You never failed us. Not once. You served my father faithfully. And I'm a better man for your guidance. And the Doma we built together shall be better for it, too. Be proud, my friend. Be proud. I am, Shun. More than you know. Hien! Hien! was never my vice.
How merciful the gods that I should find you in time. I'm devastated, dude. I like Gosetsu a lot. Go figures, the guy I wanted to make an emote of. Gosetsu? We must turn back now before it is too late. Okay, now you just got shit blowing up just to blow it up. That doesn't even make no sense. There's like explosions for what? Like eyes forward, Serena. <laughs> that was his wish. I will deliver you to safety. The others are waiting. That was, um... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> that was... I was not expecting Gosetsu to die. That sucks. <laughs> but at least that other... Crazy. I mean, I don't. I even sort of feel bad. I don't know. I feel bad for, her, but I don't. She was. She was. She went through some terrible, terrible things, and that. And but she did some really fucked up shit. Yotsuyu is one of the most twisted characters I've met so far. Are you saying she was morally gray? Uh... Uh... No, not quite. No. Goodbye, tyrant mommy. Yeah, she was a little metal, dude. She got a little intense. I can't believe what she did to Grenwap. Gren Green Grenwap? I don't know how the fuck to say his name. Okay, give me a second, chat. I, um... I have an issue here. I applied for a house. The gentleman who owns the house, though, does not... quite understand how I make money. I need to write this email. Hold on. It's kind of important. <laughs> Come on, computer. Here we go. Okay. Now you guys can't see the email, obviously.
Um, I'll read it to you in a second. Okay, why does this guy need to know? Um, because he's the person who, why does he need to know unless you're renting? Because that's what it is. That, that, that's, that, is, that is what it is. Um, and, I, and we're not buying this house. This is just a different, this is not, you have to prove you can f afford payments, right? Which is not an issue. Didn't you said, say you bought a house? No. No, I did not say that. I did not say that I bought a house. Um, we are, we've applied to rent this house and he's asking what I do. Um, because he wants to know, you know, he wants to know how I make money. He doesn't understand. Um, yeah, so I basically said, he said, he said, I don't think he quite understands your job. Um, could you respond with a blurb to explain how you make money to someone that doesn't understand Twitch? He's assessing for risk that you won't be able to pay rent. So anything that speaks to the stability of your income is helpful. Um, which I do have a, a minimum Uh. Um, hold on. So, huh. 
I said... Uh, basically, Twitch is an online entertainment website like YouTube. Users can go to Twitch and live stream to an audience that can choose to support uh, that creator's entertainment by contributing in the form of a subscription. Twitch also has deals with major brands like the ones you know, Coors, Tide, Pepsi, etc. And those brands pay Twitch to run advertisements on the live streams, which I also get a profit from. Um, uh, shared with Twitch. The income, uh, I, I said the income seems to fluctuate because recently I've become more popular for a specific game, which we won't get into the details of. Um, and was like, as far as consistency goes, there's, you know, that's just subs. I was trying to show, like I told him, I was like, uh, I do also have a YouTube channel with over 100. Anyway, hopefully that makes sense because I don't know how else to explain it. Companies pay you and then you show their stuff on the website and then you get paid for it. And I told, I mean, I told them, I was like, I didn't even, I didn't even include like the other sources of income. I didn't think that it would be necessary. Uh, like I can put everything if you want. I can put, I can put YouTube, I can put patreon i can put all i can put the income from the brand deals and stuff uh but i shouldn't really have to <laughs> to be honest i kind of figured that when i showed you uh the payments that you would understand so but i did tell him i do have a patreon but i i, I honestly don't really ever plug it because it's not it's not very active and i need to change that i need to i need to re-up it and, and restructure it and just make it a fun easy thing to be a part of and make it simple and uh so i don't i honestly don't tell people that much about my patreon but there are some people that just decide to support over there you shouldn't have to but you need to it's absolute dog shit for tenants right now well i mean i understand but i understand but so what i told him in the email was like i'll pay multiple months of rent if you if you need me to like if that if that's what makes you more comfortable with it like i'll pay you i'll pay you f i'll pay you 4 months rent right now like if that's what you want i can't I, I mean i'd prefer not to but i can it'd make the next 4 months a lot less stressful for me <laughs> just say you work for amazon but you i want to be honest i want to be honest because I have to, I have to show, like, because you show them your income, right? And when you look at my last three months, it's very drastic numbers. You know, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I showed them. That's why I was like, look, here's like my last four checks from Twitch. Like, like <laughs> there's, and that's what I was trying to explain as well. Is like, I can, I can, I think he mostly wants your numbers, not description. No, I think he mostly wanted a description. I, a lot of people genuinely don't understand how people make money doing what I do. Like, they don't understand the concept. They don't know that it exists. You understand? It's, it's not even about... Uh, I don't think it's about the numbers, really. I mean, I, show, I had to show him the numbers bef before he even contacted me. It was part of the, uh, the thing. Only old people. Literally just that. No, that's not true. There are plenty of young people and people like that are like in their fucking thirties who don't who don't use Twitch and don't know anything. They don't know how it works. They don't understand. My 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 girlfriend is an example of that. Like there's just there's plenty of people who who don't know. Say you're a hitman. It's, uh, Twitch is super niche. It's interesting to try to explain to people. The idea of live streaming is pretty foreign to people. 
Yeah. That's why I try to compare it to YouTube. And it's like, you know, when you go on YouTube and you like get ads for things, well, the person who uploaded the YouTube video gets a split of the ad revenue and that's how people on YouTube make money. And that's like the simplest way to explain YouTube to people. How do you make money doing that? What do you mean? How does the fucking, how do television companies keep their channels running? Like, why do you think there's ads on them? They're not putting ads on there just to fuck with you and make you upset or like to take time. Like it's, they're doing it because someone are just paying them to go on there, you know? But there's a lot of people who just don't really understand, <laughs> understand that. My mom thinks streamers are sex workers. Unfortunately, there's a lot of attention that was brought to streamers that were doing sex work. So, and that's fine. Sex work is what it is, but it can give the perception that uh, it is the thing that it isn't. There's a reason why there's a bunch of people that uh, existed on Twitch for a little while. We're watching a bunch of hot tub streams and all that. So, you know, saying you're a broadcaster works, I think. No, no, no. Again, guys, um, it's like it's a combination of what I do and then the money. Like I'm telling you, when when he looks when he looks at like the the payments and stuff, he's just the concern exists because it's not steady, right? Like all of them are all of what I showed him is above what's necessary. But it's it's about it's about consistency, right? Like if we want to stay there for a year. Am I going to consistently have that kind of income? You know? Just tell me you work for Amazon. I don't work for Amazon. Twitch chat doesn't understand how uh, underwriting process... Well, we're not buying a house. Again, it's just for an application for rental. We're not buying a house yet. I don't even know if I want to buy a house in the city that I live. It's fucking expensive, dude. It is fucking expensive. Like all the houses around here, dude. And to me, this is expensive, but all the houses around here are like 650K plus, dude. It's, it's crazy. It's so much money, dude. It's so much money. I just can't comp, I can't even comprehend that amount of money. $650,000. For like a, and that's for like a two, that's for like a two bedroom fucking two bath or something or like a three bedroom two bath. That's not even a fucking, it's not even like, you know, that's all again, we're going to have the discussion of economics, but for me, that's a lot where I live. That's a, that's a, I mean, okay, listen for here, that's not expensive for a house, but that's what I'm saying is like the, is like the minimum is what like the minimum guys. I'm not talking about like. 650 is like an expensive one. Like, no, that's like the where you start. That's where that's where you start. Houses around here go for at least a couple mil. Again, that's where you start. Like, there's houses here that if I wanted to pull it up, like that, I could. There's a there's. I drove past a small rental agency the other day, and they had a, a big thing on their board saying there was a ranch that opened up for like 1.25 million, and it's like a fucking. It's literally like a mansion. It's in, it's, uh, but two, uh, one and a, one and a quarter million. I just can't, bleh. it's insane, but it also depends, right? Like, what do you get for the amount of money? It's not, it's not just the amount of money. It's what do you get for it? Is rent, ex rent expensive too then? Well, rent here, I would say the average rent is about 27 to $3,100 a month to rent. <laughs> Yeah, it's expensive. Two bedroom? No, the one that we're moving in. The, well, I don't know that we're moving into it. The one that we looked at is a is a three bedroom. The one that we looked at is nice, <laughs> um, but we're not buying it again. Um, the one that we looked at is a three bedroom. Um, the bathroom is gigantic. It has a ton of windows in the house, which you know that makes it more expensive because windows. Uh, where do you live? Why the fuck would I tell you that? <laughs> yeah, 3K for rent. It's expensive. What state are you in? I'm in Oregon. Did we get the Gosetsu emote yet? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm so sorry. We might not get as much as I, as I wanted to done today, but I'm, I'm enjoying myself and that's uh, it's more important to me. Yeah, let me get that Gosetsu emote. Let me see if I can do this. 
My girlfriend's ex really excited about the windows. Oh, one of the more important things is that it's got a really, really big backyard. What is your home address? Well, since you asked... <laughs> is the bot not working? Is chat bot working or is it broken? I'm so sorry that I've not been keeping up on the subs, you guys. There's just been, there's been a lot. Oh, there it is. Can we have your social security number? Why not? Um, so would I just go to better Twitch TV? Better TTV? Can I just upload an emote from there? Oh, upload emote. Nice. Choose file. Well, that was easy. I need a, well, that was easy button. And I tabbed back into the game, which is the literal scourge of my entire existence because <sighs> when you got to propose to chat soon can we talk about your car's extended warranty um okay so it was in the discord it was in the discord mom's maiden name <laughs> olga Okay, here we go. Okay, um, childhood f best friend's name. I don't have any friends. Um, where was this emote put at? What channel was it in? I can't remember. Was it an uh, art share? XIV chat? Art? Art. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It might be too big. Image file uh, 112 by 112. Yeah, I think it's going to be way too big, so I can just go in and Photoshop it. Well, we know his pet name. That's one question checked. Xenos <laughs> uh, is my daddy. Xenos can be my daddy. Wait, why did it save it as some weird, like, JPEG large, dude? Just give me the fucking emote. <gasps> give me the emote. Give me the emote. Very good. Save image. Uh, pictures. Kexetsu.png, idiot. And open. There we go. Nice. Save. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Kek W. Okay. Okay, so there ha there's a request that it has to be reviewed. And then I have to get rid of the other one. I need to refresh chat. Um, because that's a ch that's an actual channel emote. I got rid of the other one, but it could be coming from. 
hold on. Um, emotes. Nope. It's not in here. It's only coming from BTTV. So maybe it just has to get approved. Because I reloaded my chat and it didn't, it didn't do anything. But it shows it there. It shows it as a channel emote. Oh, now Keck W is not working. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not that worried about it. All right. Let's continue. Oh, maybe not. There we go. All right. Okay, now. Okay, it's working now. It wasn't a second ago. Okay, I don't know. I. I see. I didn't talk to anybody. Oh, I, I still got the chance. Nice. Tell me it was not for nothing. What happened in there? Where is Gosetsu? He was right. The day is won. The people must know. Kekuwu? Kekuwu? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a crying dog. All right, all right. Um, here we are. Oh, Soroban, Soroban. Victory is ours, is it not? Then why are you all so quiet? Oh, Soroban. He doesn't know. Alpha knows at a loss for words. I'm so sad. Freybe, thanks so much for subbing for two months. Congrats on the new sub badge for you. Bring such joy and enthusiasm to the world of gaming. Oh, thank you. A world which can often be so toxic and brings out the worst in people. Thanks for being part of the solution. I'm trying. I'm trying. Sometimes I fail, but I'm, I am trying. Um, Merle Corey, thanks so much for subbing for three months. Congrats on the new sub badge for you. And Asky Man, thanks for subbing with the tier one. Uzuki Yubi, thanks so much for, for the prime. Cop Teen, thanks so much for the prime. Atheist, thanks for the prime. Con Man, thank you again for the two months. Del Shaw, thanks for the three months. Squishy Otter, thanks for the one month. Con Month gifted five subs to the channel. I really appreciate that. Um, Merge Droz... Merge Droz... Merge Droz's stream? Merge... 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 Merge streams. I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for subbing. Thanks for using your prime. The great Deku tree. Thanks for subbing for two months, Prosetsu. No, I know, dude. Two months. Thank you for that. Congrats on the new sub badge. Dark Magic. Thanks for the tier one. Hand Hand Band. Thanks for the prime. Pythi. Thanks for the prime. Alex is, Alexis loves frogs. Thanks for the prime. Bobsta. Shut up, Alexa. Bobsta. Thanks for the four months. Eddie. Uh, thanks for the prime. And Olaf Suki. Thanks for the two months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The occupation is ended. And then the people must be informed of our victory. But I will not simply give up Gosetsu for lost. Before aught else, we must need search the ruins. Allow me, my friends. The castle is still collapsing into the river, and we could, and could easily drag you to your deaths. I can navigate the waters easily, without fear of drowning. Nice. Nice. Be reasonable, brother. You know he's right. J -j 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 jam. Get your jams ready. Get your cat jams ready. Get your cat 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 jams ready. Pyro. A word, if I may. My lord. My lord draws on into himself. Unable to turn his thoughts from the keep. He needs us now. More than ever. My friends, I am returned. I swam as far into the ruins as I could. And? Did you find him? Nay, lady. Not remained of the keep for me to search. Undermined from below and shaken from above... The manner of its collapse was most unusual. 
If the floor beneath him gave way before the rest, it is not impossible that he could have been sent tumbling into the river. But the water is thick with silt and debris. Despite my best efforts, I could not find him. I'm sorry. There is not for which you should apologize. Thank you, Sorabon, for taking it upon yourself to search. The castle is in ruins, and the people are eager to learn the fate of their nation. We leave at once. Are you sure, my lord? The day is won, and the morrow beckons. It falls to us to greet it. Well said. I'm going down to the docks to see if I can't get one of the Confederate ships to take us to the Enclave. Mayhap we should tell the others at the House of the Fierce to gather there. Magni and Sadu know not of what happened in the castle. I will go and tell them. It's just Keck W. Keck W is just now. Is the day not one? <laughs> We have come to this land! Why would we not enjoy it while we are here? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Don't you guys love it? It's so good. By my, by my breeches! Uh, the updated emote's not part of the stream chat. No! No. no, it doesn't work. Should I just add it as an actual? <sighs> Gotta refresh. Just reload the browser source on OBS. There we go. Do you draw steel against the dogs of Garlem Old? <laughs> they fought valiantly and with honor, Serena. I pray you tell them that as well. You too, my friend, were instrumental in this triumph. I must insist that you be present when we bring these tidings to my people. Then we bring up these tidings uh, to my people. People? People? Our Confederate allies have already set about ferrying the others to the Dome and Enclave. By the time we arrive, all should be present and waiting. Good. I wish I knew what to say, but I've never had my brother's way with words. It's what he would have wanted? I'm sorry. This is not helping. Not helping. Ripley, thanks for subbing for two months, and Ina Misha, Misha, thanks for subbing with the Prime for three months. Frosty Belger, thanks for the Prime for four months, and Schwarza, thanks for subbing with a tier one for three, and that's a new, that's a new sub badge for you. And Sarried, Sarried, thanks for the two months, grats. <gasps> yes, you need to refresh. Uh, you might have to completely close your browser, Mythos, and open it again. Soroban, tell me. My brothers of the blue have called for me, but we shall speak again soon. Get the fuck out of here, Sorabon. Motherfucker. Oh wait, sorry, I just talked to her. I cannot accompany you to the, to the Enclave. Magni and Sadu will expect me to deliver the news of our victory to them in person. Ye 
a duke. <laughs> anyway, okay, here we go. There are so many people around. I can't fucking see shit. I can't fucking see shit. Oh, oh. At least what's good. It seems Tansui was on his way as soon as he saw you flee the keep. You've never actually been to the Enclave, have you? It was a lively place before Zeno sent his troops. You all look like shit. The captain thought you might need a ride to the Enclave. Ready to come aboard. You look like shit. Bitch. So, I don't know what happened in there, but it's over. You won. That's cause enough for celebration. Those people you're about to see need something to celebrate. The prophecy come through. We brought everyone here. You were the last to arrive. I love this song. This is such a good fucking song. This is probably one of my favorite pieces Thank in the game so far. We owe the Confederacy a great debt. We owe the con Confederacy a great debt. I have waited 25 years, years for the, this moment. You, you owe, owe us, us not. Okay. Ba -ba -bum, ba -la -bum, bum 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 You profited from most of this. Pretty much the whole time. Did you do your island expedition today? I'm about to send you on an island expedition. Never to fucking come back. You ask me that question again, I'll fuck you up. I'll fuck you. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a doofus. Look! It's Lord Hian! Look, it's Lord Hian! <laughs> Sorry, I guess I'm just checking to see when my shit's gonna be delivered. I have a couple important things come in today and I'm fucking... I'm excited for them. Okay. Lord Ian. It's him! He lives! He lives! He lives! They are so they needed this so bad, dude. I can't believe it. They thought he was dead. Lord so Ian. A few words of encouragement would not go amiss, my lord. Do it. Do it. Give us your uh, speech. Right. Uh yes, uh, of course. Off you trot then. You're their lord, remember. Stand tall. Well, if you won't say something, I will. Stand tall. Forgive me. This is rather more daunting than I had anticipated. But you are right. I must be strong. Be strong. Wish me luck. Yes, sir. Lots of luck. LOL. LOL. Lots of luck. Thanks so much. And you didn't even. Oh, you're gonna stand over there and do it. Well, they all bowed. Wait, do they turn around? Oh. Uh. Damn. A broken Doma. We are a sorry lot, are we not? Tired. Dirty. Stinking of blood and sweat and ash. The people pushed to the point of breaking. Yeah, got pretty bad for, for y'all. Having that, having the FOV off for that would have been better. Or not FOV, P uh, uh, Death of Field. DOF. And yet, we won. The perseverance to endure decades of oppression. The will to carry on the legacy of those we have lost. These were the bonds that held us together. And gave us the strength to reclaim our home. After 25 hard years, the shadow of the Empire no longer darkens these lands, 
and we may at last look forward to the dawning of a new day. But, my friends, it will be a day of work. So I ask you, have you yet the strength to stand? To rise up with me once more, here and now, and begin to rebuild our homeland? This will not end with Doma. We will see to that. Right, Lise? Right. Indeed, this is but the beginning. The tide is turning, and it shall soon bear us back across the seas and onward and to the next battlefield. All right. The liberation of Doma be completed. Uh... Oh, lots of lore. Here we go. It was it was not for naught. It was not for naught. I want to shout and scream until my throat is hoarse. I want my fallen brothers and sisters to know that it was not in vain. It was a year ago my lord Kayan died, and with him the dream of Doma. Never again would, would, be free, I th would we be free, I, th I thought. Miserable old fool that I am. But Doma lives! Doma rises! Doma will stand tall again. Till the end of my days will I labor to make it so. Sticky pennies, thanks for the two months! Hey dude, good, uh, good work uh, doing what you're doing. Thank you, thank you. It's you, the man who came to set us free. Of course, you must have had a hand in this. My thanks to you. Kami, take me, I never believed this day would come. I'm sorry I doubted you before, my friend. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Father. I understand now. I do. Why are you crying, brother? Isn't today a good day? Oh. <laughs> He's staying. but thanks so much for the prime. Welcome. 25 years. If only you were here to see it. Issa's line actually fucking up and I go, dude, I'm fucking fighting it. I'm fighting it. I'm like trying. That's so fucked up, dude. Us. Like the, the, ah. Uh, the way after death revelation that you can never like, ah. Uh, that's so, ah. Uh, it's so tragic. Akigor, thanks so much for subbing with a prime. Welcome to the garden sprout. It's heartbreaking. It is. It is. Seeing him go from a broken, depressed young man to seeing someone who understands what his parents fought and died for and helped make their dream come true. I know, <laughs> dude, it's so good. And it's just a little side character. He's not even... Oh, crazy nippy. Thanks for the prime gaming and welcome to the garden, Sprataga.
sorry, one second. Okay. Enclave Skiff Captain. Honored hero, you seek passage across the One River? Yes. Let's get the fuck out of here. Alize, we journeyed here from the opposite side of the world, but until now it didn't seem half as far. I think that means our work here is done. I'm glad we could be a part of it. Though we, could s though we could see with our own eyes that things can change if people have the courage to stand up and fight. Oh, that we could see with our own eyes. Yeah, yeah. Are you quite certain you would not prefer to stay a while longer? There are sure to be festivities at which you would be the guest of honor, like as not. Very well. There are other ways in which we might celebrate. By rejoining the fight for freedom in Girabanya, for one. Short though our time here has been, we have all come to regard this land and her people as our own, I think. But we have done that which we came here to do. Word of Delma's liberation will soon spread throughout the Empire. We must seize this opportunity to rekindle the fires of liberation in the West. Yeah, let's fucking get it. We dare not allow the Imperials a moment's respite, lest they march on Delma again. For the sake of all concerned, we should leave immediately. Did I hear you right? You're leaving? I'm afraid so. We've got our own battle to fight. What about you? Will you be heading back to the steppe? Yes, the war here has ended and there is no cause to remain. The Orinir and Atharl have already withdrawn. I will follow them anon, but I wished to bid you farewell first. The Blue too must return to their homes, but we will be back. Doma has need of merchants and builders, and we are eager to offer our services. And just like that, our grand fellowship was broken? Without ceremony or, p or pomp, you steal off into the dark. Oh, that's this guy. Whoops. No matter. We have plenty to be getting on with. Places to be, people to rob, and so on. And the captain never won was one from England. I'm a pirate. Give me a song of the tavern and I will be happy. Hobnobbing with Lord Hian? Nay. No taste for the finer things. <laughs> In any event, we need not part ways... Oh, whoops, wrong guy. In any event, we need not part ways here. If you're for Kagane, we'd be happy to take you. Her waters have always been fruitful. I wish you all well on your journey. May you ever walk in crimson. No, we're, we're ever walking in the light of the crystal. Do you not know anything about the scions? May the Kami speed you on your way until we meet again. Good guy pirates. Yeah, we've been dealing with good guy pirates the whole time. There hasn't been any bad. Well, there's a couple bad pirates. <laughs> Time to get the fuck out of Doma. Didn't even t think to tell Lord Ian you were leaving. Well, I'm sure you had your reasons. Two completely different accents there. Nought remains undone. You're ready to depart? We're ready. Let's get the fuck out of here. To Gugane, then. I'm not, do I'm not doing any of those for a little while. Yeah, the music in this is so fucking sick. Alize, tell me what's good. I can still hear his voice. My ears haven't stopped ringing since he first barged his way into the Rising Stones. A veritable force of nature. I know. It's just as colorful as I remember. In a way, this feels... This too feels like a homecoming. How long has it been since Carvalane brought us here? Fucking forever, it feels like. It's a rare thing for us all to sail into Kugane like common traders. I don't rightly recall the last time, but it would have been years. Have everything? 
Good. We will need to weigh anchor before the Sets Sekusugumi arrive. From the bottom of my heart, I, I thank you for what you did. Give my regards to the Uldan. Um, I'll be right back. Just so you guys know, we're going for a long time today, so even though we've only been live for like three and a half, four hours, we're, we're, we, we're, I'm going for like another probably like six to eight hours, just so, just so you're aware. Okay, to the Ruby Bazaar, uh, see Hancock, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a big one. I, I kind of I do intend to finish 4.0 today. That's my that is my intention. Hello everyone. I'm sorry that I did, like. I want to acknowledge your existence and hello, and you're all so cute. You're so cute. I like the color palette. You look like a fucking, you look like a piece of cotton candy. All right. Such progression. This was his intention. Come inside, traveler. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is to finish my don't don't kek W me. Kek Setsu, that's a that's good. I don't give a fuck if my subscription expired. Some random person gifted that to me. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> what the fuck? Welcome back, everyone, and congratulations on a job well done. Thanks, Tataru. How the fuck would you know? It is a pleasure as ever to see your smiling face, Tataru. Less so yours, Hancock. 
though Rasha and I are sincerely grateful for your assistance. The pleasure was all mine, Master Ralphano, I assure you. Walking, walking thunder, walking thunder. Thanks so much for someone with a prime. Oh no, you're converting from a prime view to tier one. <gasps> Big dick. Anyway, you'll be glad to hear that I've already ch chartered passage for you back to Limsa Liminsa. The ship is ready to leave port this very day, but the captain has agreed to wait until the four of you have boarded. The four of us? You mean to stay here in Kugane? Yes, I gave it some thought, and I realized that even with Delma free, there's still a need for a woman in the middle. Maybe even more than before, considering all the friends and alliances you made. As I told her many times before, I would be more than willing to assist you. And as I told you many times before, I'm not about to let you worm your way into our affairs and exploit our, conne exploit our connections for your personal gain. <sighs> Must you always presume the worst? With you, yes. So there you have it. I will remain here for now. You needn't worry. I'm a regular at the hostelry and half a dozen other lo lo local institutions. Everyone loves me. I mean, yeah, what the fuck else is new? So go, go. Don't let me keep you. Buy your supplies and souvenirs while you still can. It's not like I can never come back. When you've finished, make haste to the docks. Pier number two, to be precise. I'll be waiting for you there. happening to me just now. That was weird. Alphano and Hancock. I cannot deny that the thought of leaving her in, he in here alone worries me, but she has proven time and time again that she is far more clever than she appears. Besides, I do not think I could persuade her to change her mind. Mayhap I should take her advice and purchase a souvenir or two before leaving. Peppers, thanks. Oh! Yes! More peppers! Thanks so much for subbing for five months. One more month. You're on that new six month badge. Thank you very much. Thank you. Did Alfie just say Tataru looks dumb? Did he say that? Oh, she's far more clever than she appears. Besides, I do not think I could, okay, yeah. Yeah, he said she looks dumb. <clears throat> well, not. He didn't say she looks dumb, just that she's even more clever than she appears. So, well, he didn't say even more clever. He just said more clever. It's kind of implying that she doesn't look clever. It's just because he's an asshole. That's alpha now. Personally, I would have preferred to host you for a few days, but Tatara was adamant that you returned on the first available ship. One could almost suspect she's eager to be rid of you. Idle musings. Not more. Purely hypothetical and most assuredly incorrect. She wants only the best for her dear friends and is surely not motivated by hidden desires to go gallivanting about with her Hingen paramours. <laughs> I gotta clean my glasses. <laughs> Hold on. Fucking na 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 and fucking and fucking and fucking and fucking yeah. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what the going on. It's really hard to use this thing because you just want to say it when you're gonna say like, and then as soon as like you, but I don't know if it's instantaneous. Like you guys don't hear any any of the word. When I say it when I say it right. Whoops! I'm like bleeping my whole sentence. <laughs> Dude, what a f joke. <laughs> is it really loud? Oh, is it really loud? I don't know how loud it comes out. It's so loud, it's insanely loud. I'm so sorry. I didn't know, I didn't know. 
I'm so sorry. Hold on. Hopefully that's a lot better. Wasn't that loud for me. Way better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, I did not mean to your ears. It was not my intention. Such devastation. This was not my intention. <laughs> But why bleep? Oh, just because it's just it's just comedic. Guys, but he's a redneck. Such devastation. I, I can't spell that word, but I promise you I'll use it. Devastation, I'll tell you what's devastation. The fact I ain't finished my colors yet. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, that's the truth right there, brother. Shoot. Sheesh! <laughs> All right, let's get the let's get out of here. Let's go speak to Tataru. Let's go speak to Tataru. T -t 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 it sounds like I'm stuttering. Let's go speak to Tataru. Okay, Kona. Sheesh! Thanks. I hate it. It's disturbing. How good do you do that? Well, I swear to God, brother, I probably heard more people in the world. I mean, this accent's an easy one. You just it's uh you know it's not that hard. You get in there and you get her done and you. And you do, and you get her done. <laughs> Absolute fucking rednecks. Oh, that's not the right pair. Where is that? Uh, Shirkaze Hostelry. Shirkaze. Oh, that's it. Larry the Cable Guy. Just wanted to pop in a chat and say I'm really enjoying watching through your VODs. Thanks. I was going to Prime Sub, but somehow got a gift sub while watching VODs. <laughs> Dope. Eager to catch up so I can watch you live. Back to the VODs I go. Hey, Elifal, Elifal, let me tell you something. Go to my, um, go to the, go to my VOD channel, which is, there's a link in the description right there, and sub to that if you haven't already. There's some old VODs that I'm putting up that I think you might really like. Um... Display. Okay. Yo, Admiral Green, thank you for gifting 10 subs to the channel. That's huge. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you guys are having a great, a great, wonderful day, a great time. Excuse me, on the stream. Do you have odds where you barely started playing 14? Because I miss. I miss those. Let's see what I have, dude. This will be quick. I know, quick, good one. I know, I'm making jokes, Chad. I'm trying to be, I'm getting funnier, don't you think? Gotta make sure to keep it rolling. Hey, I appreciate that, man. And I'm pretty sure... Um, I hope I have it still. Oh yeah, like here's me exploring Ishgard. Um, no, there were some other ones that I had. Maybe I got rid of them. That's big sad. Bouts folder? Oh, it's all just pictures anyway. It's all just pictures anyway. You stole a folder? You didn't see that one. That one's in a different archive. Don't even pretend you saw that. First to arrive as always. Hopefully the others were not far behind. Huh. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, there you are. All packed and ready to go? I think what I'm going to do... Knowledge, yes. Apologies for the wait. The task of tying up loose ends invariably takes longer than one allows. I th oh, by the way, I talked to the... Now seems to be in order. I talked to the video editor. And he said... Even though he's cutting VODs and stuff and it's helping, he wants to just go ham on editing. So what he said was, how about I'll edit the, I want to go back to editing these Alexander videos and really being creative. And I said, cool, that's fine if that's what you want to do. And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. Um, but instead of you, instead of you paying me, what if you just gave me the money from the video? And I was like, uh, honestly, like, I'm cool with that. I can, I can do that. Sure. I mean, that's what he wants, if that's what he wants to do. But then I'd pay him for the other editing that he's doing, you know? But I wouldn't pay per hour for those. I'd pay, I'd give him, so I'd still pay him per hour for the projects that I really, really want um, him to do. Uh, but then he'd get the he'd just get the revenue from the Al from the Alexander videos. That'd be kind of cool. I know XQC and and so to do that. Yeah, I think that's fair too. And honestly, that's kind of what I wanted to offer him originally. But I didn't. I I felt kind of bad because I was like, well. I know that if I paid him per hour that he works to edit the videos, he would get paid more, but he's more interested in just exploring his creative capacity than he is about the money. So basically what, what it's saying is like he would get the revenue from the video and be paid less, but he would get to make the video that he wants, you know, rather than, does that make sense? So I don't know. I don't see why not. So there's going to be just on the point if someone mentioned Alexander and that just reminded me of it because he wants to. Um, he wants to cut up the Alexander stuff. So anyway, just uh, some news. Cool. Then there's nothing left to do but to board the ship. Do try and I mean, enjoy yeah, if he does, if he does good work in the it channel, you know, chance to rest for a while. I'll probably still make like the thumbnails and stuff because it's still how it's you know, and all in that, but why not? That would depend on the good captain's choice of route. Yeah, she's really trying to get us out of here. Like, what the fuck is going on? As ever, Tataru, I pray you take all due precautions while making your inquiries. Better to avoid the local authorities altogether than risk a repeat of our Ishgardian episode. Let's go back to her boar toys. Boar toys, I know! She has paramours! I understand. So is this, pray tell? Not to speak of, I assure you. <laughs> you there! Hold that ship! Kian? Oh! What's good, brother? What are you two doing here? Shouldn't you be in Doma? Shouldn't you? You left with nary a word. We half wondered if I had done something to offend. Come help us liberate Upon Alamigo. That you had departed for Kugane, we immediately resolved to give chase. Our comrades can manage affairs in our absence, and it seemed the least we could do. You mean you came all this way just to say goodbye? He is such a cutie. That's too I know. High. Aluminia, thanks so much for the three month sub. Grats on your new say. sub badge and overs. Thanks for subbing with your prime. Welcome to the garden, Sprout Bobster. Thank you for the four months. That's from an hour ago. My shit not be updating. What the hell? Weimert, thanks for the six months. Grats on the sub badge, man. In the great, great. Thanks for the four months. Thank you, thank you. What do you have to say? You helped us win our freedom. And for that, I cannot thank you enough. You're welcome, Hien. Accordingly. After we have established an interim government and so forth, I think it only meet that we repay the favor by dispatching our own forces to Eorzea. You the motherfucking man! Of course we will. Yes! We harbored no expectations of such generous aid. And as there is no telling when the Empire might strike back at you, 
Would it not be wiser to concentrate your resources on the defense of Doma? I had a mind to pursue a more aggressive. Thanks, Abyss. Defense. I'll pass that on. To which we will send the editor. Our editor does a great job. He's he is very talented. Spread word of our victory. And, and I do feel we you might know. inspire others to take up arms as we did. Out boy, Ian. We appreciate that. Um. <clears throat> I felt I did feel bad because I knew that he could do more, and I kind of felt bad that he was just like cutting bods for me, you know. It's like not very fun. I can't imagine it's like the most entertaining thing to do, so let him do his thing. Fuck it, dude. Send it. Even the Empire has its limits. If the Garleans cannot be certain where and when the next rebellion will take place, how can they commit another force to Doma? True. And besides, so long as this debt remains unpaid. How am I to face myself? Ngorsetsu. 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 He says his name so so weird. As you wish. I will relay your offer to the Eorzean Alliance. All of Doma is counting on you to finish what we have started. You have it in you, Lise. To seize the future you want. Never forget. I won't, Hien. Not your words or anything else. Everything that led us here, that will drive us forward, I'll carry it with me always. And that's a promise. <laughs> Character development! I will hold you to that. Go with them to Eorzea. Tell their people of our triumph and of our pledge to stand with them. By your leave. I shall pave the way for our new alliance. Let's go, baby. Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor. It seems our time is at an end. Go well, Whoa! my friends. And may we meet again beneath the west. Whoa! Sky. Those are tier threes. My crypt. <laughs> <coughs> Whoa! Thank you for gifting 10 tier 3 subs to the channel! Holy shit! And I just spilled water on my keyboard! I fucking hate everything! Oh, it's opening shit on my other fucking. Shit. Shit. I'm having a fucking rough I'm having a rough time, chat. Thank you for thank you. Let me tell you, a wireless headset is nice. Let me tell you. Fuck. I'm dying in here. Seems our time is at an end. Okay. Thank you for gifting 10 tier 3 subs. You're fucking crazy. My crippling social anxiety. Thank you so, so, so much. Siridin, thank you for gifting a tier 1 sub as well. Thank you, man. Stall? No, it's just hot as fuck in here. And I spilled my shit. Aren't the t tier threes are twenty five dollars a piece? That's two hundred and fifty dollars. That's crazy. Thank you very much, man. That's. Thank you.
Spilled water gamer panic? Yeah. Meanwhile, in the royal palace of Alamigo. I always knew that woman was unfit for command. Aye, when you think of all the resources we poured into that hole, and for what? yet lives. Mayhap it is time I sharpen my claws. No. <clears throat> Will you walk into my parlor once more? For Dolorem Lupus, come at the command of the Lord Viceroy to present the prisoner taken by the Cranier Lupi. Uh-oh. No! Zenosie Galvus, I presume. Not Cryo. Don't you be doing? Don't you be doing nothing? <clears throat> I'm, I'll fuck it's you up. It's true what they say. You do have the eyes of a monster. A ravenous, insatiable fiend. You, give the butcher your weapon. My, yes, my lord. My lord, this is... A reward given in recognition of your service. I trust it will prove more powerful <coughs> than your former owner. I... I swear, I'll not disappoint you, my lord. Good. Now... Silence that mewling little piglet. I would not hear another sound pass her lips until I strip the fat from her. Yikes. I don't like the sound of that. Crowd didn't seem to like the sound of that either. Compared to Kugane's vivid colors, Limsa Laminsa seems a bit lacking. Still beautiful in its own way, but not as much as before. Back in Eorzea at last. Ready to pick up where we left off and finish the fight. We're not who we were when we left. We're stronger and wiser. So let's do it. Let's get back to Alamigo and defeat Xenos once and for all. Right. Catch me if you can, bitch. Level 68 quest? No, it's still 67. Almost where the heart is, and Alpha Nose is in Eorzea. Here we are, home at last. I must say, the journey passed more quickly than I had expected. That would be due to the absence of otherworldly interference, I expect. I... I should be glad if we didn't... Did not speak of that unpleasantness again. <laughs> <clears throat> but in spite of all of that and more, we return better for the experience, and more importantly, triumphant. Indeed, and with Doma freed of imperial oppression, it is only right that we turn our thought. <laughs> Excuse me, our thoughts to the plight of Alamigo. 
Well, I'm all for that, obviously, but I think you should go and see what, what the refugees at Revenants... You should go see the refugee... The refugees at Revenants told before doing anything else. They'll be thrilled to hear what we've accomplished, and it'd sound... It'd be best coming from you. Excuse me. That verb was disgusting. I, I... I... Yeah. Thank you. I shall do as you suggest. Malvib! I am not too late. I am not too late. Admiral, what are you doing here? The East Aldenar Trading Company informed me of your impending arrival. I have tidings I thought best to share with you in person. From Girabania? Girabania? Aye, the Alliance still holds the wall, despite several Imperial counterattacks. But we have been unable to press further into occupied territory. Commander Kemp and his men, meanwhile, have made great strides towards rebuilding their... Rep their depleted ranks. They have even taken it upon themselves to rebuild some few operations, with mixed results, I'm sorry to say. It was a complication arising from one such venture which moved me to seek you. Out. <laughs> During a mission to transport wounded resistance fighters to the, re to the Rising Stones, Kral Baldessian was taken prisoner. <gasps> Kryle! Do they know where she's being held? They do not. But your comrades were comrades were informed at once, and I'm told Thancred is in Garabania looking for her as we speak. How could this have happened? We must seek out Thancred without delay. Nay. Kryle taught me better than that. It would be unwise to act without first acquiring a full understanding of the situation. Yes, sir. You learning shit. Oh my god. Character development. Thank you for informing us. Tired though we may be, we must make haste to Castramorians. Pray excuse us, Admiral. Lady Ugiri. Yo, Gold Stars, thanks for going from a Prime to a Tier 1 sub. And Amperture, thanks for the 500 bits. Damn it, you giddy. A lady of class does not belch in front of mixed company. <laughs> Carlicious, thanks for subbing with a Prime for three months. And grats on the new sub badge. Thank you, everybody. Hey, I really appreciate everybody being here, hanging out with me, making this Stormblood experience more enjoyable. Though Stormblood has begun to, uh, to grow on me. Um, yeah. It's a really slow expansion at the start. It definitely, but it's it's grown on me. <clears throat> Arenvald, hello. I'm sorry, Pyro. It's all my fault. What? There you are. Have you heard the news? In broad strokes from Admiral Blofishman. Blofishman, what happened? Kryle and a squadron of resistance fighters were escorting Ishtola and several other wounded to the Rising Stones for further treatment when they were ambushed by Imperial forces. Arenvald and his, mo his men fought valiantly, but in the chaos. I will make no excuses. We failed to protect her. Do not be so hard on yourself. You protected Yishtola and the others, did you not? Tell us about the attack. It was the Skulls. They knew a path across the wall we hadn't found. We thought we were safe once we reached the Black Shroud. <sighs> we weren't expecting an ambush. Bluefish wine. 
During the fighting, I got a glimpse of their leader's memories. It was all planned. Wait, during the fight, I caught a glit. Wait, does Arnvald have the echo? Did I miss that? I caught a glimpse of their leader's memories. Wait, 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 wait. Did I know that? Okay, I must have forgotten that. It's been a while. Okay, I forgot. It has been a. It's been a while. You missed that? I don't. I don't think I missed it. I think it was just like forty hours ago. <laughs> the advantage of having a walker in the field. I'm not as strong in the echo as Pyro is, of course. Half the time, it's enough to knock me on my ass. Like I've taken a dose of concentrated ether. I mean, aren't you? I mean, memories have got to be tied to ether, right? I mean, if people's prayers and their beliefs are tied to like etheric power and the, 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 the power of summoning and things of that nature, then surely memories have to be as well, right? Everything is ether. I mean, everything, right? Like even even what what uh, even what we consider to be intangible, like 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 in reality, right? Like 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 a lot of people would consider, you know, the the power of like belief as like an intangible force. Like yeah, it represents something, right? But like it's it's an intangible thing. But in this game, it could be very tangible. I mean, why not? Like. You can literally bottle up a thousand years worth of prayers and, and, and like, use them, li like, that's insane. That's insane. I mean, he didn't, he didn't literally do that, but it's like, <clears throat> in, a, in a sense, can I smoke ether? You fucking probably could. You probably could. I'm just thinking, um, that's really interesting. That he describes the memory experience of the Echo as, like, taking a concentrated shot of ether. Because you're quite literally experiencing someone else's memory. And that's gotta have some kind of etheric value. It has to. I think he just meant the echo headache like you get. Why did he say ether then? It doesn't, it, it's still what he's comparing it to it feeling like, is what I'm saying. Ether sickness is a thing. True. Oh, true! At the start, I did used to go completely unconscious, didn't I? I mean, in that case, then you're essentially experiencing more of a dream. Like, is that a- what is that, then? Is that a dream? Is that a memory? What do you- like, what is that? <clears throat> Anytime you go unconscious, I always think, well, dreaming. The same thing happened in World of Warcraft. Where you went unconscious and you found yourself floating in space talking to Zira, the Light Mother. Anyone fucking, like, are you serious, dude? Did you guys know that? There's a big light crystal in World of Warcraft called Zira. She's called the Light, the, the Mother of Light or Light Mother. And the first time you ever talk to her, you're literally unconscious floating in space talking to her. <laughs> Insane. <clears throat> yeah, really. The real question is, can you vape Ether? You know what? Zero also tried to take Illidan and force the light upon him and assimilate him into the light's forces. Never heard of anyone doing anything weird like that either. 
you know, assimilating them into what they are or taking them against their will and making it seem like they wanted it to happen. You know, it's not manipulative or anything. I don't know, any big crystals like that. Fuck Fordola, that's what I think. Fuck Fordola. A woman promised the world. Education, training, citizenship, and all that more if she could if she but sold her soul, a traitor to her people, a pretender to her masters. It was Zenos himself that gave the order, told her to return with Cryo Baldessian, alive. Our agents have been carefully monitoring Imperial communications since the attack. Wait, hold on. Can I ask another thing? Have I heard Kryle's last name until now? Did I know her last name was Valdesian? Uh, I probably did. Okay. I couldn't... It's been so much, guys. It's so... I'm, thank you for helping me to remember. It's so much. Post Heaven's Ward? Okay. Students of Valdesian? Well, I know, but I didn't know that that's what... You, uh, you know that... You know she's the adopted daughter of Go of is it Goth? Baldessian? Okay. As you say, time is of the essence, which is why I intend to slip past enemy lines and see what information I can uncover on my own. It's a lot, dude. <laughs> oh fuck, I just skipped dialogue. Very well. I wish I could do more to aid you, but I understand. You're my echo. No kidding. Her name's Cryo Baldessian in FF5 too? Ah, interesting. Golf. Remember Kemp is on his way to the Castrum as we speak for a meeting with General Alden. If you hurry, you could find him on the road and discuss the situation beforehand. Creator Unreal, thanks for subbing with a prime for three months. Grats on the new sub badge, motherfucker. Real question is, can you vape ether? <laughs> Shade Signa, thanks for the prime gaming. And Mythosig, Mythosig, thanks for subbing for four months and grats on the new sub badge. And Nifrin, thank you as well. Thank you so much for subbing. I think Pyro and I are going to see Conrad like you suggested. You all wait here. We can probably vape ether, I, let's be honest. We could probably, we probably could, TBF. All right, here we go. This way, this way, motherfucker. I can't fly, not yet, motherfucker. Not here, motherfucker. How about we go unlock flying for this area, motherfucker? Wait, this is... Oh, never mind. The fringes. We'll get there as we get there. Sniff it. Does the ethernet run at 10 gigabit per second? Holy shit, that's a good question. I wonder if it's cat six or cat seven. All right, here we go. Hey, is there a storm blood? Nah, never mind. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yo, thanks for the elegance. Yo, thanks for the elegance. Whoa. What, 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 whoa. Thanks for the Alec and silver pieces. Ka 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 cat jammer. Thank you. Yes, there is a Stormblood. Well, I was thinking about the Stormblood short story because I'm not, I don't know, dude. The concept of doing them on Saturday. Uh, I don't know. I have to think it over. I have to think it over. You're going to need it for a weekly later on. Oh. That's good to know. Thanks. There are those. Give me one. Here, let's get one of them. We're just going to, here. You guys have earned it. I don't know why. Listen, we're not doing this. We might, we'll, we'll probably still stream tomorrow, but here we go. Hold on. I'm going to do one for you guys right quick. Have a mod pick one. Do the first A Realm Reborn one. Tales from the Calamity, where victory and glory lead. Okay, here we go, first one. We'll do two of them since, uh, we'll do, I don't know how many subs we've got so far, but I feel like it's been like 200 at least, so we'll do two of them. Okay, here we go, Tales from the Calamity, where the victor and glory lead. Okay, hold on one second. Can you guys hear the fan in the background? No, yes, no, not really. It wouldn't, like, if you were listening to it on a YouTube video, would it really bother you, or is it fine? It's fine. Just a bit, it's fine. Doesn't matter. 
when you aren't talking. Oh, okay. Yes, 100% fine. Okay, we'll go. Okay. We are lost, thought Merylwood Blowfistwin. How do you say her name, actually? How do you... I feel like I've said this. I need to be reminded. Blowfistwin? Exactly. Oh, you said it fine. Oh, Blowfus one. Okay, okay, then okay. Okay, we'll go back. Okay. We are lost, thought Merylwib Blowfus one. Immured for aeons and free to ask. Free at last, the primal Bahamut laid waste to the Cartano Flats, burning Aorzeans and Garleans alike. But I will find a way. Tearing her gaze away from the bloody churn, she bit down gently on her tongue. An old commander's trick, and despite the ash-laden air, the voice that is suit that issued her from her, issued from her throat was as clear as compass wind. Belay previous orders. All maelstrom units are commanded to fall back, effective immediately. In the distance, the admiral caught a glimpse of Archon Louisois' resolute silhouette, arms raised in the rite of summoning. Not even the twelve can help us now. She thought was something like despair as she swung herself into the saddle. Dalamud has hatched, and no man can unbreak an egg. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Einzar Slafferson, Slafferson, let go the bride as Merlvid took hold of the reins, the bridle. A shard of the false moon had pierced the mail under his right arm, she saw. Blood rilled, dark and steady. Her adjutant would likely not survive a hard ride. Get those adventurers to safety, she repeated. I shall send you stragglers, but we must regroup. See to it. At once, Admiral. He snapped a salute. He knows me too well to waste time arguing, Merlewood, Merlewood reflected as she urged her faithful bird to a gallop. And he knows most of our runners are dead, or near as damn it. Near as, damn it. A sharp <laughs> brought her back to the present. What does that sound? Quah! 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 <laughs> Quah! <laughs> A chocobo sound? Quah! So it's more like that. Quah! Brought her back to the present. Good girl, Vicky. She murmured as the chocobo sped onward through a blur of death and ruin. Fall back! Fall back to the main host! Melweb called, called again and again until the route became, as a, became a stream, then a river, flowing towards Enzi Enzar. And she hoped safety. But there was a knot in the crowd, fighting its way against the tide until it emerged at the rear, then pushing on towards the Garlean position. Always, Merlwood thought without rancor and spurred her chocobo forward. Always there are those who put glory before victory. Save your breath, Admiral. I mean to make those Garlay and Curse pay, and they will! Roswin spat, and Merlwood was reminded of an old saying. Pirates weep with their swords, and their tears are red. <laughs> so many sirens. Spleeny Ibril won't sing no more. Oh, this is so many sirens. Splitting Ibra won't sing no more. Nor Anis Black Eye. Nor. There you are, you leverless tin pot bastards! A savage joy blazed in Roswin's eyes at the sight of something behind Merlewood. And the Maelstrom commander touched her spur to Victory's left flank as she un unholstered her pistols in one smooth motion. Death penalty barked, and a Garlane legionnaire tumbled backwards. Two sharp coughs from Annihilator, and more men fell unholstered. Uh, and more men fell to reveal the beetle black gleam of Magitek armor cresting the rise. It has a beak, Melvib thought, with a strange calm, her legs squeezing victory flanks in their own accord. The chocobo sprang as the Magitek cannon roared. Then Melvib was falling, the world drowning in blood and feathers, and she knew no more. The most rest you've had in years, I'll wager. Melvib awoke to a familiar sight, her quarters on the triumph, and Einzar, his face graven with fatigue, but alive and on his feet. How long? she demanded. Present course and speed? 
Two days. Limsa, eight knots, he answered. The Alliance regrouped in Thanalan, where the Alchemists saw to our hurts. They meant to keep you abed in Uldah, but I assure them that would not be necessary. We are crossing the Strait of Melthor for home. The Sirens. Roswen. Enzar laughed. <laughs> Merblob could almost hear the rust in it. Command, especially the command of a retreating voice, was a somber business. Retreating force was a somber business. The bloody executioners hauled you from the front like pullers with a bulging net. They had no luck coaxing Captain Ross when they joined the retreat. Then came the last of the Dread Pirates crews, the... Oh, three. The Kraken's arms, the Carvelane swept her up, up onto the saddle like a bloody knight of Ishgard. Last I saw, they were trading car curses. Good. Merlewib willed her eyes to stay open. She was suddenly very tired. It could not bring to mind the names of the others who had been present. No matter. Einzar would know. The retreat from Cartano. I ordered a unit be given priority. Did you get them to safety? Einzar looked at her, his, bur his brow furrowed. Beg pardon, Admiral. My orders were to bring up the rear as, as the main host retreated. Gathering any stragglers you directed toward us, then begin regrouping. You did not order that any be given priority over another. The coming days were too full for Melvid or en Einzar to fret over much about her odd lapse. She had taken a blow to her head after all, and it was a sh trifle compared to what awaited them in Vilbrand. As the triumph neared home, they saw livid crystals bursting from Pharaoh Sirius, flaunting their corruption for all to see. Galadian Bay was a floating cartano, the sea strewn with bodies, debris, and hollow-eyed survivors of the tide wave, tidal wave that had scoured the coastline. Anzar was lucky, Merlo thought as she sur surveyed the destruction. What size these shards? To make an eighth hell of this fair anchorage. And what of And what of we who have, who have been spared? How can we go on when so much has been lost? I will find a way. Melvib ordered that the Maelstrom's temporary command be established at the Morabi Dry Docks, sheltered from the worst of the Great Wave by the God's Grip. From there, the remains of Limsa Liminsa's Great Armada sailed with food and supplies, aid and succor, women of strength and men of compassion. Admiral, Mer Admiral Melvib slept little, but when she did, it was always one of two dreams that she dreamt. In one... She bit down on her tongue, then called out. Give them priority! Let the main host cover their retreat! <clears throat> In the other, she rode a destri- a, <clears throat> a destrier and cool night. The bird crooning contentedly, and the rider murmuring. Good job, Vicky. Time passed. Some wounds healed. Others did not. The fishing boats returned to sea, and the merchants- Store doors and cut purses to the docks. The new Maelstrom command took shape on the upper docks, on the upper decks. The ships of the Armada returned to their proper anchorage, and the Morabi dry docks were recommissioned as a shipyard. During those turbulent days, those who knew Merlva best, and they were not many, remarked that she had been changed by Cartano. To the scores that came to the Admiral for help, she gave no false comfort, but neither was she as hard as she, is one, as she had once been. She spoke instead of hope, courage, and the lost warriors who stood with the Archon on the Cartano Flats. For this, Merlverb won the love of her people, yet struggled to accept it. So unsettling did the thought seem to her that one night, unable to sleep, she wandered the city, finding herself at length outside an Ishgardian stable as young birds murmured drowsily within. Monaldic and Vimili's Vimili's uh, began work on the first of the th uh, Thalassocracy Thalassocracy's new warships. There was no question as to whom the honor of naming it would go. One fine day soon, half the city turned out to see the victories keel laid. When the Admiral of Limsa Liminsa inscribed her name upon the oak with a great flourish, the cheers rolled like thunder across the tranquil waters of Gal Galadian Bay and set the gulls of ravens flapping from every mast. <clears throat> That's pretty sick, dude. I like that. That's sick. Just some insight on Merlwib and kind of how she was changed by the calamity and 
how even a, a beautiful anchorage like what they had there could just be completely fraught with ruin. And in their own bay, bodies floated in, and all they all she had to hold on to was hope. <clears throat> That's that was cool. I like that. What's the deal here? Oh, that's kind of a longer one. Beware, beware, the daughter of the sea. <laughs> St she still gets more focus than Connie Senna? True. Pyro, you have background music on if you want to upload it later. I don't have the background music on. I kind of liked it. The last good story in WoW. True. <clears throat> you want this one? All right, here we go. 200 subs. Here we go. Nanama watched from her private terrace as the immortal flames filed out of Uldah. The host left the city via the gate of Thal, an egress symbolizing passage into the afterlife in hopes of cheating death upon the battlefield. I didn't know that. What? That's so cool. Crowds had gathered for the occasion, their boisterous cheers resounding through the Sultanate, but Nanamo did not hear them. She stood transfixed before the balustrade as Raban put his sp spurs to his courser, and there she remained long after the dust had settled in the rear guard's wake. She had steeled herself for this moment, but when it finally came, she found that her courage had deserted her all the same. Suddenly, the reality of her isolation was only too plain, and the mere thought of it made her struggle for breath. I am alone. May the gods grant me strength. As the days went by, the weight of responsibility and uncertainty began to tell. Nanamo's nights were sleepless. Not even her favorite dishes would pass her lips. And her round lalafilin cheeks took on a hollow cast. Sure enough, despite the best ministrations of her ladies in waiting, her health began to fail. She became a ghost of herself. And her duties went untended. Whenever a difficulty presented itself, she would invariably think, If only Rabon were here. Cursing her own weakness. Even as the thought took shape, she knew very well that as Flame General, Rabban's place was at the host of the Cartano Flats. It was his duty to lead his men into battle against the Seventh Imperial Legion. Holy fuck. I should soon be six and ten summers old. Thank you. Please. I love you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I shall soon be six and ten summers old. Wait, six and ten? Wait, hey, sixteen? Why do they say it's six and ten? I cannot rely upon others forever. Sooner or later, I must stand on my own two feet. I only hope I have the strength. Another meal came and went untouched. Taking her leave of the dining hall, Nanamo glanced apologetically at the silent shadow that was Pippin Tarapin, adoptive son of Raban and officer of the Immortal Flames. Ye doth protest? <laughs> <laughs> the earnest young soldier remained at her, fa at her side at his father's behest, and trusted to her with her care in the Flame General's absence. Pippin would never admit it, dutiful as he was, but Nanamo knew that he would sooner be fighting beside his comrades at Cartano. She could not help but feel responsible for denying him his wish. And for what? Though Pippin was his son's, was his father's son, it was plain to both of them that it was the father that she needed. And so the days dragged on, each fading into the next, until the hour of reckoning came at last. Word from our Domina, your grace. The battle is joined. Nanamo was in the fragrant chambers, holding private audience with Thancred of the Circle of Knowing when Pippin burst in with tidings. A week 
I see, was all she could manage in response, while Pippin strove to hide his disappointment at his tepid utterance. At this tepid utterance, Thancred was quick to make his feelings known. Begging your pardon, your grace, but I'd hoped for something a little more rousing. Since agreeing to serve as your advisor to the Sultanate, the self-proclaimed bard had made himself at home at court, becoming ever more irreverent in the process. When last I looked, your people had need of you. What could a powerless puppet like me possibly do? Nanamo slapped, snapped back. S slap back! Immediately regretting her petulance. The bard was not discouraged, however, and responded with uncharacteristic force. You are not powerless, your grace. You can pray for Eorzea's salvation. Prayer, she thought. Has it really come to that? But of course it had. Even as they spoke, Dalima drew closer. According to Archon Louisois, only by the power of the Twelve could the Lesser Moon be returned to the heavens, and the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era forestalled. And only by the prayers of the faithful could that power be summoned forth. It was to allow the summoning ritual to proceed unhindered that the soldiers of the Eorzean Alliance, Rabban among them, now fought at Cartano. Thancred went on, his voice taking on a gentler tone. If you pray, so too will the people. And the combined strength of all their faith shall bear the plea for Eorzea's salvation unto the heavens. A moment passed in silence. If praying is all that I can do, then I will do it with all my heart. Composing herself once more, she nodded, rose from her seat and turned her steps upward towards Az Arzaneth Asuri. Upon arriving at the temple, Pippin helped Nanamo to her knees and stood guard as she prayed. On the far side of the city, at the Milvanus Sacrarium, Thancred was doing the very same, she knew. O oh gods of my, of my forefathers, deliver us from destruction. O oh gods of my forefathers, bring Rabban safely back to me. A few hours in her vigil, chaos erupted. The ossuary shook violently, as if struck by a giant's fist, prompting Pippin to draw close as masonry fell about them. Terrified screams filled her ears, but Nanamo did not give in to panic. In defiance of the tumult around her, she prayed with all her being. Her determination was soon rewarded. The stone plinth bearing the mark of the dust trader began to glow. Moments later, a pillar of light burst forth from its surface, enveloping the image of Thal that stood upon it and illuminating every corner of the hall. In that instant, Nanamo felt the presence of the divine. Even as she basked in the sensation, a familiar voice echoed in her mind. Let Eorzea be born anew, it said. Louis Swa, she thought, and knew no more. Nanamo awakened to find herself lying prone on the ossuary's smooth stone floor. Footfalls rang out all about her. From the corner of her eyes, she saw Pippin rise to one knee, seemingly struggling to shake off the self-same torpor which she, which griped her, gripped her. For a time, she remained still, content to gaze up at the stone plinth. Its divine had faded. Its divine light had faded, she noted dimly. A shrill yell brought her back from her reverie. Rioters at Sapphire Square! They're headed this way! Consternation swept over Pippin's face. Your grace, we cannot linger. Let us return to the palace at once. I will not hide while my people suffer. The answer rose to her lips unbidden, with a swiftness that surprised even her. Rising to her features, she surveyed her surroundings. Robed figures were scrambling hither and thither, bearing precious tomes and artifacts away, presumably to safety. At the heart of the bustle, a small yet commanding figure was barking out orders. Nanamo recognized him as Mumuipo, Mumuepo, high priest of the Order of Nald, Thal, uh, of Nald Thal, and master of the Thaumaturges Guild. These rioters cannot be allowed to defile the ossuary, the man screamed. Incinerate any foolish enough to come near. These words set Nanamo's blood to roiling. And you call yourself a man of the cloth? Checking her fury, she addressed all present. Our citizens are in the grip of fear. They but want for a voice of reason to restore them to their senses. Who among you will aid me? Pippin stepped forward as Nanamo knew he would. 
Though I am but a poor substitute for my father, I live only to serve you, my sultana. Pray command me as you see fit. Next came Papa Sean of the Sultan, Swar Sultan Sworn, followed by five thaumaturges of the guild, Lalafels all, and brothers besides. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! My homies! No more answer the Sultan's call, however. Only seven, she lamented as she shook, she took stock of her volunteers. But they will suffice. They must. With gritted teeth, Thanamo stepped out onto the stricken streets of Uldah. Of their own accord, her hastily assembled escort formed a protective ring around her, and together they trudged through the smoke and rubble. No matter where she looked, her eyes were met with the scenes of carnage. A girl cried over the charred body of her mother. A man lay moaning, his legs crushed beneath a ton of stone. Their plight wrenched her heart, but she could not stop for them. She had to quell the unrest else there could be no lasting relief. I will return for you all. This I promise. As Nanamo's band reached Emerald Avenue, the mob of rioters came into view. Shops and homes had been ransacked in its wake, the occupants fleeing for their lives undaunted. Nanamo forged onward to within earshot of the advancing rabble, where she stopped, took a deep breath, and set about her task. Papa Sean, I must have their attention. Nodding, the elder paladin produced a blinding flash that staggered some of the rioters. Many, however, continued their rampage, oblivious. Thaumaturges light up the sky. In unison, the five Lalafilin brothers let loose a warning barrage of spells overhead. Most impressive among these was the conflagration unleashed by the brother with the bandaged face. <laughs> Those rioters who failed to take notice before did so now. Satisfied, Nanamo turned to Pippin. Lend me your back. With a booming voice that belied, uh, belied her size, Nanamo addressed the rabble. Heed me, my beloved citizens, she began. The realm lies upon the brink of the seventh umbral era. Yet so long as we live, we must not forget our compassion. Now is not the time to take from your neighbor, but to proffer him the hand of succor. The brave men and women of the immortal flames risk their lives that we might go on with ours. Would you have them return to an old dar that has torn itself apart? Looks of shame manifested upon begrimed faces. I ask that you be strong. Give in not to fear and despair. If we join hands in common cause, there is no hardship that we cannot overcome. Together, let us tend to the wounds of our nation, of our shared home. Hearing these heartfelt words from their sultana, the madness began to melt from the rioters' eyes to be replaced by the gleam of reason. Soon after, a semblance of order returned to the city and organized relief efforts commenced in earnest. Some days later, the remnants of the immortal flames trudged back into Uldah entering the city by way of the Gate of Nald. Wounded and weary though the soldiers were, they yet had homes to which they might return. In the midst of rebuilding, Nanamo issued, his, issued a decree stripping Mumuepo of all official titles and accompanying privileges. Though such an act would ordinarily have been beyond her authority, it was made possible owing to clever maneuvering on Pippin's part. Evidence of rampant corruption was found with the High Priest in its midst and his order had no choice but to abide by the sultana's will. In place for the incarcerated Mumuepo, the five Lalafilin brothers were made joint masters of the Thaumaturges' guild. Okay. In the months and years that followed, Nanamo often revisited the events of that fateful day. I am not powerless, she would remind herself. There are things that even a puppet might achieve. If she could do her duty as Sultana in the midst of the Calamity, she could surely carry out the task to come. Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you. Pizza. Pizza, pizza.
The short stories are really good, dude. I'm actually kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't get into these sooner. These are really good. They're really good. Can you link me the walls, the wall paint? I read a new one for every 100 subs that we get. Huh. Discord. Admiral Green. Thank you for gifting 20 subs. That's one fifth of a story right there. Boneless barbecue wings. My girlfriend got boneless barbecue wings. Oh my fucking God. I'm gonna nut. I'm gonna nut. Who's your favorite and least favorite Lollafell NPC so far? Kaleji Adeleji is the worst. Good thing he's, uh, well, he decided to split, so. Um, favorite, probably Gryald or Tataru. Call me Call me Tarek. Thank you so much for gifting 10 subs to the channel. That's 30 subs right there between the two of you. Thank you. Keeping him to Leggy and Adelegi. Brother, thanks so much for subbing with a tier one for two months. Grats on the new sub badge for you. I'll continue. I just need to get some food in me. Have you seen the crap guide to FF14? No. Link it. Don't link it to have spoilers? God damn it. Spoilers? How big of spoilers? Okay, good to know, Anonymous. Thanks for gifting five, or tipping five dollars. Yo. Tori, thank you for gifting uh, five subs to the channel. Calzone14, thanks for subbing for three months. Congrats on the new sub badge. And Spartan Hexes, thanks for subbing for three months as well. And new sub badge. Bosses and zones from the end of the game. Now, oh, dumb. I watched something that's not spoilers. Slash emote, is that one spoilers? Watch Asmund's WoW Council application. He actually applied. Did he write it out on stream? He did? Oh, he read it? Is it on Zakrar? Or is it just on What's Up? He didn't actually apply? Oh. 
He put out a full New World review. Oh, it was right there. Yeah, I read about the last Let's see. Wow community thing. Yeah, I did. Do you want to hear my application to the WoW community thing? Because I did apply. So I'll, I'll go through it. Um, council. So uh, I'll read this for you guys just for people to get an idea of what's going on. Um, greetings, citizens of Azeroth. Uh, yeah, the first draft here was uh, greetings. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Citizens of Azeroth. What about people that live in Outland? Are they racist now? Do they hate orcs? Draenor Outlanders need not apply. Bro, that's fucked up, man. Oh my god. This is, yeah, this is the most, this is the least inclusive thing I've ever seen from Blizzard. World of Warcraft <laughs> community is second to none with passion, love, and excitement uh, you all showed to the game. Uh, cool. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people like the game. Uh, it's definitely true. Uh, player feedback impacts all aspects of the game with such wide range of opinions, play styles, and interests. Uh, out there. pass. Bye. Bye. There. Gathering and understanding feedback is more important than ever. To help further our efforts in this area, we're introducing the WOW Community Council. This program will add another venue for communication between players and WoW developers. On the subject of what he thinks, Our goal you is go to back gather your more dialogue detailed with feedback passenger on... back in the original opening ARR cutscene. There's some bits there that might be relevant. All aspects of World of Warcraft from players around the world in a wide range of backgrounds and interests. These may take the form of live chats between council members and WoW devs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So conversations with them. One of our key goals for this program is to encourage discussion with players from a wide variety of play styles. To help ensure this, part of the application process will involve sharing your area. This is a totally different thing, isn't it? What is going on? Whether it's cutting edge rating, playing alts, completing achievements, accessibility, or completing transmog. Uh, I want to know your perspective and ensure that you are heard. Okay. So anyway, I originally was not going to apply to this community council. I said, you know what? Fuck it. But I was doing Torghast. <laughs> and I got in to the Adam Vault. <laughs> you don't have to say anything else. <laughs> And I killed the boss. You could end the, the video there. Bolts, and it dropped the pair of shoulders that I already had. So I put in an application. And I'm going <laughs> to read the application to you guys. It's on my other computer. So this is my application to the World of Warcraft Community Council. Honestly. I wasn't going to apply for this until I just did Torghast Adamant Vaults and out of the three pairs of golden shoulder transmogs that are supposed to drop, I got a duplicate of one of the ones I already had. What kind of dog shit ass garbage <laughs> is that? A 1% chance it can repeat? Why is an item that I already have that's still on the loot table, I'm not having fun? Honestly guys. In the past few expansions, the completionism content, in this parenthesis, mounts, transmogs, pets, toys, collection in general, has gone into the shitter. I'd like to give my insight into why I and many other people who I've spoken to have diminished interest in chasing those goals. Before I do that, I want to make sure that you understand why I think this is important. If you can get someone into completionism content, you have effectively engaged them into the entire game. All expansions, all game modes, everything. Creating meaningful and fair and fun journey towards that progress is the key in creating a player who will play your game for the next 15 years and more so, creating a player who will value what you've done in the last 15 years. Yep. Completionism content is the true end game that transcends all other forms of play. Yeah. I'm sick of seeing completionism content get released half cocked. Yep. I know that in 9.1.5, you've made changes to the Mecha Dunn achievement, and it might sound stupid, but it instilled a lot of faith that I had back into the development team. Because it doesn't matter for anybody except for the people that it does matter to, and some of those people happen to be on the dev team. 
good. We'll do it another time, Talonius. I feel like completionism content is unfulfilling, out, boring, repetitive, and bad. It wasn't always like this. Overall, um, where, where, where are we at? Oh, uh, in War of the Draenor, this is all, there's, so, uh, so, so the, 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 oh my god, okay, so, you, you know, like, whenever you fill out, you know, his I'm room only, is I'm looking a lot better. Done. He must have clean. he must have really cleaned up after what happened. His room looks so much better, like, and by the way. Uh, you, you know the desk you behind him and out, stuff, like, and a, a, uh, Google form. He's got more stuff up on the walls now. I think things that are just like one line, and other Good things that are uh, paragraphs that can get bigger as you type more into them. Uh, so, like the one where you're supposed to explain why you should be invited into the adamant, uh, <laughs> adamant vaults, um, in, into the fucking community uh, program, was a one liner. So I had just to more type light? all this out. In I don't think it's just that. And then copy paste it into it. Because I couldn't see my entire message. I think there's new stuff on the wall. Maybe I'm tripping. And these are the people that are making the fucking game. Yeah, that's they pretty bad. They couldn't even make the application right. And the worst thing about it that's is pretty the bad. question under that works. <laughs> so the question under it works just fine. <laughs> Look at he's pasting. <laughs> Have you heard of the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV? With an expanded free trial, which you can play through the entirety of a realm reward of the award winning Heavensward expansion up to level 60 for free with no restrictions on playtime? But the one where you have to explain <laughs> why you should be invited into the team doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Overall, I, I think that's like the editor still. still that's funny as fuck. Boring, repetitive, and bad. It wasn't always like this. True. I think in WAD, we started to see a lot of achievements being added into the game that were just. Yo, side point that Halo Reach poster is fucking sick. And I can't wait for Halo Infinite. I am going to be streaming that. Exercises and wasting time. 2,000 pep battles in Draenor? Why? What kind of garbage is that? The goal is so big, so vast, that pursuing it is folly. 2,000 pep battles in Draenor? That's an achievement? Just, just in Draenor? That's disgusting! What? 2,000 wins! Not even just, not even just games, wins! ...to feel stupid for trying to achieve your achievements. And how could you not feel stupid for trying to get 2,000 pet battle wins in Draenor? True! Pristine artifacts and archaeology. Thank fucking God you didn't have archaeology in Shadowlands. And then I put in parentheses, it's actually a huge mistake. Imagine all the lore that you could have Not nah, true! Literally, right as he said that, I was like, well, they could have done some kind of cool lore with it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Asmin, get out of my head! Shadowlands. Otherwise, we'd be farming primal pristine artifacts. I'm sure, however, that whenever we turn them in, this time, we'd get 20 crates of restored artifacts, rather than the 5 or 10 that we only get from the regular pristines. Go look at the Draenor meta achievement for pristine artifacts and tell me Ugh. that completing that piece of shit isn't the first step in a mental asylum. There was a glorious time. <laughs> a beautiful time. When I would spend over 80 hours a week wasting time and well, farming for items of little to no significance, for one hours greater goal week. of getting all of the things. The <laughs> ultimate achievement has a chance to spawn. Uh, the ultimate achievement of the Apex Neckbeard, only spoken of in legend. Fast forward to 2021. Oh wow! The another Apex Neckbeard, another reskinned bear <laughs> from a rare spawn that has a chance to spawn. Great. I can't true. wait to that for the next Oh, true. Years. A chance at a mount from a rare spawn that has a chance to spawn. <sighs> for the next three years. Wow. That's a really cool wow. from the rare and Arden Wheel. Wow. Too bad I have to be a fucking survival hunter to even loot it. That part's in all caps. Why? <laughs> why, Blizzard? Why have you done this to me? And this is all in caps. Please allow me to gain true fulfillment and enlightenment through wasting my life on your game again. I used to be really good at raiding. Before that, I used to be decent at PvP. But now I'm not good at any of that stuff anymore because <laughs> I realized the true goal of Christianism <clears throat> transcends all of that. Gear comes true. and goes. Gets replaced every patch. True. Mounts? A mount is forever. True. Let me craft. Let me help you craft a player mindset that thinks in terms of forever. And that was my uh, that was my application. Uh, I actually really like 
that fucking final line right there. That was actually so slick. If someone put that in a sales presentation, they'd get a little bonus points for that. Coming out of it with like a nice clean like slogan. That's really good, dude. Okay. It's in terms of forever. Let, it, let me help you create a player who thinks in terms of forever. What a great fucking line, dude. What? How profound. <laughs> a noun is forever. Let me craft let me help you craft a player mindset that thinks in terms of forever. Yeah. And that was my uh that That's was That's really good. I'll check my email. <laughs> that was, that's great. That's a good line. See if I uh if I got a, accepted, okay? Uh give me one second. I'm just gonna go our right back. Yeah, okay, this Who's is a this? friend of mine, his name's Dylan, and uh, he and I, we went to high school together, and uh, my mom, you know, like, it's between you and, um, you know, the other Dylan with long hair, you know, the wild Dylan. I remember him, yeah. Yeah, we all remember him. Uh, <laughs> one time, Dylan and I, we were on Omegle together. Uh, I love the story. Yep, and you were sitting over there. I've never, and, uh, I've never, uh, I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen an Asmund stream, personally. Where someone, especially someone that's not a streamer, came on the stream. I don't think I, I can remember the last time that I've that I've seen that. It's got to be pretty rare. You kept, and I was trying to do Lord Marogar in ICC. They come on all the time. I also don't like watch. I just don't really watch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't really. Watch. Yeah. Whole fucking time. And you kept fucking going to different people. Ever like, since Asman took my moderator status away on his stream, I haven't been there, you know? Timing out morons was half the fucking fun of being on Asmagold's stream. And if I can't do that, then, you know. You would skip the girls. <laughs> and you skip so the if fucking... Asman wants me as a viewer, sorry, buddy. Go in your chat <clears throat> slash mod space pyromancer. Enter. Easy. Then you don't have to worry about it. Cody's a streamer? Oh, I didn't know that. Girls, and, and you would say, you would say, show me your dick. Show me your dick. Show me your dick. And I would always, I show me your like, dick. Oh, uh, I, I talked <laughs> to Dylan or, you know, like, oh, uh, I'm going to hang out with Dylan or something like that. And she's like, which Dylan? And I'm like, show me your dick, Dylan. And she's like, oh, oh that okay. one. And yeah. she told me, she's like, if he was ever president one All day, on second channel. Dylan, oh, show me your dick, Dylan. Uh, anyway, I wanted to wrap this up and then I'll be good. So, uh, Blizzard, they had a new community outreach program and they wanted to have applicants. Nice and, Sony camera. Uh, nice camera, Sony. I put in my application and... Um, Took it a little bit, but it's uh, back. I'll just read you one line. What kind of dog should ask garbage is that? I'm just kidding. Sony actually has better cameras. Um, why, why, Blizzard, have you done this to me? So I was just gonna check on my email. Isn't that his phone? They, Probably. Uh, sent me a response. It was. It's, it doesn't really matter. It's. Um, I was just fucking around anyway. Status ticket has been changed to resolved. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> You're hired. A game master has resolved your ticket and left you the following response: No response posted. <laughs> they resolved it and didn't even respond. So you the front running then. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, I think that they probably just like they. They're probably having to escalate my uh, my application up to the executives, right? Because like it was just so good that they wanted to make sure that uh, you know they were able to give me the proper invitation and, and not to scare me off or to make me not take it seriously. He clarified so, yesterday uh, that he yeah, was that, joking. That's okay, okay. What it was. So yeah, I, I mean, I put it in my app, right? Because okay. like, if I'm gonna complain about the fucking game all the time, I might as well. Uh, oh, that part uh, is a joke. Well actually, try to make it better. The ticket response know? was from something I else. Oh, well. okay. Uh, not as much as, as uh, sorry, I was reading the chat back here. Too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's yeah, the yeah. No, um, I to move to no, I, I've been playing 14. Just finished at Uh so get in there. You kidding? I started before you actually, believe it or not. Oh, okay. But, but okay. I'm way All right. You now, yeah. So. Oh my god. I'm really getting deep into it. Man. And there it is. Deep into it. What do you play? What? what, what? Uh, Black Mage. Yes. Oh, what, what you play? Uh, <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You already. Know. Fucking say it. You is already it? know. It's a, no. It's a lollipop. Yes. Like, like a okay. cat girl. Or I thought a, it was gonna be a cat girl. No, 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 no. I'm playing a lollipop. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's yeah, my yeah. one of my second guess. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Of course. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I think I might be doing what you're doing pretty soon too. Black mage? No, bald. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, just in case, I, I, I think I saw somebody in the chat say, like, oh, is that Asmongold's brother? Because obviously we're both very handsome. Uh, but, of course. Know. Yeah. But, but Black Mage, hey, no, bald. On, on <laughs> oh, my <laughs> fucking God, dude. Yeah, let's go. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, that's funny. The chat wants me to show my dick again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. I've, I got, I don't um, know, I mean, I've show your dick! Head, it's kind of like a dick, right? Yeah, show us your dick! Really about, right? People call me a dickhead all the time, so I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, anyway guys, uh, I just wanted to come in and uh, hang out for a little bit and talk to all of you guys. Um, uh, I want to say again, uh, I really appreciate all of the... Uh, appreciate. Nice, positive dude, look at the you. fucking one million views, dude. One million! Damn, he's at 875, 873k subs, what a monster. Damn, look at how much views his videos get now. 688k? That's a fifth of the views that I got all year. Crazy. Hell yeah. What the fuck is that? Alright, well that was a big, big... Big... Stray off the path. His videos show up in the algorithm all the time. Yeah, mine, mine are, they're always in there. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. All right. What can I say? Patience isn't one of my virtues. Slash emotes, 30 minutes long, and I actually want to get something done today. Well, well. Isn't this a pleasant surprise? It fills my heart with joy to see you two hale and healthy. Welcome home, Pyro. Lise. I'm sure you've already heard about Kryle by now. That's why we're here. I'm still not sure what to think about it, but we'll save her. We'll definitely save her somehow. Aw, oh, Lise. Lise is such a sweetheart. That's what she is. I take back the bad things that I said about this character. I do. She's gotten a lot more character development since I, since I said what I said. And... She's just a cheery, hopeful, positive person. And sometimes she's kind of dopey, but she's so nice to have around just to just fucking, just to, I don't know, even when everyone else doesn't believe, like she just kind of believes. And I, I like that. It's good to have someone like that around. It's really hard to be that person. It's so hard to be that person. Optimistic, sometimes to an aggressive fault. Yeah. No, I get it. Sometimes she's foolish. Sometimes she's a little naive. That's how Ida was too. I think Ida was, uh... Ida ha didn't get the amount of time for character development as Ida that Lee did. And so Ida, Ida was always the same to me. Like, Ida as I met her was Ida as I left her. Like, they were the same thing and there wasn't that much she was just goofy and dopey and could kick ass and had a terrible a realm reborn voice actor oh please but it is what it is and you know i'd like to think so but enough about me how's everything with you and the resistance you know what's crazy you know what's crazy she's still one of the worst characters and she's still better than most wow characters so <laughs> Better than when you last saw us, and no mistake, Ardenveld's been a godsend. Him and Monago and all the other young young bloods have achieved so much in 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 such short a time. The character storytelling in WoW was never my favorite, frankly. Jaina Proudmore was one of the best ones. Illidan was up there. I mean, yeah, I could I could talk about that forever, but uh, the characters weren't really the thing. It was always it was always about the cosmic conflict that I really cared the most about. I cared about the Titans as universal forces and how they treated mortals and how they treated each other. I cared about that significantly more than all the independent stories. So it's nice in this game that I'm made to care about these independent stories because I come from a game that frankly didn't really push the narrative on character stories that hard, with the exception of characters, you know, the main characters like your Jaina, your Sylvanas, your uh, you know things like that. You're, you're, you're uh, uh, Ashara, dude. Ash Ashara got more fucking character development than the Jailer, you feel me? Have you seen the, the Jane of Glamour in FF yet? Yeah, I did actually a while ago. I own Bloodborne, but I'm, I just, I rage at those games. Anar still cares about you, is keeping your scene on the Pantheon warm. The question is how? 
hopefully not with a fart, while she's not keeping it warm with Sargeras's flame because you and I both know that that evil bitch is going to put it out, regardless of what the jailer's trying to do, you know Sargeras is fucked. And let's be honest, light takes a hell of a long time to travel, and you know that game uses a lot of science fiction, so as far as we know, Sargeras's light could have already been put out, and that red star could only be a figment of what used to be. Who? Doesn't that scare you? Think about that. It's like if the sun went out in real life, we wouldn't know for seven minutes. Isn't that incredible to think about? It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. I don't give a fuck if that game falls down the toilet. If they don't do the thing with Sargeras, they suck. We've been blessed to receive the support of the flames of, Alamegan, of the Alamegan Brigade, who've been instrumental in freeing our countrymen from labor camps throughout Girabanya, as well as some political prisoners from the city proper, believe it or not. What they need to do is they need to, we need to have this revelation with the jailer where we're friends and they need to, they need to, uh, they need to finally militarize and mobilize the light. Like that's what they need to do. Period. Like that's what that's what needs to happen. If they want to continue it, the jailer and death in eternity is a thing that we're gonna have to gain a, a huge understanding of. Then it's gonna have to turn around and we're gonna have to face life and light and their absolute uh absolute domination of our world. That's what's gonna happen in Azeroth, I'm gonna tell you right now. I won't be playing it to see it, but that's what they should do. Together with the refugees returning from Uldah and elsewhere, we've had no shortage of able bodied men and women at eager to join the cause. Okay, that's cool. I know you wouldn't stop fighting, even after what happened at the Reach. And I prefer this game's graphics, for the most part. Force of habit, I suppose. Though we've come a long way, we've still far to go. But we'll fight for every limb, for every ilm, and soon later, we'll get to Alamigo. Scuff Shadowbringers? Um, well, you should probably be quiet about what Shadowbringers is. Yep, 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 yep. And what is, like, scuffed or anything like that, so that I just don't have any idea about what it's going to be. I kind of feel like I already have an idea. It's probably... It's probably for naught. Probably makes no difference. But listen to me prattling on when we should make haste to cast Remorians. There's no point you telling me everything now when you'll only have to say it all again in the flame generals for the Flame General's benefit. You're right. I'll go on ahead and tell the others that you're not far off. Oh, fuck. Sorry. It's okay. What does scuffed mean? Just like kind of... It's like the... It's like the... It's like the generic brand, you know? And for the record, never feel bad about buying the generic brand. Brand names are fucking stupid and they're just mind control. But... And trust me, I would fucking know. <clears throat> Not all of them. There are some brands that really have some good shit behind their name. But anyway, it's like half-baked, you know? It's like not really like a complete product. Scuffed is like, nah, it's like I got a chair. Like, it's like if your chair arrives. Um, but like, let's say this doesn't go up and down. Like, this doesn't, it's your chair scuffed. That's what it is. It's just scuffed. Can you tell us what you think Shadowbringers will be? <clears throat> I think Shadowbringers is going to be the emote mode this. I think Shadowbringers is going to be the point where it's it's finally brought to light, no pun intended, <clears throat> that the whole Zodiac and Heidelin plot is a little more complicated than we thought, and that the will of Heidelin and what she intended to do by splitting apart these worlds into 10 and 3 and by essentially imprisoning Zodiac I think we're probably gonna get into that point of like, okay, we're gonna see, the light is gonna come. I mean, that's very evident to me. I know that's gonna happen. The light is gonna come, right? Heidelin herself has said that she knows that an overbearance, uh, overbearing force of light or darkness is not good. She's, uh, she admits to that and she alludes to the idea that she is seeking to find the balance. I kind of don't believe that. Because I think that if you were a being that really felt that way, then the whole thing that's happened since the very beginning probably wouldn't have happened. So I find that a little sketchy. I feel like Heidelin is, is definitely using hope to mask her advancement up across Eorzea. She talks about how seven times uh, Zodiac has grown stronger. I think, Z I think the darkness inevitably has to come. I mean, we're going to become a warrior of darkness. That's going to happen. I mean... It's called Shadowbringers, right? I know that the Crystal Tower is gonna be heavily involved with it, but I, I'm curious to know where the darkness is going to come from. I don't know if it's gonna come through a portal. I don't know if it's gonna come through a conduit summoning uh, Horcrux like, like the Crystal Tower. I don't know if the Crystal Tower is gonna be used to try to bathe the world in light and Shadow is the only reprieve that stops the, the, the light from just completely consuming us. So we side with Shadow to push back the forces of light, but in doing so, we have a further uh, expanded upon understanding of uh, the balance that's supposed to exist. We still probably don't know a ton. I mean, we know more about, but not a shit fuck ton about Zodiac. 
And now I know, I don't know why we're going there, but I know that in Endwalker, we're going to the moon. And Heidelin talked about how she imprisoned Zodiac. She, she said a moon bound, like she, like she literally imprisoned him in the moon. So, uh, I don't know. I think, I mean, there's going to be a lot of light, dark, a lot of duality stuff, a lot of balance stuff, a lot of, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of thematically, like, just because it's light doesn't mean it's good, and just because it's dark doesn't mean it's bad. There's going to be an exploration of that. There has to be. This game has been hinting at that type of thought, thought process the entire time. Uh, that just because something looks scary doesn't mean that it is. Um, we're probably going to learn uh, the plot of the Asians and, and what, what their really what their angle is and why La Habrea or not La Habrea, why Elidibus is different from the others and and what, you know, do the Asians have an explicit leader that isn't their their god? Uh, you know, there's going to, I don't know, there's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Um, I know a lot of people are going to die. I know about Grahatia, so I know about the Crystal Exarch. And I know that he is not to be entirely trusted. That's not even that big a spoiler for me because I felt that way the last time I saw him anyway. Like, not shocking. <laughs> not really hardly even a spoiler, to be honest with you. I don't really care. The thing that bothered me is that he becomes a scion. I didn't know that. That was kind of shitty to learn. I didn't really like that. Uh, and I presume he's going to be alive for Endwalker as well if he's relevant in Shadowbringers for, like, main plotline story, but we'll find out. I know Yishtola's still around. Alphano and Alize are probably still around. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, half the people I know die. Like, I would not be surprised if, like, Orianger dies at some point. <clears throat> uh, I would not be surprised if... Um, if... I don't know, dude. I, I wouldn't, like... I wouldn't be... I would be... Sh I'd be... I'd be so crippled. I wouldn't be surprised if Tataru died. I don't know. There's there's a lot of opportunity for sadness and loss. <laughs> so we'll get to that when we get to that, you know? But that's kind of what I think, since you asked. And thank you for the subs during my little rant there. Saucy Perito, thanks for subbing with a tier one for six months, man. That's a long freaking time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. It is swelteringly hot in here. Let's continue the quest. I kind of have to pee, though. You've spoken with Thancred, then. Good. Take heart. If anyone can track her down, it's him. I believe I hear Commander Kemp's party approaching. If you're ready to address Father and the others, let us be about it. Okay, let me use the bathroom real quick. One second.
It is so hot in here. <clears throat> hey, chat. Thanks for being here. You, Raban, and your allies have much to discuss. Ralgar's beacon. There you are. There is Commander Kemp, I see. Poo -poo -pee -pee. It's like 40 degrees, dude. Open a window. Bro, I have the window open and a fan on. But here's the issue. There's two PCs running in here, and it's hot. It generates a lot of fucking heat. So think about it. The, the, it's, like the, it's like the window's open, but the heaters are still on. No AC. Again, it's um, November 12th, and it's... Um, 58 degrees out, and the window's open and the fan's on. You have them water-cooled? Yes. But that doesn't change the temperature of the room. That was very nice to hear. Sad thing you seem to have gotten partially spoiled for some parts. Yeah. Turn those graphics down? No, I mean, they're gonna get hot no matter what. Like, your PC... Your PC gets hot. Like, I'm not going to turn down the graphics so that my PC is not so hot. I'm just going to complain that it's hot. <laughs> I'm just going to continue complaining, complaining that it's hot. That's, that's, that's all I'm going to do. Water cooling would make the room hotter, not cooler. Tec technically, yes. In well, yeah, yeah, technically, no, yeah. Yes, water cooling does dissipate more heat into the room. <clears throat> water cooling pulls more heat away from your hardware and puts it into the room. Correct. That is correct. Yep. And and water yeah, water cooling doesn't do anything to, to cool down your room because once it's it's very I mean it's law of conservation of energy once heat is generated once that energy is generated it goes somewhere period it has to go somewhere and it goes into the room and then you overclock your rig which produces more heat true and I'm not doing any overclocking water cool yourself that's a fucking idea that's an idea well thanks Gary I appreciate that it dissipates, yes, but temperature is the same. No, Lane Wolf. You, oh, you mean, wait, wait, wait. I, I'm sorry, maybe, maybe contextually I don't understand. I'm not sure if you're talking about water cooling versus air cooling or if you're just speaking in general. Yeah, yeah. If you're speaking generally, then yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. Guys, stop asking me to take my shirt off. You haven't, you haven't got nearly close enough on subs yet. You're not even close. You gotta get that hot guy out of here. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. You see what I mean? You guys, please. There you are. And there is Commander Kemp, I see. I know you're eager to speak of our next move. But we would first hear more of your last. Tell us of your deeds in Doma. Just put your PC in a fridge. I've seen that. <laughs> Don't even hint that that's a sub goal. No, it's not. Obviously not. You can only take your shirt off if it, if it makes sense for the activity that you're doing. So if you're streaming at the pool, you can have your shirt off, no problem. If you're working out, I think you can have your shirt off. If you're just sitting in your chair, hey, I don't think you can have your shirt off. Our Scion allies, but recently returned from their mission to the Far East. We have been most eager to hear a first-hand account of your time there, eventful as we understand it Opens was. wallet, name a price. Stop. I am not for sale, yet. We have been most eager, okay, yeah. Very well. 6969 nine on subs again, by the way. It says the wrong number on the stream, uh, but let me correct that. Uh, we actually are truly at 6969. 
Six nine. You know what I should do? I should just fucking. Oh no, that won't work. Never mind. I lied. Never mind. All right. Tell us what happened, girl. Nice. You can have your shirt off and sit there, but if you start the stream with it off, you have to start the stream with it off, Such otherwise they consider it stripping. No way. But the prize is worth the price. No way. Doma, free after all these years. That's gotta be a fuck. That's bait. Bloody hells. Flooding their own castle for a better chance of victory. We could learn a thing or two from that lad. Flooding your castle for victory. That's Doma. That's flooding your castle. That's Our Doma. Agents report a flurry of That's communications he between Garlemald and Alamigo in recent days. It is plain they are in the midst of deliberating their response to the Doman uprising. Yeah, this song is yeah. I'm I'm digging the Good. story, dude. Every Imperial I really like what just happened in Doma. Will be on that was fucking unrest. The fear of leaving critical locations undefended that was... will make commanders think twice about committing their forces, giving us a chance to seize the initiative. Sorry, Raban had a lot to say there. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty good writing. I like that. Just just to, to say that, by the way, because I think there's a lot of negativity that surrounds this expansion. And I can kind of understand it with the start being as, as slow as it was. But I also could have paid more attention and gone faster and not spent time on jump puzzles and shit like that. You know what I mean? Those things were fun and all that, and I, I don't regret having done them. But just, just to say it as an example. It didn't adjust to 6969. What the fuck? Oh, it's because we're getting some right now. Whoopsies. Thank you. SB is good. I mean, yeah, this is dope. And if people say this is the worst one, then I'm going to have a fucking shit fit when I play Shadowbringers. It's going to be... Let's just... Let's, we got to keep going. Every Imperial unit. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we have a chance. I may have the last one we're ever going to get. While we've done our best to rebuild the resistance, the Imperials have only increased their efforts to root. If we keep on playing for well, smaller prizes, that. it's only a matter of time before they crush us again. And that we won't come back from. A swift advance seems best for all concerned. Not least poor Mistress Cryle. Probably not a coincidence, no, L Live Long Giraffe. Double Frost, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Zenobius, thanks for the two months. Grats on the new sub badge. Dude, I am a Pokemon. Thanks so much for the two months. Pirate Finn, thanks for the two months. Grats on the new sub badge. Once you get 696969 subs, build a room air... Build a room air conditioning PC. Okay, hold on. Build a room air conditioning built into the PC 5 head. Slash S. I can do that. Probably not. I could I could throw ice on it. Point a fan at it. Soup Noodle, thanks for the three months. Congrats on the new sub badge. Azalane, thanks so much for the two months. Congrats on your new sub badge. Enjoying the steamy stream, Pyro. It's not steamy. What is that? Lane Wolf, Twitch keeps keeps asking me to post. Oh, enjoying the content. Keep it up. Thank you. Where did you purchase your dogs? Whippets are expensive. Uh, we got them from a breeder in Washington. Yeah. They're sisters, actually. Olive and Clover are blood sisters. They are the same mom and dad. They are two years difference in age. Arya Wildheart, thanks for subbing for five months. And Zawar Zawarudo, thanks so much for continuing the gift sub from Stevie. And Stevie, thanks for gifting that. I think uh, getting sibling dogs is so cool. It's nice. Purchase, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird to think about that. I am so in love with them, dude. I can't, I don't even really think about, I don't really care. Like, the money didn't really, it has absolutely nothing to do with it. It was, I would have, I would have, dude, I love them so much. I would have paid, I would have paid fucking four times as much if I had to. I'd have saved up, but I would have done it. Stay focused, fight me, dude. Don't dance game breeders. Don't dance game breeders. If you have breeders that really know what they're doing, know what they're talking about, they actually have like their pet's history and health history and pedigree and all of those things. Breeding is okay. It's people that backyard breed, people that breed irresponsibly, people that aren't getting the puppies taken care of with the necessary medical attention that they're supposed to get upon birth, things like that. Those are the people that are bad breeders. You also need to, you also need to blame a lot of people who choose to get types of dogs that don't fit their lifestyle. Imagine you get a fucking Australian Shepherd and it has a high fucking energy level. 
in a short attention span at times. And it's gonna get in it's gonna get into things. And it might try to hurt people. Crazy that it's gonna do that. And so you don't like it, and you take it to the fucking you take it to the Humane Society, and you can't deal with it anymore. So you get rid of it and you take it there. And then some other person goes and they adopt a dog. And this dog that no one knows anything about that has come in, like it's just there's it's just like this fucking cascading shit fest, dude. And the pet medical field is just as corrupt and fucked up as the human one, especially in the in the United States, man. It's it's fucking it's it's a racket, dude. It's such a joke. I've only heard bad things on breeders. Well, I I can't imagine you've heard that many things on breeders. As someone who's purchased a dog with from a breeder, from dogs that are bred from show dogs that have been like champion show dogs, and they know every single dog in the lineage of that dog and have it on paper certified by the AKC and all of the they're certified with the AKC and everything that's fine it's it's the responsible choice it's like adopting a child don't go to Mexico and find some random person trying to give away their fucking child to adopt a child if you want to and that's the way that it works I don't know I don't know if you I mean you can't do that obviously I don't think you can do that but as you know as obviously a very hyperbolic example you know what I mean AKC is a whole other can of worms. I'm not going to get into AKC and all that specifically. That's not what I meant to say. All right, you go and you go and adopt officially. You do it properly. Puppy mills are bad. I generally agree. I would agree. There are certain there are people that are responsible and certified that still do things that they shouldn't do. I mean, I'm not going to say that everyone's perfect, and I'm not saying that you're a bad person for adopting a dog either. I'm just saying a lot of times you should be less mad at the people that buy dogs from breeders and you should be more mad that are buying of the people that are buying dogs that are commonly bred like golden retrievers and like Australian shepherds and like doodles and like anything in that class, anything in that category, Weimaraners, fucking labs of all sorts, of all colors, huskies, uh, uh, you fucking name it. Like they're literally all overbred. Bulldogs. Pugs, like, they're literally dogs that have, like, breathing deficiencies and, a tr a tr a, like, literally have trouble breathing because we bred them that way. Like, how insane is that? So what I'm, just what I'm saying is, like, if you just, if you do it responsibly and you get the kind of dog that fits your fucking lifestyle, then that's totally fine. And adopting is certainly not a bad thing. I do not mean to make it seem like that at all. That's completely fine. As long as you're responsible and you know what you're doing. You have to know what you're getting yourself into, potentially, when you adopt a dog. And a lot of people don't. They think a dog is just like a fucking, it's like a toy, and they bring it home and everything is great until it bites their kid's face, because their kid gets in its face, or it maims their cat, or it gets up on the counter, or shits in the fucking house. Like, there's a lot of things that you have to think about when you get a dog, and you have to be prepared for those potential things. And if you're not, you're just as bad as the person who took them there in the fucking first place because they didn't want them. And there's people that get them from fucking humane societies and then take them back. It's like, dude, Know what you're getting yourself into. And and honestly, I'll shut up after this. This is a rant coming from someone that made an irresponsible decision with a dog. It's part of why I know. We decided to adopt this fucking blue heater, blue healer border collie mix. Terrible idea. But I was young. It was stupid as fuck. Me and my, me and my girlfriend got him. He was a herder. He was anxious. We didn't really know much about him. Parent, you know, didn't you know, we, we took him home. He nipped someone's fucking heel in the house because he's a herder and got anxious or whatever. And, uh, and the fucking cops came and took the dog away. And I had to pay for every day that that dog was in the pound. I had to pay for vaccinations for things that I couldn't prove that he had because we had literally just got him. I made an irresponsible decision. And because of me, that dog had to spend time in a pound and I had to spend a lot of money. And I should have known better. And it, that's why now I know that getting a dog is a pretty big decision. It's a pretty big responsibility. So when people treat it that way, it's okay to adopt. But when you don't treat it that way, and you're not being responsible, don't do it. That's why we ended up... Yeah. I got a Saluki mix. Oh my god, my girlfriend, I, my girlfriend and I are both in love with Salukis. Yeah, just don't do it. Sorry for the soapbox rant. I, I, it's something that I didn't used to be that passionate about, but ever since I got with my girlfriend and we've had these dogs and I've just fallen in love with them as, as though they are people for the first time in my life, I've been given the opportunity to like get to know a dog and 
you know, be the responsible party for it and not have it like be untrained and like unruly because that's what I had when I lived with my parents, frankly. That's how the dogs were. Um, you know, they weren't, you know, it's, it's a lot different. So it's a, uh, it's a thing that's important to me now because I realize how unaware a lot of people are on it and it's not even their fault necessarily. You can't even trust your fucking vet to tell you what to feed your dog because your vet's going to prescribe you some bullshit ass fucking science diet that's going to make your dog dehydrate and give it fucking kidney stones. <laughs> it's fucking nuts, dude. Your fucking dog's pancreas is going to shut down because it's consuming so much fucking carbohydrates that it's turning into sugar. <laughs> like, it's insane, dude. It's insane. Anyway. Anyway, I'm sorry. I need to move on. I'm like having a vegan rant right now. Shadowbringers is going to kill Pyro, probably. Yeah. That's why I'm not a pet owner. It's not for everyone. I hope I didn't make anyone feel bad. And I hope that I didn't come off as condescending or rude. I, I certainly was not meaning to be. I'm just really passionate about that topic, so... Sometimes, I get really serious. <laughs> uh, a swift advance seems best for all concerned. Yeah, okay. Mighty Ranadin, thanks so much for gifting a sub to Lady no Kitty K. The campaign for our vegan liberation begins now. Let's our go. first objective will be to capture Castellum Valadina. Take the bridge, and the whole of the fringes will be ours. From there, we can push east towards the peaks. I almost wrote Taking Back Sunday. I changed my mind. Taking Back Alameda. I named this operation <laughs> Rolger's Beacon. Rolger's Beacon. For as Rolger once sent his star to guide our ancestors to these lands, so too shall it see us home. Ralgar's star, yeah, yeah, I remember them saying that. Interesting. I want to see Ralgar. I'm afraid it won't happen. But I want to see Ralgar so fucking bad. I thought Ilbert was going to summon Ralgar, and then Shinreyu came out of it. Which is weird. So weird. Why? I mean, I guess it was, yeah, Vengeance Incarnate. Nidhogg. The hatred and, yeah, vengeance, I guess, in Ilbert's heart. Isn't it still based on what Ilbert... I wonder... Mm, random thought, but I wonder if someone can remotely influence the aspect of a summoning. I just, I just wonder because, like, it'd be interesting if there were another party involved in the summoning of something, but they weren't, they weren't near it. I mean, I guess I've sort of seen that before, right? I don't know if, if uh, Thornton works the same way or would work like that. I don't know if it works like that. Xenos hmm. knows this, which is why he has ordered For Fordola and her men to see the to the bridge, bridges defenses. So we'll get to fight the skulls again. The butcher is not to be underestimated. She is decisive, ruthless, and feared by foes and friends alike. But we have a plan to defeat her. First, we send an alliance force down the main road, signaling our intention to mount an all-out assault. 
The garrison will muster their forces and prepare for a protracted battle. However, they will soon find that we are ill-prepared for the counterattack. Our men will begin to break ranks and flee. Phoenix sort of had that happen, if you remember. Right, I guess, like... Louis Swa became that, and no one was even present. Not like, not in the same manner though, right? Like it was all the Eorzeans' belief in him that like, it was all the prayers from across Eorzea, yeah, yeah. Not just like one small place. And I wonder if the prayer of a being is influenced by how much ether they have. Like, I don't know, is one person's prayer worth more than another? I guess, would it depend on how devoted they are in internally? I guess it would, I don't know, would it just be like, the more potent your belief is, the more the more powerful your conviction, the deeper the emotion, the, the more etheric value it has? The more prayer power you get? Hi, Fordola is too aggressive not to press the advantage. She will order her men to give chase. We lure them as far as East End, where the commanders will rally their forces and attempt to hold their ground. If all goes to plan, we should be able to keep the greater part of the garrison occupied. Leaving us to tackle the British remaining defenders. Very clever, I'm sure. <laughs> but what are we to do if the Imperials smell a rat and return before we've taken the place? I don't need you to take Valadina, Commander Kim. All I need is for you to fly your flag from its tower. Oh. Hmm. Trick them into thinking that we took it. Oh shit. We convinced them that Belladina Belladina is lost. Hit them hard in our with our reinforcements. Hit them very hard and very fast. And watch them go running for the hills. Then when the dust is settled, we regroup at the Castellum. What say you? Send it. It's a bold plan, but a good one. We'll do it. Yes! In that case, we shall support both the Resistance and the Alliance and the Alliance forces. Pyro, Lys, Aaronvold, I ask that you accompany Commander Kemp. Alizé and I will remain with the Flame General. Yeah, make sure he doesn't lose another arm, please. We will return to Ralgo's Reach and make our preparations. As soon as they are complete, we will join you in the field. Godspeed. <laughs> I don't know what this guy's voice is. I don't know. I can't I can't pick. I can't decide. Mio the Monster, thank you for subbing with your Prime Gaming. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. The original fist bump, dude. Uh <laughs> All right, Lise, I'm coming to you. Coming over to you. How fast do you guys think I can do the jump puzzle here now? Think I can just crush it? I'm not gonna try. <laughs> That's bait. That is bait. We don't go there. It's, it's like Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. One and done. Put a shirt on. It's like a, it's like a shirt. It's like a, I, and I, oh, there's no other Lalafels. I was going to say, don't you see there's kids here? And I was going to target a Lalafell, but there's no other Lalafell to make the joke. So I couldn't make the joke. In case you haven't noticed, the flag flying above Veladina is bloody massive. It'd take a dozen men to change it, and far too long besides. But there's no need for all that, right, Monago? Not so long as I have my griffin in a satchel of glamour prisms, no. Aaronvald, you're in charge of the runners between us and the Alliance. No Link Pearls. Lise, I want you to look in on the squadrons. Make sure they've got everything they need. Everybody clear? All right, yeah, let's go. I, sir, I thought I was standing on that stool for a second. I was going to be very upset. 
All forces are to depart for Castellum Corvi when ready. That will be all. Pyro, stay with me a moment, if you would. There's a few men I'd like you to look on... Look in on personally. Each of them has lost people, and I can tell that it weighs on their hearts. There have been a lot of new faces since you were last here, so it's best if I just tell you where to look. One's an officer you'll find, you'll find in the barber. Another's an older fellow who likes to pass the time on the shore of Starfall. I have a druid in World of Warcraft named Starfall. Well, I did. The last is a fiery young lad from Little Alamigo, who I'm told trains by himself by the river to the fringes. You'll know them when you see them. Come and find me when you're finished. Okay. Here we go. Whoa! Look at all those chairs. Hello. We just big chilling right now? I. The council will now decide your fate, Pyromancer. Oh. What does that mean? What does that mean, though? State your case. Um... Uh... I mean, I... Can do voices. Um... I really enjoy, like... A nice pasta. And... I have crippling depression. Anything else? I think, is that enough? You're declared guilty of stalling and hereby sentenced by... St sentenced by stunlock for two minutes. Two minutes?! You have, not, you have some nice knives, too. I actually uh, sold them all. You did, Mono. Unfortunately. I'm being judged. Now you gotta talk about your dogs more. I could do that. Olive, Clover. Black Alchemist, thank you for gifting 10 subs to the channel. Thank you. Guys, can we get some Pyram gift in the chat? I don't think they're coming. I don't think they give a shit. They said nah. See, that's a whippet. They listen really well when they want to. And then when they're tired and don't want to, they said, fuck off. They're like, nah. Nah. I, I'm going to go continue this. I love all of you. Summoning failed. Need more crystals. I didn't have enough conviction. My prayer wasn't strong enough. I wonder, dude, a single, a single person can summon a primal. Ah, fuck. Fuck. In the Garleans hat. Oh, God. Wait, I know you. Sergeant Manser of the Maelstrom. It is an honor to meet you. I was living hand to mouth in Uldah, but decided to enlist in the, f in the flames after I heard tales of your dar daring do. And now, as fate would have it, I've been sent here to join in the fight for my homeland's liberation. Ah, but this is no time to talk. I've got to prepare for the operation. Take care, Sergeant. We'll get those Imperial horse sons what for? Yeah, those horse sons. What in the fuck? Did you guys hear that? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm out of here. Oh, God, he's following. Oh, juke him. Ooh, around the pillar again. Which way do you go? Oh, shit, stream delay. What you gonna do? Oh, shit. <laughs> Send help, chat. I am being pursued. 
This is like a scene out of, out of Taken. I know how I can escape him, though. Oh my god, he's so fast. Oh my god, he's so fucking fast. Oh, he's the fastest. My short little legs. Oh my god, my short little legs. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's right there. Oh, I'm not at the right one. Where is it? It's over there. That's a purple chocobo. Oh no. Okay, this is not gonna go any better than it did the first time. Let's go continue the MSQ. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can swim now. Wow. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I say, if it isn't the lad who helped me find the ward I mis misplaced. <laughs> he whispered me, do not defy the council further. What is happening right here? Uh, but there I go, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, but there I go again treating you as an equal. It wasn't until after you'd gone that one of my comrades pulled me aside and told me it was the only, it was the only, it was only the bleeding hero of Eorzea who'd taken time out of his busy day to help me. Well, what's done is done, but I know that I will fight with every ounce of my strength in this coming battle. And the next, and the next, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. Mayhap that will serve to repay the favor. Fare you well. Yep. Thanks for saying that. Thanks. And the next day. Money! <laughs> oh no! Wait. It's only this way. Everything is fine. Everything is completely fine. Just gotta fucking send it! Oh, almost. Pyro, am I right? I doubt you remember me, but I'll never forget you. Saved my life and little Alamigo you did. Wired, Will, uh, Wired, Wilred and the rest of us had gotten into our heads that, had gotten it into our heads that if we had enough crystals, we could summon Ralgar like the Amalja summoned their god. Thankfully, you put a stop to it. Yeah, because it probably would have worked. Ever heard about what happened to Wilred? Joined the Braves when they came calling, only to turn up dead one day. Never found out how or why, but I reckon it doesn't matter. Dad's dead after all. But at least he died doing what he thought was right. And maybe that's the best... Maybe that's the best folks like us can hope for, eh? Not that I'm in a hurry, mind. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Yeah, that is, uh... He was the fake griffin, I think. Hello, Susanna Slamfire. What is it you... Oh, that was loud. What is it... Well, it's still loud. What is it you want? That's a cool gun. Is that like an Alagon gun? An Alagon? The council has decided your judgment. A trial by combat? Is there a surrender emote or like a hands up emote? Is there like anything? Grovel? Well, that doesn't hold it. Uh, no. Anything where I just hold them up? Huh? Okay, that's... Okay. That's not bad. Anyway. Huh? A trial by combat. I have to... Oh my god, I have to fight that? She said bring out the dragon. Oh my god. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Yeah, no, sorry. I can't do it. Hello. Akira, looking good as always. Hello. Looking strong. And respectable. Drive, I am. Ok, 
God, I love the Kaka emote, dude. I didn't know that was a thing. Fresh fruit. Respectfully. You've had word. You've had a word with the men I mentioned, then. Yes, sir. Look at the wheel pyro, not the cat girl. As I'm sure you've noticed, they have another thing in common aside from tragedy. You've touched each of their lives in one way or another. But that's not the reason I wanted you to speak with them. A man who's lived in Girabanya his whole life, who bore witness to the realities of the occupation for 20 unbroken years. A man who fled Alamigo in search of a new life, who swore to serve another nation, only for fate to conspire to send him back here. A youth born in sovereign soil, who never knew his parents' homeland, yet nevertheless felt kinship with our cause. Three men, three stories, three reasons, yet all belong to the resistance. In growing larger, we've grown more diverse, and while there is good in that, there's also the potential for strife and discord. Hey, you don't steal our fucking ideas, man. We came out with that shit first. Don't fuck, a, don't fuck around. It'd take a special sort to lead such men to Alamigo, don't you think? Good thing they've got you. Someone like Lise, you mean? people before, but... Nah, good thing they've got you. Not that this guy's done much either. For now, I, but not forever. And to be frank, I don't always know what to say to the ones who, who left. Not to mention the youths. Nay, the Resistance needs a leader with a wider view. Someone who's not lived their whole life in Girabanya. Who's known death and hardship, but not been ground down by them. Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe Lise. Aye, as you may have guessed, I've been thinking of asking Lise. But I, it'll be her decision in the end. Okay. I trust I needn't say that this conversation's just between you and me. Uh, well, and 3,800 other people, but... Good lad. Right then, we'd head, uh, we'd best head to Castellum Corby. Or what ra or what remains of it, rather. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Pyromancer, we demand you face the dragon, or the Lalafell Council will take your knees. Joke's on you. I am the shortest Lala there is, and I don't have knees. I run like a Chucky doll. I shall face you myself. What are you, a pokey trainer? Like, what is this? Prepare yourself. All right. <laughs> Wait. Did you just resurrect? Did... RUN FOR YOUR LIFE! IT'S A GHOST! OH JESUS! Fucking Askians. G -g -g ghost People are so funny, dude. 
Just the random confrontations crack me the fuck up. I don't have all the shit here, bro. Come on. Oh, yeah, I haven't ex Oh, yeah, this is the new zone. I haven't explored shit. East End. Or the fringes, rather. So, was that big hole in the ground? Don't answer this. Was the big hole in the ground that Astinian was next to? Is that where Shin Shinrayu is hiding? I feel like they probably, that's like one of those things I feel like they drop in there to make you think about that thing again because it hasn't been brought up a whole lot in the actual Stormblood. Are you a 20th century dictator by any chances? Because damn you are stolen. I don't like these ant lions, dude. They freak me out. I thought ant lions only existed in Half Life. limbering up. I'll prove to them that it wasn't a mistake. That I wasn't a mistake. Her name is Obda. Her name is Oda. Oba? Oda? How do you know which one is silent? How do you know? Is the D silent or is the B silent? Or are neither of them? Odba? Odba. Her name is Odba. We've known each other... We've known each other long since we... We've known each other since we were small. We'll be going on this mission together. Cool. Alright, that'll cut him to the bone. That's right. Ananta battle maid. You are the warrior, yes. It is an honor. You as well. I said it then, and I'll say it again. I won't let it all be for nothing. Good. Good for you, Elise. We'll lead the way while, under, while the other units launch their own separate attacks. Remember that we need to hold out until Monago sees to the flag. We're doing capture the flag. Got your gear in order? Any moment now. Oh, shit. Chat. All the letters are silent. Her name is pronounced. Got it. Thanks. Oh, my new chair was supposed to get here today. My, my butt hurts. It's begun then. Oh, fuck. The battle for Alamigo's begun. Good. It's the waiting that drives me mad. Standing around, knowing what's to come. I'll never get used to it. Can't say I blame you. I oh, just got a new email. Calm down, oh. Nogo. And thanks for the fiber, by the way, Siren. <laughs> You're making her nervous. We've come this far, haven't we? We've come this far, haven't we? We just need we? to make it the rest of the way. We just need to make it the rest of the way. Right. Right. You're gonna die. She's gonna die. Aaron Vald might as well. Looks like the bastards went for the bait. The bridge is ours for the taking. Now remember, Monaco, I want you to make for the tower as soon as you see an opening and get that flag flying. We'll see to the fighting. That's a big ass tower. I won't let you down, sir. And a big ass flag. Come then. Rolga's star shall burn bright this day.
Level 69 activity. La 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 let's go. C -c 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 Combo breaker. Quickly now, we've got to reach Veladina before General Aldine. Before General Alden and his men are overwhelmed. Oh shit. Well, y'all got some crazy shit going on out here today. Okay, I'll box with here it. Here he comes! I'll box with it! Bada bing, bada boom, say goodbye to this dude. Getting exploded, he's totally hopeless. Nobody knows it, but he's probably doping. Oh, jeez. Magic attack, yes, sir. You can finally use your flare rotation here for AoE. True. Ooh. No sign of sentries. General Alden must have his hands full. Then let's seize the bridge and be done with it. Look at this Gar laying mate trying to impress you with his little baby fireballs. <laughs> Almost sound like some kind of early era radio sports announcer. They left a token force behind. Oh my god. Here we are, here we are. Well, these seem like the obvious choice first. Is hurt. Yeah, of course. Think you're clever with all your little tricks? Think again. None of you are leaving here alive. Ugh, you suck. You're so annoying. Why do I always have to deal with you? Ooh! That was a crit if I ever fucking saw one. Ow!
that's not what the fuck I meant to do. That's annoying as shit. Now I can just sit here and spam fire. For 30 seconds. You're so fucking annoying. I still can't use it. Oh, the cooldown on Anokian is the bane of my existence. I can't wait till it's gone. I don't know what those are, but I'm gonna get away from them. Oh, shut up. Is she finally... Can she finally die? Nago made it. We've only got to hold out a little longer. She's all the way up there already? What? God damn you. No more running. No more hiding. Let's finish this. Look! The flag! Nice. She's ours! Al amigo! Al amigo! Al amigo! Yeah, let's go! We've done what we came here to do. That's enough for now. Alami Amigos running for the hills. Yes, sir. <laughs> How's it going, Wookie? Saved. Out of here, man. Fallen? Impossible. We have them on the run. Nice. Forward. No mercy. Let's go. Successful plan. What a tactician regroup. Raban is. Regroup. We have to regroup. All units. Fall back. Nice. Commander, the fourth cohort has been routed. Oh my we'll be gosh. at the mercy of the enemy's reinforcements hello. if we don't fall back oh, now. Oh, hello. Clover? What was that? Clover? You just came in here all crazy. Like, you guys see that? 
Psycho. Idiot! Oh. We have the stronger force by far. Don't be taken in by their tricks. Or would you rather tell Zenos you lost to this rabble? No! But if the snakes betray us in the confusion, we'll have no way out. I'm begging you, Commander. Give the order, or we'll all die here. As common traitors who drank of muddied waters. For all the good it did us. School's with me! The day is theirs, and so is this bastard bridge. Someone bring the snake. It's our first victory, isn't it? And that has to be worth something. <laughs> so cheesy, Lise. It's a shame Fodola got away, but we did what we came here to do. I have to remind myself it's just the first step, but it's a big one. We're going to take it back. All of it. One ill at a time if we have to. Monago, what do you have to say? For a moment there, I didn't think I could do it, but then I did it. Nice. So, you are indeed everything they say. The stuff of legends. Did you see that? Abba, Ali, we did it! One step at a time, one step at a time. Until we're on Xenos' doorstep. Oh, it was her first time ever be being in combat, probably. Oh, shit. <sighs> yeah, these people would have probably just got... Yeah, slaughtered by the... Uh, yeah. Your work here is far from finished, as Conrad knows. Virgil, thanks so much for summoning with a prime! There's still a chance that some Imperials are holed up inside the Castellum. Oh, Castellum. Castellum. I wrote Castrum. In the meantime, I want you to rendezvous with the main host. Keep your weapons at the ready. The Silence, thank you for using your Prime as well. And Iro, or Iro, 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 thanks so much for, uh, for subbing as well. Welcome. Uh, there's a chance you might come face to face with soldiers on the run and route. Okay. On second thought, it might be prudent for you to do a preemptive sweep of the region for soldiers that have gone to ground. We shouldn't afford them any time to regroup and launch a counterattack. Frizz, thanks for subbing for two months. Hey, and that's a new sub badge for you. Nice. When you've judged your work to be done, report to General Alden and Bittermill. Na 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 na. Ma na na ba bum ba bum 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 bum. How do we get up here? I will fix this. Sorry to tell you, buddy, but uh, you're in some trouble.
Bunny Jin Man. Thank you for subbing with the Prime. Two months as well. That's a new sub badge for you too. Congratulations and thank you. Thanks everybody for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Thanks for following my channel. Thanks for thanks for subbing to my channel. Thanks for tipping and talking and hanging out and being a part of it and making me feel like I actually, you know, am accomplishing something and I really appreciate that. Thank you. Imperial signifier. Excuse me, sir. Get shit on. Wait, I have a polyglot. Let's see. No, I don't. Oh, no, I was building one. I didn't have one yet. Yo, Jay, what's up, brother? Feels like it was just a week ago that you were su resubbing, dude. What the fuck? Thank you for the nine months. What's up, dude? How's it hanging, brother? Time flies. I know, I know. It's a good thing Monago got the flag flying when she did. Any longer and those Imperials might have had us at their mercy. The Bull of Alamigo has done it again. His assessment of Fordola's re response was without error. Yep. He's got some big brain power. T you just finished 2.0? Yes, dude. How was it? How was it? Well met. All's well at the bridge. Good, good. The fighting has died down here too, as you can see. But Pippin, Pippin left but a moment ago with a contingent of troops to occupy Velodyna. If and when the Imperials return, they'll find us dug in behind their, wo their own walls. I could not have hoped for a better outcome, General. Splendidly done. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It'll take more than a Castellum to turn the tide. I enjoyed it, but I'm looking to get through the post- looking to get through the post-ARR stuff and start my journey in Heavensward. Post-ARR is pretty good, but Heavensward is another thing, dude. Heavensward's another beast, dude. Yeah, I liked a lot of the post-ARR stuff, personally. My- yeah. Yeah, I thought it was good. And, and the Coils of Bahamut stuff was great. Awesome. Literally so sick. Um, the po- yeah, yeah. Especially, yeah, yeah. 2.4 on is really, really strong. I would agree. Delight not over much in victory. Not when there are battles left to fight. Our work here is unfinished. Our, our work here is finished. Our resistance allies are waiting. Let's go then, Alpha. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here, you little fucker motherfucker. If you're looking for our involved, I think he's with Pippin, searching the Castellum for any remaining soldiers. I am gamer poster right now, dude, and I don't give a fuck. I'm like almost, I'm like down here. Now that we've taken control of Velodyna, there's nothing stopping us from marching e east towards the peaks. From a stone bridge to a massive fortress, Garlean engineering never ceases to impress. I don't give a fuck. Back so soon. I suppose the general and his men had matters well in hand. The vice marshal and his men showed up not long after you left. If the gods are good, there'll be no one left to fight. Come 
Conrad would like just as much for you to resume your march towards east towards the peaks. Oh, oh. Okay, here we go. I know you're not one for waiting, but if you'll bear with us. Commander Kemp, Marshal Terrapin reports that the sweep of the Castellum interior has been completed. So it's finally over, eh? Pray extend to him my deepest thanks. Tell me why. Ain't no more Garleans in Doma. Tell me why. It's official then. Castellum Velodyna is well and truly ours. Mayhap this calls for... Wait. Where is Monago? She took her bird and flew off towards the Peering Stones. The village of... Of the... M tribe. The m, m, m the, do you say M tribe? Of the M tribe where she was born. I doubt that the Imperials who fled Velodyna had a, had a mind to give them trouble on their way back east, but she was nevertheless worried, so I gave her leave to go and see that her people were safe. Probably a good idea. <laughs> Though I pray you're right, it would be best if Monaga were not alone if she should encounter the enemy. Agreed. Let's all go to the Peering Stones and make sure that everything is all right. Let's do it, Lise. Let's go and check out the Peering Stones with the Rising Stones near the Waking Sands, near the ro near the Shifting Boulders, near the Flying Pebbles. If that is your wish, then I have no objection. Just let the guard know when you wish to cross. Oi. Two arms, he needs two arms when your mother fucking rob on. That's right. Raban has less ch less uh, options now for the rob off though. It's a rough time. Greeting Sion, do you wish to pass? No shit, that's why I'm right here. I don't get anything for that. Come on, chat. What patch are we on? We're still in 4-0. We're st that's that was horrible. All right, I'll take my L. I'll take my L. All right, I'll take my L. You got me shaking my head. I'll give you a weird champ. I'm five minutes till Shadowbringers, let's go. That anteater's so cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Vamatia, Vamatia, Vamatia. On your guard, Erinvald. They're still about. Did you say you were peer for the Peering Stones? In that case, mayhap Marshal Ter Terrapin should join you. And I should join you. I sp we spied a suspicious pair earlier. A Hire and a Lalafell, by the looks of them. But they fled when they realized they'd been spotted. If they're Imperials, then we can't have them stirring up trouble. A Hire and a Lalafell? Biggs and Wedge? Since when did you become a Bloodhound? A Mikota ought to trust their ears, not their nose. Or Hire? No, he's a Rodagan, not a hire. Fuck! Why do I think hire is big ass motherfuckers? Why do I think that? Like in my little, in my brain, like I fucking think that, even though I know it's not true. This was simply called Veladina Bridge before the Garleans. Is it Veladina or Veladina? I can't remember. Hewer? Hewer? Yeah, sorry. Hewer? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Because Highlanders probably? I don't know. Ro yeah. Belladina. Belladies nuts. Haha. -ha. Uh, okay, cool. What's more, atop this tower, they could survey the area for mons around. Their ambition knows no bounds. Notice their villainy. True. 
Never mind, I have no idea who these people are. We will soon start sending scouts east to, sur to survey the land. Why would they be over here anyway? I just want to meet, I just want to see characters again. I just get, s I just literally get excited for the prospect of seeing characters that I haven't seen in a while, even if it narratively makes no sense. <laughs> we'll soon start sending scouts east to survey the land in preparation for our advance. We do not anticipate much resistance at this time, but should we encounter any Imperial forces, we shall deal with them quickly and severely. Velodinia. 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 Right. I believe there was. Yes, yes. To the northeast. Vorjala. Vel. Velodna. Vel. 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 Vacuum. Damn, that's a big fucking wall, dude. Damn, that's a big wall. They literally just like pushed all of the religion out and literally built a wall. We literally, you know, we don't want any of those dirty fucking Eorzeans in our country. You know, they're sending their worst people. They're sending their warriors of lights. They're sending their temple knights. They're sending the worst people, you know, truly. We don't want that kind of person around our place. We can't do that. So, you know, we're going to build a wall and we're going to put all of the Eorzeans, they're going to go on that side of the wall. And we're not going to help them. We're not going to do anything except build the, the wall bigger and longer. And if they try to fly over it, we're just going to blow them out of the sky. That's going to be, it's all that's going to be. They can't dig. They don't have any shovels. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know what they have over there, what they don't have. It's not It's not of my concern. All I know is that truly, Eorzeans are blighted with the sense of worship, and they are blind to the truth. You know, it's definitely not gonna... We, as Eorzeans... <laughs> we, as Garlemaldians... Garlemaldians, we have to persevere. We have to do bigger and better things we're doing. We're doing uh, things right now that are too small. The things we're doing are too small. Make it bigger. Eorzeans can't be any part of that. Hello? Oh, hello. Come here. We have got to love our dogs, people. And as president, I vow to love everybody's dogs. That's why I should get reelected. What's my plan for our economic crisis? I don't know. But I know that I love dogs. Good girl. Good girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got my vote. You tired? Did you just get some dinner? Did mommy feed you? Did mommy feed you just now? I'm gonna smell your breath. Kinda smells like it. Yeah, good girl. Was, was dinner good? Mm. Don't Dan's game. Her breath doesn't smell bad. I can just, I just know the smell of her food. So it's just the way to know. Don't Dan's game. How fast does Doggo go? If I had to guess, I think she could run about 35 miles an hour. She's pretty fast. 30, 35. She's fast. Yeah, she's fast as fuck. Maybe one day I'll take her, uh... Maybe one day I'll strap the GoPro to her. Just fucking let her go. Her coat coloring's gorgeous. Thanks. They're like greyhounds, right? Yeah, whippets are like a smaller greyhound. <gasps> Speaking of whippets! Speaking of whippets! Oh! Oh! Sissy's here! Oh, so Sissy's gone. Oh, no. Sissy's here. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Clover. 
Oh, now she wants down. She only wanted up here because Sissy was up here. She said, I thought Sissy was getting special attention. I just wanted to come up here for her. Where's she going? Careful. Jesus. They both do that. They just jump out of your lap like maniacs, dude. They don't care. I'm like, I'm like. Crazy ass dog. Yo, thanks for the five months, King David. I really appreciate it. They're wonderful. They're great. They're the best living things I've ever met, besides my girlfriend and all of you. <laughs> I don't know. Those aren't none of those. Those all don't compare in the same kind of way. Dogs, my girlfriend, and then Twitch chat. I don't think those are. <laughs> That's, uh... And they're in different parts of the universe, I think, and as far as like. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, <laughs> Dr. Turkleton, thanks for the prime gaming. One of these things is not like the other. We matter more than them, right? Shh, don't say anything. Shh. Shh. Nami14, thanks for the prime and welcome too. Oh no, not welcome. It's actually your second month. Thank you. Chat isn't real. It's all in your head. It's all in your head. What the fuck was that? Hey, fuck is your problem? Fuck is your problem right now? You trying to start games? You trying to start fights? You best knock it the shit off. I'm gonna go outside your head. Yo, you don't chill out too. Yo, both of y'all don't need to chill out. Calm down. <laughs> I'm just joking around. You've been living in a dream world, Pyro. Your real name is Neo. <gasps> oh, I woke up for a second. What the fuck? What happened? <laughs> uh, guys, don't add me. I'm not gonna add you. Um, but of course, tiring though it may be to come, tiring though it may be to come and go f from the cliff top, it is easily defended and affords an excellent view of the surrounding area. This area is home to dangerous beasts. Not that we can't handle, mind you. Mind, but do not be surprised if something ravenous and slaver slavering comes charging at you out of nowhere. <laughs> Great. Could you add me? I have a tiny cock. Um, I actually... Am I, my friends list is already full of people with tiny cocks, so I can't. There's no room for another tiny cock. We might just be out of tiny cocks. Hey guys, give me a second to run down stizzles. And, uh, I don't know, why, why am I talking like this? This game is literally making me talk like an alien. Because they talk like that in this game, right? Um, give me a second. We're, let's take a fiver. We've been live for seven hours, by the way. Seven hours, by the way, because we started at 11. And I plan to go for another, like, three or four. So buckle up. Get a drink, get a snack, go stretch, hit the bathroom, do whatever you need to do. Take your insulin shot. Uh, fucking... Go, go, go... Go take a vitamin. Go... Do a chore, like, take the trash out. Uh, do something. I'll be back. Go touch grass, yeah, let do, do, yeah.
All right. We have a turnist. How's everyone doing? Yeah, an AT, uh, an Audio Technica AT twenty twenty, is a fantastic uh, recommendation. Mics are a lot about how much you want to spend. Uh, I had something delivered just now. It'll be one second. No, not chair. I don't think chair is coming today. Said it was supposed to be delivered today, but I don't think it's coming today. Ugh. If a fire has love, pyromancer. Who's the carrier? UPS. Logitech mouse? That's a big, big box for a mouse. Get out. <laughs> uh, the chair? I actually did get a Logitech chair. <laughs> I, I got the... Like, I've tried so many different kinds of chairs. And this one was solid, it's a steel case, but the padding in the seat's breaking down and it's kind of hard. I can kind of feel it. Um, like, the fucking arm pads suck, so I have to get these to make it better, but these are like flat now, because it hurts my elbows. I'd kill for a good chair, yeah. I've spent, I've spent so much money trying to find a fucking, a chair that works really well, really well for me. The, um, the fucking Case Labs one, not Case Labs, fucking, what the fuck are they called? <laughs> Secret Labs. That, that, uh, that chair, my brother has that chair now, I gave it to him. Because I was out of their 49 day return policy when it started to hurt my ass, sitting in it. No, not sponsored any, no, I took it down. All gaming chairs, I think, are just not good for me. <clears throat> so, Herman Miller and Logitech paired up to make a, they teamed up to make a chair. And I've had a Herman Miller before, it was good. Just the armrest sucked asshole. So, we're gonna try it. Oh, it, it is that one, yeah. I'm gonna give it a try. Gaming chairs are a scam, yeah. I've even made a video about it before, talking about how I don't recommend them. I fucking got one again anyway. What, just thought, you know what, maybe. Evidently. The fuck are you doing? Evidently, you know. Wasn't good. Um, you and others inspired me to learn more about the story and adventure throughout various games. And I'm delighted to see your 14 experience. Would it be okay to give you some gill for the journey ahead? Sure, if that's what you would like to do, that is up to you. Hey, we have 6969 subs again. Nice, dude. <laughs> Thank you, a million gil. A million gil, that's a lot of gil, thanks. 
Thank you. Very nice of you. Thanks. Stonks. Free gil. Yeah, it's hard to beat free. Sick. The path to the village is through a tunnel just east of here. Follow me. Let's skedaddle. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. I didn't attune to that yet. Because we're just now going up there. Where the fuck are we going? I'm sorry. Just up around the bend here. Oh, just around the bend. Uh, cheerio. When I see you. Hello, twin ones. We, have <coughs> we may not have seen any Imperial forces thus far, but we mustn't forget that this was occupied territory until very recently. They could still be nearby. Alright, I'll keep an eye out. Look, that looks like a Garlean over there. You know that one, um... Grinwat? Was that his name? It's him right there. Stupid. That stupid fuck. Not just seekers of the sun, but Ananta. I mean, there's a settlement nearby. Good eye. Welcome to the Peering Stones, home of the M Tribe. I must give you fair warning that, while travelers are welcome here, any acts of hostility will be met with an arrow shaft between the eyes. No exceptions. Okay. Uh, understood. guy? Yeah, that's Decimus. I was just looking around trying to see who I could recognize that was standing in front of me. I saw uh, Decimus and uh, I actually didn't see Einhard kind of blending in there, but I'm not surprised that he's here. And then I saw these two over here. I was like, yeah, how are they? How are they? And then, yeah, Akira over there. I already attuned. Here we go. Dude, this place is nice looking. Hmm. Oh, wow. Dang. There's some weird fucking beasts out here, dude. There's a weird fucking cat outside. Looks like grandma, the fucking thing. Is that even a fucking cat? 
Blink, motherfucker! Blink, motherfucker! Ah, you've come. Oh, you've come. Welcome, friends, to my village. My home. Thanks. Look at that wall. How fair your people? Good, all things considered. Better than the Ananta at any rate. Oh, fuck. The one an emissary. I'll take you. Okay. We're here to help. Will you tell us what happened? Aye. It began with a quarrel between the Imperials and the Kaliana. The Kaliana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire, and were content to remain within their borders. Just so. The Kaliana forsook their pride and the fight, and yielded to Garlemald long ago. This kind of sounds like Sylvanas. <laughs> but then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. Poor Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like all Imperials, she knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. They don't even... oh, yikes. They don't even know that they're addressing another... oof. All Fadola knew for sure was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. Mm. No, they did not. The Imperials left with the Kaliana broodmother's own daughter, Anamika. Oh, that's fucked Long up. Long days and nights, she looked out on the Black Bridge weeping for her child. Until you came. The brood mother knew at once which way the winds would blow. She and her warriors met with the fleeing Imperials in the road and demanded that her daughter be returned. Bad idea. Fordola's not the kind to take threats lying down. You know her well. The Butcher turned her blade to Anamika and bade the Kaliana move aside. But the brood mother would not yield. I know where this is going. The Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. There was naught that could be done. What madness. The true madness was yet to come, for in her despair, the Kaliana broodmother cried out for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. Sri Lakshmi. What the fuck is that? Is that a primal? She summoned a primal then oh. and there?
that she did, if only for an instant. Bereft of courage and honor, the broodmother sought solace in her faith. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight of the goddess, abandoning these lands to the Ananta. Now the Kaliana bid us make pilgrimage to pay proper respects. Yet though we Vera revere Sri Lakshmi as the holiest of the holy, we will not prostrate ourselves before her. And so you turn to us. Aye. All who have fought with the Resistance have heard tell of the warrior, the Icon Slayer. Oh, fuck. Got a problem? Call my number. I'll come take care of it. Primal Icon, doesn't matter. We'll get on the way and get it out of your face today, or your money back. I believe we have heard enough. Fuck. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. Let's go kill it, Alphano. You know, that's what we all want to do anyway. It's what we're all here for. I mean, let's be honest. No one's here for anything other than this one specific activity. That's pretty much it. The level up! Look, oh, I got to spare. Deals fire damage with the potency of 380 and additional effect grants astral fire 3. There it is. Oh, no, no. I want that. Ooh. Hold on. Deals fire damage to the potency of 380. Additional effect grants astral fire 3. 10,000 MP cost. So it's single, it's just single target flare. Nice. Nice. It's my, it's my, it's my finisher at the end. What do I want to bind it to? Maybe we put that there. Maybe we put that there. No, I think I like it like that. Yeah. I think I like it like that. Okay, maybe this goes to one. ST flare. Shift two. That could, that could be pretty nice. Shift one's awkward, dude. Shift four is not as bad. Whoops. Deals unasked, but yeah, this is just my polyglot. Mm. My AoE polyglot dump. Hmm. Maybe I, maybe I kind of want to keep Foul there. These are all AoE. I'll just put Fire 2 there. I think that makes sense. I could probably move some of the shit over. Move some of this bullshit over here. Don't you be bringing that fucking drama in here, dogs. I swear to God. Um, 
Hold on, let me change keybinds really quick. Hotbar. Shift G. Oh, that's the wrong hotbar. Blind, 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 actually blind. Actually blind? Oh, there it is. Shift G. We want that to be X. Do make this one? B. Yes. Move over. Nice. Uh, potion. Sp I don't know. Sprint. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's probably fine there. Okay. Nice. All right. Alvano. Alvano's heard this story too many times before. <clears throat> At the risk of sounding hopelessly naive, there may yet be a way to avoid a violent confrontation. In the past, I fear I've been rather too willing to accept that we have no other res recourse than to risk our lives, or rather, your life, to address these threats. Yet the primals we have faced thus far have demonstrated a variety of temperaments and objectives. Ravana may delight in battle, but Ramu would sooner keep to the forest with his children. Here we decide to challenge Sri, Lash Sri Lakshmi, it would seem wise to learn more of her nature from those who summoned her unto this world. Yeah, that's a good idea. If that is your will, then so be it. To the north will you find our village. Sarishas shall unfold all. Okay, we'll meet you there. Snake who all of a sudden is a smoker. We shall leave at once. Monago, can you inform our comrades at the bridge of what happened? Of course. Be safe, my friends. Yep, let's get the fuck out of here. You just use flare to exit this level. Hey, Pyro, have you ever considered? No, I don't think so. The lure of the dream. Oh, fuck. The lure of the dream. Ooh, I don't like the word lure there. Okay, um... Do you like croissants? Yes. Um... Oh, I have to do this. What am I doing? Aspect Mastery. Accumulating full stacks of either Astral Fire or Umbral Ice, then casting a spell of the opposite element will consume no mana points. Effect does not apply to Flare. Nice. So, as long as I have full stacks, I can cast the Ice spell, even if I've got no mana. Nice. Hey, Pyro, has anyone ever really been so far as to want to go do Look More Like? Um, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of people want to get back in as far as like that way in that sense. No. I believe. Black Mage is so much more fun to play at 80. I mean, we're getting there, dude. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> I love that fucking emote. Way too dank. That's such a fucking hilarious emote. Okay, that's great. I'm super... I'm glad to have Aspect Mastery now. That's gonna feel smooth, dude. Oh, shit. So... Yeah, that as well... Oh, man. I'm... I'm excited. I'm getting a lot... I'm getting a lot of buttons, and we're gonna... have to piece them together here. Let's see what happens. Zimzizi? Zimzizi? Dang. They all look... They all dress like Laura Croft. I'm Zim Zizi. I'm Zim Zizi. <laughs> Why is this so? <laughs> do you pronounce the M? You do, right? <laughs> M 
Mazimzizi? 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 Okay. It's fretting over the tribe's lack of food. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was distracted by the grumbling in my stomach. Thanks to the Garleans, we've been having trouble maintaining our food, store food stores. Custom dictates that any game brought back to the village must be distributed evenly amongst everyone. But there hasn't been much to go around lately. Without fear of harassment from the Galeans, we can finally begin hunting again. But there's still much to do if we're going to replenish our supplies. Any chance you'd be willing to help? I come Toya just says Stola. Okay. If you could bring back, say, three Telio Teliocarises, it would uh, be a great help. You'll find them to the north of here, but don't kill them. We'll need their meat to uh, to be as fresh as possible when it's put away. When you've worn them down enough, you can stuff them into these bags without much of a fight. Now, I know what you're thinking, but trust me, they'll fit. Stay- that's <laughs> not what I was thinking, but... Um, stay safe out there. M is the tribe. They're the tribe? All cat people have letter and name after- yeah, yeah. I know, but... It's a voiced consonant. Okay. Okay. Inishtola just calls her sister Mithra. Mithra. Just the Sun Tribes, not all cat people. Okay. That is good to know. I think I have their name conventions like bookmarked. Oh, that's so nice, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know I'm not supposed to kill them, but I just wanted to see that real quick, because that is... And then you can just... Oh, that's nasty, dude. Oh, that's fucking nasty. Oh, that's so good. That's fucking... Yeah, that's nasty. Okay, I'll actually do the quest now. Now that I've killed them all. Now that I've killed most of them, yeah. Holy shit, that does a lot of damage. Okay, how weak do they gotta be? I gotta turn the music down, it's so fucking loud. Tiny Mage, Big Bang. Read the flavor text. A small bag, roughly large enough to hold an acorn, marble, or dinosaur. What? Perhaps it is better not to ask how a 10 ton dinosaur could fit into this sack. Yeah. I had to agree there, Koji. It fits Kazitha like all things. Come on, you stupid bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Teleoceros. Mmm, I see, I see. Dude, 
that ability is sorry I just I'm just I'm just it just slaps I'm just kind of like admiring it for a second here it's quite the spell the bag is clearly a void get big explosions are fun yes they are I very much enjoy it yeah it's good the game doesn't give you enough chances to play with your kit while leveling I would agree when you over level like this it's uh it's rough I always get my kit and then I can never fucking use it for like half the time Misery's so good, yeah. I bet. Whoa. What the fuck? Are they zombies? Are they zombies? Drugs are bad and good. They're bad and good. Now listen to me, kids. If you do drugs, I'm going. You might turn. You might turn like this, I'm going, into a gay love zombie, I'm going. And you don't want that. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. You could be a gay love zombie if you want, I'm going. Yeah, whatever you want to do, I'm going. <laughs> They're tempered. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Whoa. I did Sam and uh, Dragoon at the same time. Nice. Classic case of copium poisoning. They must be wild players. <clears throat> Just kidding. Hey mods, delete those characters doing that emote. Such blatant spoilers. <sighs> oh. Oh oh oh. We don't. We we can watch from this side. Anyway, let's turn this quest in. Oh! Tundi! You're back. Do those bags contain what I think they do? Spoiler, they love watching the stream. <laughs> Evidently. Thank you. Wow, you really did it. Not that I didn't think you could, mind you. It's just been so long since anyone's had the guts to contend with those beasts. You can be sure we'll think, uh, make good use of them. The meat, is rations is, uh, the meat for rations is a given. But the horns and bones will make good tools, and the hides can make bel belts and boots. Did you know that Tel Teleoceros isn't even native to these lands? The Galeans used them for carrying freights. But the sods couldn't keep them under control. A few of them escaped into the wild, started breeding, breeding and here we are. I guess you could say it's a blessing in disguise. If they hadn't brought Tel Teleoceros here, we'd have one less source of meat and materials for fashioning our tools. Fucking weirdo. Coke dinosaurs. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. Okay, that was a nice little side quest. Now, let's go back up and continue the MSQ. Let's get to the next quest marker. Pretty much a lot of the deleted comments here, actually. Yeah. A lot of things are, uh, are spoilers, unfortunately. So they brought fucking dinosaurs here? That's cool. That's cool, I guess. do not often receive guests. What is the purpose of your visit? Greetings and well met. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, and we come seeking Sarisha of the Vera. You are she, are you not? You have petitioned us for aid and succor, succor, and we intend to provide them. I fucking hate that word. <laughs> but we would first learn more of the of Sri Lash Lakshmi. Sri Lakshmi, that we might better underestimate the nature of the threat she poses to you. 
a simple request, and one which I shall gladly oblige. In the beginning was Sri Lakshmi. We were created in her image, daughters blessed with, with her beauty. Her breath became ours, her serenity our solace. There is naught she would not give. Uh, hmm. It was the Kalyana Broodmother's desire to bring about her daughter's resurrection, which first called forth Sri, Sri Lakshmi, from, Lakshmi from the ether. That being the case, I rather doubt the goddess would be, would be spoiling for a fight. That would depend. The primal's motives have been colored by the summoner's state of mind. Namely, the summoner's state of mind. The primal's motives will have been... I'm going to write that down. Just, uh, just for the way that she words it. That of a grieving mother who just born, who had just borne witness to her daughter's murder. Though she apparently craved a miracle, so may also have harbored thoughts of vengeance. Moreover, the Kalyana's conception of Sri, Sri Lakshmi may differ from that of the Vira. This is true. The Vira and the Kalyana do indeed regard the Lady of Bliss in different ways. To the Veera, Sri Lakshmi embodies freedom. She would not suffer her daughters to be bound to another's will. And so we stand with the resistance against the Empire and give our lives for the cause. To the Kalyana, however, she embodies trans transcendental beauty which they strive to create through their craft, to shape crystal as less art and more ritual, a sacred duty wherein each tribute is imbued with a fragment of the soul. What? What? Us. The Imperials do not interfere with this holy work, and so the Kalyana were content to turn inward and ignore our plight. Until reality asserted itself, and they summoned a primal, a fever dream to soothe their aching hearts. But surely they can see that it won't do any good. The Imperials will still rule these lands. Nothing will change. The Ananta will. The Kalyana bade the Vera make pilgrimage to pay proper respects, remember? Those who do not wish to partake of their, of their primal's bliss will be made to do so. Not while we're around, they won't. Though our beliefs are not the same, we are still kin to the Kalyana. Will you help them to see reason? Mm, now that I'll kill your god, know that I'll kill your god if I have to. Maybe even if I don't. <laughs> Do what you will, warrior. That simulacrum is not Sri Lakshmi. If we do not act quickly, more lives will be lost, more families torn apart, more children made to suffer. Then it's settled. We're going to find that primal and put an end to this. My sister Vajra will guide you to Janan Kot, 
and Jean on chat. <laughs> and I shall pray for your success. Don't pr don't pray for me. Don't do that. We don't need any more warshipping of of any of that going on. There's a lot of cool, like, artifacts around here. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to pop up like that. I knew they were in there, but I wasn't expecting them to, to do that. Well met, Scions. I am Vajra, she who shines bright and unbroken. I stand ready. We leave upon your command. Let's get the fuck, the fuck out of here. Please, get us the shit the fuck up out of here. The Lady of Bliss. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jadon Kot, there you find the Kalyana's crystals, and Sri Lakshmi, follow me. That's one hell of a title you got there. What the fuck is that? Unexpected guests occur. Unexpected guests occur. Property. What is what is what? Fuck. Property's concerning concern someone is encroaching on Vera territory. Send me out to kill them. I will fucking do it. I always forget to summon my god dang chocobo. <clears throat> Alright. We go this way. They remind me of the Naga. Even their architecture is similar. It almost it almost looks like a coral. It's cool. Spooky chicken. What the shit? Of course, it's on the other side. Hmm. You, sir, can fuck off. Please wait, if you would listen for just a moment. <laughs> some dude, some dude on a motorcycle just rides into a purple circle and beats the shit out of some other dudes. <laughs> oh, that was funny. <clears throat> you can just move the debuff placement naturally with the in-game UI. Yeah, yes, you can. Keep that thing away from me. What? I fear they won't listen to anything I have to say. Go after him and explain that they're trespassing. Okay. And out. Strapping leader. Hello, I'm the ass kicker. You, you were trying to help that. That thing, want you? What do you want? <sighs> they only wanted us to leave the hunting grounds. <sighs> so they're not savages, mon savage monsters looking to feast on our innards. <sighs> I see. <clears throat> oh well. 
Sorry about before. It's not every day you see something like that where I come from. Me and my friends are from a small village in the peaks, you see, and... With the Garleans blocking all the ways in and out of the place, we, we'd never traveled far. Now that they're mostly gone, we thought we'd have a look about and maybe scavenge for a bit of food. We didn't mean no harm, honestly, if it's all the same to you, we'll... We'll even go look for food somewhere far, far away from here. Nice. Let's go! Uh oh, oh god. They sound so scary when they run, they're so fucking loud. They sound spooky. This is a weird conversation. I don't know what's happening in chat. I'm uh Chat, you're so nasty. What is happening? Wait, what? I don't know about- I don't understand. What is- Um... Y'all motherfuckers need bonking. Y'all motherfuckers need- Jesus! That's the- that's the truth. Pyro, you get a virtual heart. Aww, wow. Alright. You are returned. Were they willing to listen? Mmm, yeah. Men from the peaks. Interesting. We were concerned with the M tribe. We were concerned the M tribe may have co coerced them into stealing from our land. Whoa. My sisters will be relieved to hear this. If these people are desperate enough to venture here for food, perhaps we can help them. A deal of some kind. Wow, Stevie. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Thank you. Y'all need hiding. Chat should try a nice, cool glass of delicious cum. A share of our food stores in exchange for... Sorry, he said oat milk. Sorry, he said oat milk. Um, for our... Ch <laughs> for our gem crafting. Yes, that would be a fair trade. I will need to discuss this with my sisters. The beginning of a fruitful partnership may be at hand. Nice motherfucker. There's one to the south, but I'm going north. It's such a shame. I have to wait more. Uh, how do I, how do what do? Sathya Maga. Okay. Big bird. Big spooky burb. Hello, Clover. Hello. Hi. Why do you always look like you found something wrong? Why do you always look like you did something wrong? Such a good girl. You're so sweet. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks. Thanks, got pop. Good girl. Good. I don't know if you did that on purpose, but it looked like it. You want down? Okay. Ow. I'm literally stealth mode. He can't see me. He didn't even have to pull that. I have the shit figured out. Stupid ass bird. Gagana. Gagana, 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 in Ghana. I expected more resistance. Let us pray our luck holds. We should follow their lead and let them do the f do any fighting for now. You'll need your strength when the time comes. It would be in our best interest to avoid any confrontation unless absolutely necessary. The primal and the crystals are our prime are our primary objectives. Yes, sir, Alphaneo, sir. Yes, sir, Alphaneo. Jean on court. The path leads to an entrance above. Within is an etherite. 
Or you must use it to enter. Motherfucker. Understood. With me, everyone. Let us go. Take us into the snake hole. You're gonna be a Ghana when you get to the snake. Janan Shara. <laughs> Giggity? I don't... Oh, God. Oh, God. This cannot be happening. Oh, my fucking Lord. It's a marble. <gasps> oh, my fucking God. It's a gigantic fucking... Oh, my gods. I'm in a gi another giant beast. Where the hell do we go? Everything is giant. Oh. And there's some Kalyana motherfuckers, her. Again, who have probably no idea that we're coming here to do any of this. Uh, so we're just invading the tower tree again and killing them once again. God's full fend. You keep that shit away from me. Well. Well. Dude, this reminds me so much. Oh, look at all these people. Let's do a trial, baby. The Mog Father's here, Decimus. We got Lion Licious, Valmira, Artemis, Ectreth, Kazran, and many, many others. Thank you for joining me here at at rate. Whoa. Well, that doesn't look good. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Why, mistress? Why does my Anamika slumber still? Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. Oh, that's so fucked up. She's like a mind slave to Lakshmi now? Flesh sundered hath been made whole. Blood spilt runneth through her veins. Breath stolen filleth her breast. But she's not really alive. But she hears not her mother's words. Nor sees her mother's face. She... She is silent. And empty. Seems like any time that something is going to bring something back to life, or anytime you make a deal with something that, <laughs> oh, dude, this. <sighs> Only the vessel may be remade. Not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. Well, that's interesting.
Now do you see her promises for what they are? Alize, have you gone mad? We're gonna fight it anyway. Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood! No! We come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A world okay, yes, thanks so much for subbing. may find peace and serenity in service, in beauty and grace. This had ever been my promise. Naught else. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be, and leave them bereft and wanting. No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. Every prayer that Primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. I like the dialogue from this primal a lot. <laughs> we hate the Empire as much as you, if you just listen! Poor misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this 
cruel and misshapen world. Come, bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. <laughs> well, <laughs> remind you of anyone? No, no, not at all, no. No, no, certainly not. Sophia wasn't anything like this either. Heidelin's not anything like this either. Neither was, <laughs> never was Zira. Neither was, rather. I think it's fair to say that Lakshmi gets a yikes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lakshmi does get a fucking yikes. Um, for those of you wondering why I'm taking notes, I take notes in this game because I'm really into the lore and story. And I think that dialogue and keeping notes is a really good way to help you remember the story and remember important themes and, and uh, plots and threads that are going on all around you all the time. Because this game has several different kind of plot lines happening. Um, and it's really fun for me and I make videos on it and I go back and I talk about it and I... I do all that um, because I think it helps. And I did it for World of Warcraft, and I, I did World of Warcraft lore for uh, five, six years. Made over 250 lore videos on WoW. And uh, yeah, so that's why I'm writing notes. That's why I do that. Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing. Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. Nice shining noise there, and I like how the light that came out was blue. That was interesting.
Cool. Join this party? So, why? Jump to me? Oh, hold on. Invite me again, sorry. Hold on. I knew things were not going to end well the moment she stepped out of hiding. Uh, is there really no way we can fight alongside you without being turned into one of her dreamers? Oh, fuck. Send it again. <laughs> I know, I know. It was stupid and foolish, but I had to try, Pyro. I had to. I had to try. And I failed. So you have to fight. There is no other way. Never stop trying. It means a lot to hear you say that. It does. But it doesn't make it any easier to have to ask you to face that, that thing. If we can do that which, which is within our power. Lise, Alphano, and I will go and seize their crystal, sh crystal stores. This will not happen again. And you, when it is finished, we will be waiting for you. Emanation. Oh boy. Why am I... Thank you. Oh, here we go. Thank you, sir. Now that's your free in into the uh, into the raid there, huh? I see, I see. Clever, clever. Snake lady. Well, she's not really a snake, but we got a crazy, crazy lady to take out. Proceed to, into emanation. <laughs> it's time! Upon witnessing her daughter's death at the hands of Fordola and her skulls, the Kalyan. The Kalyana Broodmother cried out to the heavens in despair, and a primal answered. Cried out to the heavens in despair, and a primal answered. To the heavens. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay. Sri Lakshmi, patron deity of the Ananta, came forth from the ether, and the Imperials were put to flight. Alas, the tale did not end there. For now, the Kalyana demand that the Vera come and pay tribute to the goddess. And so it falls to you and your comrades to journey into the Kalyana stronghold of Janan Kot and put an end to Sri Lakshmi's dream. Oh, fuck. I'm sweating here, chat. Do you mind me giving my spot to Artemis Fire? No, I don't mean- I don't mind. Uh I guess it wasn't I guess not on my friends list. I can have yeah, if you want to invite her here. Thank you. Here we go. Emanation. BGM is up, cranked, all the way. It's gonna get loud.
Oh, well, I've heard this song. I think Lumino, uh... Can I bind that? What is it? Duty action one? Is it in hot bar or what's it in? Song name is Beauty's Wicked Wiles. Of course it is. I've heard this song before. Uh, I remember. I remember before I started playing this game, Lumino showed me this boss. I actually didn't remember it though until I heard the music because it was mostly the music that I was watching it for. I don't think I was actually watching the fight at all. You can put on your hot bar if you want. Oh, I didn't. Know. Okay. I shouldn't open the freeze. Open your heart to me. No. Oh. Who are you to wake them from the dream? You're scary. Hand of Grace. But... Oh no, I don't get my trait right now. The song. Rest your weary souls in my bosom. Well, I'm in trouble. I'm not going to do it. Not happening. I'm not going to let her do it. <laughs> Holy shit. That was nuts. I shall free you from your hate. <laughs> you missed the cutscene? <laughs> Everybody wipe. Everybody wipe. We go again. <laughs> Die! <laughs> How was I supposed to know? I just knew I didn't have my bubble and I thought I was in a lot of trouble. I didn't know.
open your heart to me. Bob, I know. The blue orbs? Pretty sure you're not supposed to get them. Or are you supposed to? Oh, after you use it, you can get a new one from the orb? I didn't realize that's what it was. Oh. I, I'm not, I, I also don't really understand what, I, what exactly... Besides the uh, thing coming up, I'm not really sure what to use it on. You just use it and pick it up? Your weary Is it because, souls I guess? In my bosom. Or are you supposed to... Yeah, I, mean, I guess so. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, we gonna dance. Oh, shit, this is... Oh, my God, yeah. I, I'm glad we wiped. What the fuck? Uh... That was fucking I shall free sick. you from your hate. I shall free you from your hate? Yikes. Holy shit, that was awesome. Yeah, I'm glad we wiped it out. That was good. Divine denial. Do not your souls weigh heavy? Okay, so that gets pointed away. Oh, well, that's also maybe a tank mechanic, it looks like. Give in to the hunger. Yikes! Cast off inhibition. Your souls are stained. I gotta get used to being able to teleport, man. It's so weird for me. Black Mage is the only guy that doesn't get one. Nice. I like that. I shall free you from your hate. Chantala? Fire Force the best spell ever invented.
Yeah, that was a yikes. Nice. Another scary ass, light aspected primal. Down! Yeah, that thing was spooky. Alright, nice job. The weather here is eternal bliss. Yikes! Ooh, weird! Ooh. The Vril description? Use the etheric residue lingering on your body to temporarily disguise yourself as one of Lakshmi's loyal dreamers. Her big attack healed us because we were disguised with an almost etheric illusion, I suppose. I don't understand. Why would it heal us instead of hurt us just because we look different? Alluring Embrace heals if you have Vril. Is it just the mechanic or is that just... I mean, I know that's the mechanic, but is it only like that for that? You know what I mean? Let's get out of here. This music is loud. You did it again. You saved them. I just wish I could have been more help. That's all right. There's not much you can do about a primal. It's all good, Lise. Oh, no. So, it looks like the Ananta did have a mountain of crystals after all. Every other tribe. Gods were all such slaves to our weaknesses. I know. You! You slew our mistress! She was our hope! Our salvation! Is there no end to your cruelty? Listen to me, please. I know that you're only trying to protect yourselves because you feel frightened and alone. But that's how we all feel, don't you see? 
If we could just turn to each other for help instead of the gods, I'm sure we could find a way to live in peace. Your crystals are important to you, aren't they? Reflections of your souls, right? Well, you shouldn't have to sacrifice something so precious to a primal. Damn. That's the most giga brain shit Lisa said. At a girl. I, yeah, Who are you that's hard to, to argue. question our choice? You who fight without fear. We wish only to live in peace. And if this be the price we must pay, then so be it! I know there's nothing I can say to convince you. But I hope that one day you look back and see we only ever wanted the same thing. Be gone, damn you! Spare me your hollow words and leave me to mourn. How about you, Akmorn? Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. You're not a dragon. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. Girabania is our home too. And one way or another, we're going to have to learn to live together. Come on, Alfino and Alize are waiting. Meanwhile, in the royal palace of Alamigo, Xenos is getting his butthole bleached. Ah, the savage returns, and with her tail firmly between her legs, beaten by beastmen, I hear. It was a shameful display, by all accounts. She may have curried the Viceroy's favor with her bold promises, but in the end, she's just another plodding bungler like the rest of her kind. Strange. You would think him a better judge of character. Then again, I hear she's not averse to a more physical mode of persuasion. <laughs> I thought she rose through the ranks rather quickly. But no longer. <clears throat> if only she had been content with her lot, she might have lived to see the morrow. Going to see Daddy Xenos. Fedola Rem Lupis, Commander of the Crania Lupi, reporting as ordered. Why do you tremble, sir? <laughs> Shot, he's Could freaky looking. The Empire's butcher is afraid that she who walks with death is terrified of her own. I'm terrified of dying having achieved naught. Gladly would I give my life to win a great victory on the battlefield, had I but the strength. Alas, you do not. Indeed, you are weak. And born of this weakness is a blind fervor, a raging inferno which threatens to consume not only you, but everyone around you. Yes, my lord. You were defeated by the resistance on several occasions. You misjudged the Ananta and spurred them into summoning an icon. Have you anything to say? I do not, my lord. My failures are my own. I am prepared to accept your judgment. And that is very admirable. However, I've had enough of this dumb show. 
Give voice to that hunger I see in your eyes, or I will pluck them from your head. I... I want... I want to make them pay! All of them! Everyone who ever mocked or looked down on me! I want the power to make them pay! <sighs> Very well. Then I shall give you a chance. A chance to transcend your mortal limits. Assuming, that is, you are prepared to wager your life for such power. Uh... Transcend, my lord. I came here prepared to die. Tell me what I must do. Get some of that Grinwatt treatment, dude. What the fuck was that guy? He looked like a crazy Alagon mad scientist. Except he was Garlean, but what the fuck is the difference? Welcome back, thanks. What did you just say? We had to use force to secure the crystals. Alize was not gentle. Yeah, Cassandra, it's sick. Thanks for the 500 bits. I, I really enjoy how they tell the story in this game. It's it's uh, nicely paced. There's a lot of sketchy, interesting stuff. It's 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 good. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I wish we could have left on better terms, but that was never going to happen. It could be a problem if they get their hands on any more crystals, though. Never mind. We'll deal with that when the time comes. Merciful Fate, thanks for subbing with a Prime Gaming for two months. Grats on the new sub badge. Thank you. And Evo, Evo Arania, thanks so much for subbing with a Prime as well. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. Mount speed here is faster. Nice. The silence of the gods. <laughs> thanks to you, Vajra and her people need no longer live in fear. Good night, Sofaria. Shore log and an ether current for this quest. You have done us a great service this day. Long shall my sisters sing the praises of the Icon Slayer. Let us bear word to them of Sri Lash Lakshmi's passing. Come, friends, to Vira N Nilia. Nilia. N Nilia. What's the sub goal for? So actually right now, every 100 subs that we get, I, uh, I read one of the short stories on the website. I read two of them earlier, and we are probably very close to earning another one. Um, so the 7,500 isn't like a particularly set goal. It's just like a, it's like a swinging goal, you know? Does that make sense? What's the next story? Uh, the next one is... Um, of Friends Lost and Found. It's the third tale from the Calamity. 
recurring. Thank you. Alexander's light aspected and not creepy. True. Someone is dying outside. Hopefully not. Will you upload the readings to your YouTube channel? I think so, yes. I think so. Ah, the winds whispered of your success. And your eyes confirm their testimony. The Lady of Bliss no longer holds our Kalyana's sister in her thrall. For this, we thank you. Pyro did the deed. We were, we were but the witnesses to his heroism. However, I feel, fear this is only the beginning. But there is no cure for that which drives the desperate, the desperate to beseech the gods for salvation. Should they wish to use their crystals to summon Sri Lakshmi again? Not can be done to stop them. We ignore our sister's plight at our peril. This we know. We shall endeavor to show them another path so that the day you speak of never comes. We're all in this together, Alamegans and Ananta. We understand that. Hopefully in time, they do too. You and yours will ever be friends of the Vera. On that you have my word. Well, we should be getting back to the Peering Stones. Thank you again, Seresha, for everything. Sophia's not reasonable. No. No, <laughs> Sophia's terrifying. Let me judge the weight of your souls. Holy heck, is that Zelda? Is that Zelda? Actually, it's Link. Zelda was the female. Pippin, we heard about the primal. Excellent work. If you're looking for our involved in his unit, they're currently investigating reports of suspicious activity in the area. That's good. The hero returns, together with his stalwart comrades in arms. Glad to hear you managed to deal with the Anantos primal before it could cause us any more grief. Gods know we have enough to worry about. Yes, sir. Actually, actually, Zelda was the doctor. That's Zelda's monster. Welcome back, Conrad and Mar Marshal Tarrapin came to render aid, but I, but I hear that won't be necessary. It won't. Sri Lakshmi's gone. I should probably start at the beginning. So basically, this psychotic fucking snake god bitch tried to get us to dream eternally with her in slumber and ignorance and holy bliss for all the eternity. Not good. Incredible. I don't know what to say. If you hadn't been there to stop her, who knows where it would have ended. Was we'll suckle on a, on a, on a tubby in her bosom. You've saved, you've saved a lot of lives, Pyro. Take pride in that. It must be said that this is something of an unprecedented situation. Previous summonings were, to my knowledge, planned well in advance by a tribe as a whole. Indeed, there are several aspects of this incident which bear further investigation. In any event, the Kalyana supply of crystals must remain limited for the, for the foreseeable future, and ambient ether levels closely observed. Understood. The Alliance will consult with the Resistance on the, and Vera on how best to enforce said restrictions. Thank you, Vice Marshal. To other matters, then. What news of the Imperials? None. Which itself is troubling. It seems as though the skulls of the... Skulls and the remainder of the garrison have fully withdrawn into the peaks. We've seen neither hide nor hair of them since Veladina. Veladina. Regardless of their reasons, our path is clear. Father has decided it is it is time to advance east. Finally! He was also most empathetic. Emphatic that you be spared further duties for the present. You are to rest. It will not do for the warrior of light to collapse from exhaustion during the march. We may not be as strong as or as quick as him, but we are soldiers nonetheless. We can deal with the primals. We can deal with the Imperials. Ah, you've earned this respite, so enjoy it. And the same goes for you, Monago. You've been away from your family too long. Don't deny it. 
As you say, sir. Thank you. We'll make the most of our time here. What, no Puff Puff? What are you guys talking about? He missed Puff Puff? What, 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 what? Oh, no, I didn't do it. It's all right. It's all right. It's not a big deal. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea. Looks like it's up to me and mine to give you a, to give you lot a proper welcome. My mother's prepared a special meal for this occasion, and I have it on good authority that hers is the finest cooking this side of the Belladina. Damn you old. Nah, not really. When will we get a WoW crossover event? They need help. <laughs> Warrior of Light crossover to save the Blizzard franchises. To save the WoW franchise. We go over there, we just fucking one-shot the Jailer. You're like, what a piss ant, dude. Just kidding. Just kidding. Honored guests, I pray you partake of our humble offerings as we give thanks for your many valiant deeds. Aw, oh my god, tur turkeys. And wine, and snacks, and hors d'oeuvres. Thank you, sir. For this, is war for this warm welcome. We are honored to break bread with you and your family. Pistachio Live, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Ooh. Come, come. Eat your fill Come, come. Eat your fill of our food and drink deep our spirits. There is more than enough for all. Yo, Kataxu, thanks for gifting 10 subs to the channel. That made me, that made me come. Just kidding, that's not true. That's not true. Well, maybe a little. Well, when you put it that way, don't mind if I do. Gum gum. Ooh, come eat the eat the turkey. Ooh, scalloped potatoes, oh, my precious. <laughs> she wasn't kidding when she said a mother could cook. Black Cauldron? No, sir. 14's Jailer versus Wow's Jailer? You know, seeing her with a family, I can't help thinking of my own. Cue the music. How my father would come home from a hunt with dinner on his shoulder, and Ida would prepare it, prepare it with herbs and spices. I'm turning it uwu. Our mother died when I was little, so she did most of the cooking. We didn't have much, but we had each other. And that was enough for me. Aww. But they wouldn't let us have even that. Theodoric, Gaius. Of course, Father and Ida had to fight. I would have too if I'd been older. But they didn't have to die. It never ends, does it? They call us beasts, treat us like them. They push and they push and, and they... Until someone pushes back. Until someone takes up arms or, or, or summons a god. False god. If the twelve are watching us, what are they thinking? What are they thinking when they see the strong hurt the weak? When people fight and die and nothing gets better. And it just goes on and on and on. There is no justice, just us. You'd have to ask them. <laughs> you 
You'd have to ask them. I don't think the gods listen to people like me. Thanks for listening. I know I was just rambling, but I feel better somehow. Who knows what the answers are, or if there even are any. Either way, life goes on and we've got to go with it. Sorry, that sounded better than... That sounded better in my head. I must be getting tired. Time to turn in, I think. Tomorrow's another day, eh? Let us see what it brings. Sleep well, Pyro. What is Uther taking his drink? Just ice. If you ever tell a joke that bad again, I'm gonna stab you in the neck with a soldering iron. And I'm gonna make you, <laughs> you know, we do the things we do in order to keep our people safe. Uh, no, it's like turning into Trump. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom! Excuse me for a moment, chat. Uh, Mag Magildur, thanks so much for subbing with a tier one for five months. I appreciate that. And Kataxi, thanks again for gifting ten fucking subs. I, thank you. I, di I just did the trial. Yeah, I actually just did it. Donald Walken. There is something to be said for a home-cooked meal, is there not? We must cherish these moments, fleeting as they are. Flight will always be the fight will always be there, waiting for us to return. Oh my god, side quests and more. Level 68! Alphanode hopes that you're ready to rejoin the main host. Not quite. Ah, Pyro, might I trouble you for a moment of your time? War Chief, a moment of your time. I've only done 10 quests today. I still have 20 quests. <sighs> this is a Beast Tribe quest. Come back and do it later. I've only done 10? A lot of distractions today, I know. I feel like, I've, I, yeah. Alpha Note hopes that, Alpha Note hopes that you're ready to rejoin the main, yeah, 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 yeah. At least you had fun, exactly. 20 quests to finish 4.0, yeah. All right. Okay, we're gonna start to grind here. We're gonna. Okay, hold on. I need to go. I need to run downstairs. Sarah Balding, thank you so much for gifting ten subs to the channel. Thank you. Don't force it. It's fine, guys. Kataxu, thank you for gifting ten more subs to the channel. Insane. Insane. Thank you both. Thank you very much. 
Why two Kovu? <laughs> Thanks for the prime for two months, man. Appreciate that. Pyro in the membrane. How do you check this? Uh, what do you mean? If you open the link, it should open like a, a table that shows you. It's called Google Nun Nuts. Guys, be nice. <clears throat> I know it's annoying, but be nice. Jeez. What's in the can, man? It's a little, uh, Marionberry, uh, cider thing. Mean chat is mean. <clears throat> did Tylonius delete his own message? No. I did. Do you think you're gonna try to go all the way? We'll feel how we'll we'll find. Oh fuck! <clears throat> Sorry, I was. Uh, what I was saying was, we'll find out. I might just be feeling it. I might take a little less notes. Sometimes there's breaks in the story where that happens. Like that part right there, I had a lot more notes to take because of that primal. But then I'll hit a part of the story where I don't need to take hardly any notes. And I'll blaze through, like, ten quests pretty quick. But as you get towards the end of the storyline... <coughs> Excuse me. As you get towards the end of the uh, storyline, the plot tends to literally thicken. And uh, quests tend to get a little bit denser. 
So we'll see. Scions, a pleasure to have you with us again. You'll be happy to hear we've taken Alagiri and have already begun fortifying it as our... <clears throat> new base of operations in the peaks. Give a shout to the lads as you pass, eh? Will do. Whoopsie. Yeah, Zeno says fucking thick. With like four C's, bro. Mm. I remember how they laugh. Mahatoa had keeper eyes fangs, meaning she's not full blood seeker of the sun. Oh, that's Eager interesting. I did not notice that. Trading jokes as we marched east. Thank you for saying that. The peaks. Juicy.jpg. Beyond this last line of defenses lay the locks and the city. Breaching it would be no small feat. But we beat the Imperials back. Oh, no. Just like that. <laughs> That's and a good we one. liberated a village. The first nice. of many. Fuck yeah. Freedom! 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 This is freedom. Not that light bullshit. Not that, not that. Lakshmi bullshit. Free. This is freedom, brother. You know, the United States is the only country that ever did fight about or talk about freedom. Early. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Boy, we just sure do love our freedom, brother. <laughs> yeah. Your Bayou accent's crazy good. Shoot! I don't know what you're talking about, Cletus. It can get even more southern and a little more goofy than that. I got a long way to go, long range in this. I could do six, I could do so many different accents in this little country little slur. Get a little deeper, move it on over, uh, slow it down. And... <laughs> you sound like my uncle? <laughs> That's cool. America trademarked freedom. <laughs> Here we go, okay. As you can see, this part of the peaks is much higher than the northern reaches, hence why the Imperials built Specula Imperior Imperatoris where they did. Wow, Specula Imperatoris. What the fuck is that? Is that a fucking cat? What the fuck is that? See those three towers to the east? No. That's her. Sits right on the edge of a cliff, so attacking from the north is a fool's errand. From the south, on the other hand, she's no different from any other Imperial installation. You see now why Villadina was so important, eh? Right then. Come along. They're waiting for us in Alagiri. Okay, we better we best get there. Whoa, look at that. What the fuck is that over there? Is that just like a huge chunk of ether sticking out of the ground? What is that? Oh, Valmir's over there, hello. It's like a beacon in the sky right there. What the fuck was that? Dude, look at that. Damn. Sud. Oh no, can those stay the fuck away from me? To the southeast? Oh my! Those things are fucking terrifying. What the shit? Another one? Oh, it's probably up there. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. Is that a giant grasshopper? A chapuli? 
You're gonna dodge a bully? That is wicked. I see our captain has found himself a ship. Dude. Don't forget your com your companion. Yeah, I always fucking... I'm literally the worst. Cavaldier? That cricket is out for revenge. It'll get destroyed. Again. Dude, that is... Yeah, that's very cool. What is that again? Sorry, what's that? It's a thing. Does your map name it? Noon Krebs Hope? Is that what I'm looking at? A thingy, a thing on a mountain. It's Noah's Ark. Hmm. Looks pretty sick. Visually, this zone is very, uh, very pleasing. And look at that, dude. The fuck, Alagiri. Damn. Holy shit. Umbral Calamity shit. Apparently. Got a little intense. Here we are. The new base of operations for the Alliance and the Resistance. Let's go, dude. Yo, what's up, Raban? Ah, there you are. What up? Greetings, General. I see you've been quite busy in our absence. Less than you may imagine, the Imperials fled at our coming, <clears throat> and we took the village without a fight. Your timing is, Im is impeccable. We were about to discuss our strategy to seize Specula Imperatoris. Though we are fresh from the road, we should be glad to attend. Let's get in there. Good. Take a moment to gather yourselves and join us when you're ready. Okay. The first of many. Exploring here is encouraged. Okay. Naga would rather not keep General Alden and the others waiting. Let's see what y'all gotta say. <clears throat> so that's why the village was unharmed. Mm. I didn't know why the Imperials would abandon Alagiri without a fight, but I'm glad they did. Rather cowardly of them, uncharacteristically so. I think we're getting baited. I mean, we're just getting baited farther into Imperial territory, aren't we? <clears throat> Seems dangerous. I'd say the armory army is liberating as the as the go. Yeah. Yeah. Monago would rather not keep General Alden and the others waiting. Well, you heard the flame, General. Looks like we've got a meeting to attend. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's get in there. <clears throat> I like Yuri. This is beautiful. The fuck was that? Hold on.
probably clean that and try to stick it back up. <clears throat> All right. We had like a mirror stuck to like the inside of the uh, the shower, so I can just shave in the shower with a mirror. It's kind of nice to have. And uh, it fell. It was fucking loud. So that's what that was. We're haunted. That's the only explanation. We're fucked. It's over. Enjoy your time with Monago and her kin. Aye, that's what I want to hear. Too many sailors forget the importance of time away from all this. So, the Imperials underestimated us once, and they paid dearly for it. They may not be so easily deceived next time. But if we cannot fool them, we will simply have to break them. My man. Everything appears to be in order. Very good, very good. Awesome. And officer? On behalf of the Elder Seeds here, I thank you for all your swift and decisive action against the Imperial Menace. We are not unaware of the danger it posed to our fair nation. You know what? The music is loud as fuck. There we go. other one. Oh. Cool. I have to text my brother something really quick. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Uh, Kataksu, welcome. Or not welcome, but, you know. Welcome back. 121 total gifted subs. 50. 50 right there. 50 gifty, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get some spam in the chat. Please. There we go. <clears throat> These dodges are beyond easy. Yeah, dude. Easy dodge. If you dodged, you're a god. Keep working on it. Guess you ha I guess you uh, have a story to read tomorrow. Yes, I do. I do have one to read tomorrow. I'm still going to... Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll still stream tomorrow. Plus 60 on decks for the dodges. Oh, yeah. That everyone? Let us begin. Alagiri is ours, and for a mercy we took it without losing a single man. But we dare not grow complacent. Speculo Imperatoris will not be so easily won. If I may, General, shall we not pause to consider the Imperial's motivations? If for Xenos to surrender a fortified settlement, settlement of strategic importance with so much as... Without so much as firing a shot is inexplicable. We searched the village and found no traps or other signs of sabotage. Suspicious though it may be, I will not refuse this gift from our enemy. The path to Alamigo is through the east, through Specula Imperatoris, and Castrum Alba uh, Abania. It bears repeating, however, that the latter is home to a massive cannon with unparalleled range and destructive power. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty bad. Which means that we need to to strike Specula Imperatoris quickly, both to limit their ability to locate our forces in the field and to utilize the installation as a shield against attack, as they would doubtless not risk damaging the towers. I see. Then we have no choice but to accept what we've been given. Aye, that's the that's the way of it. I've no doubt that Xenos has has got something planned. We'll just have to deal with it when the time comes. <clears throat> to the assault, then. The main host will commence a direct assault on Specula Imperatoris. 
During this time, I would hold the Scions in reserve at Alighieri to deal with any Imperial forces that may be dispatched in response. Understood. Wait a minute! We should be fighting with you in the Resistance! I understand you don't want to rely too much on Pyro after what he's been through, but at least let the rest of us do our part. <clears throat> Thanks. If she wants to fight, I say let her fight. Fuck it. Don't die. Thanks. I knew you would understand. That, I mean, yeah, no problem. Mayhap it would be best if I accompanied you. Alice can stay with Pyro. Oh, go if you must. The two of us can take care of ourselves. <laughs> she probably didn't have that sass behind it, but that's how I'm gonna... You have your orders. Dismissed. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, yes, sir. That was Def Sassy? Probably. It's Alize. Meanwhile, deep within an Imperial research facility. Oh, God. That looks like some Alagon tech right there. <clears throat> Cryo, please. Who the? Oh, shit. My head. Hold on, man. Fuck it. Hello? Yeah, hello. Okay, maybe maybe it was just mine, maybe yours wasn't yet. <clears throat> maybe I read it wrong. I'll check again, but I'm streaming, so I have to go. Yeah, yeah I know. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, bye. Let us see. Why are you guys saying blind? How do you know I didn't see it? And how do you know I saw it and I... Jesus, you... Okay, listen. How do you know that I didn't see it and just haven't said anything about it? Like, why are you saying blind? How, how are you so... How are you positive? I, I didn't... I didn't really look away, like, at all. What the fuck is with my mouse? Hello? Hello, mouse? Hello? Mouse, can you work? Hello? Okay. Weird. So, she lives. Impressive. Or merely lucky, though that too may prove a useful trait.
My lord, what have you done to me? Though we Guardians are intellectually and physiologically superior in almost all respects, we <laughs> lack the hereditary traits required for the reliable manipulation of ether, hence our unique inability to wield magics. The Garleans have, like, little dick syndrome or something. They're so fucking butthurt by the fact that they can't use magics that they are trying to justify that they're intellectually and physiologically superior than others. Because they have little dick syndrome about the fact that they can't wield magic. Wow. Whack. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> This deficiency, for want of a better word, <laughs> saw us subjected to decades of oppression by the lesser races, and we were eventually driven to seek shelter in the cold northern reaches of Ilsabar. Oh, that kind of sucks. Okay, that's kind of sh- I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, <clears throat> said Regent, was replete with vast deposits of ceruleum, which proved instrumental in the development of Magitech, a revolutionary technology conceived to compensate for our disadvantage.
it was with Magitek that we grew strong, that our nation became an empire. Yet, ultimately, this was an extrinsic solution to an intrinsic problem. What I wanted was not a crude device to be used in lieu of magic. of the Garlean genome, I argued that it might be possible to enhance a subject's ability to manipulate ether, effectively empowering them to wield magics. Alas, my theories were met with consternation in the Imperial Court. Only Lord Xenos, with commendable foresight and wisdom, deigned to support my research. You gave me this treatment, but I'm not Garlean. Alamegan, through and through. What you have been granted is far greater than mere magic. Before that lesser light, it is as a second sun. I am informed that Alagiri was recently occupied by the Resistance, and that an attack on Specular Imperatoris is considered imminent. This could provide an ideal opportunity to test her performance in the field. Your... Skulls, was it? They have joined the garrison at the Watchtower. Yes, my lord. By your leave, I would rendezvous with them and lead a counter-attack against the insurgents. No. Even were you to leave now, you would not arrive in time. There is another duty I would entrust to you.
So, uh, how many times has Xenos altered himself? Because that's probably why this motherfucker has, like, superhuman strength, right? He let this mad scientist fucking jack him up. With this Alagon shit. He's mega juiced! Grr, he's ready to Fuck fucking you. smash faces, dude, and cut down mountains! He's built like a fucking brick shit house, and Bancred knows what they're doing. <sighs> Xenos, you motherfucker. Why are you so strong? Ah, uh, well, you know. We can't wield magic, so I just made myself mega powerful. So full of fire and eager. So fucking hell. Let me read that again. So full of fire and eager, weren't they? Well, I wouldn't worry too much. They're strong and they have each other. At least he spared me the trouble of having to speak up. Atronave! Gifting 10 subs to the community. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. We've been going for a while now and uh, I appreciate that the y'all are still hanging in there with me. <laughs> Trying to push through yonder, brother. At least he spared me the trouble of having to speak up. I wasn't about to let Lee go alone. Can we get some Pyram gift in the chat, please? Get some Pyram gift spam. Hello, please. Hello. You motherfuckers be gifting shit. You gotta spam the shit. You have support, you know. Thank you very much, Atrene, for gifting ten sabarinos to the channel. I do appreciate. Thank you. Hi, Kai. Ooh, I'm so sorry if I said this wrong. Kayundere, Kayundere, Kayundir, Kayundere. I tried. You planning to finish MSQ tonight? We're gonna try. Okay. Xenos is a juicer, dude. Yo, what's up? What's up, Ashes? What's good? HP78, thanks for the prime. Welcome to the garden, Sprout. Close enough. I'm trying. What? what a mad lad. What a mad lad. He's got a juicy ass. That's true, dude. You can set a drink on that shit. Arden VT, welcome back. You mean 4 0, right? Yeah. Not all of MSQ. I don't know. Yeah, no. I don't know why. Yeah, don't, ass don't assume that. Xenos with the Alagon dump truck implants. It's the effort that counts. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying Stormblood. I am. I am, actually. It's gotten uh, much better as it's gone on. It's gotten more interesting, more twisted. Yeah, this one's got. This expansion has, like, some dark shit in it. I mean, so did Heaven's Ward, but. Some of the stuff is like, it's made me like physically uncomfortable. Like, Garlemald, uh, it's pretty twisted. Xenos and Yatsuyu and all that is just fucking twisted. We have a fair bit of ground to cover, so we should split up. If you come across any Imperial soldiers, you know what to do. Shit gets darker from here on. Oh, God. It definitely gets better as it goes along. 4.2 is probably my favorite. Okay, okay. Nah, man, go for the 87-hour stream and do all the MSQ. <laughs> How was Lakshmi? Did you rest your weary soul in her bosom? <laughs> well, the first time I jumped off because I didn't have my ability and I didn't want to get MC'd or whatever was going to happen to me, whatever I thought was going to happen, so I jumped off. And I missed the in-fight cutscene that you get. So everybody wiped. And then we did it again. And then I saw it. And it was glorious. And it was worth the reset. And now here we are. <laughs> Did I miss you reading the uh, Lakshmi theme lyrics? Uh, no, I have not read them actually. But I actually have, well, not on stream. I've read them a while ago. I've listened to that song before. Before I, uh, before I played this game. That was actually the first song I think that I was introduced to. Maybe not the first, but... Yeah, Lumino had me listen to that actually a, a long time ago. So I was kind of familiar with the concept of her. It may have been, yeah, because we were talking about A&R in World of Warcraft. <laughs> and talking about how A&R was basically like that. Yeah. 
Oh, and so you know, I send word to Arenvald's squadron. They're already searching other nearby areas, so we have allies in the event, uh, in the event we encounter anything beyond our means. Did you notice what was in the background of the last cutscene? Um, the, the one with Xenos? Maybe I, maybe I didn't. Whoopsie! Whoopsie! I can go watch it again, though, and see it, I think. But that's alright. I did not see it, I don't think. Guys, chill. Chill. Chill, 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 chill. I don't know what that is. Love the stream, man. Thanks, Created Chaos. That glam, though? Thanks. I like it. Looks good. Yo, Azazel, thank you for subbing with a Prime. I appreciate that. Thanks. It'll come up again. Cool. That's okay. If we're going to see it again, then it's fine. OG BLM? Mm-hmm. Fuck off, big Chapula. Chapuli. Chapuli. Fuck you, Chapuli. Do you have a list of things you want to do once you catch up in the MSQ? No, because I don't even know what the fuck is at endgame in this game. I don't even know what endgame is. I don't have a list of shit. I don't even know what's going to be. I don't know. I want to play the game as well as, like, read about and learn about the game. You know, I want to be a player of the game as well. <laughs> and my experience in this game does extend past just beating the game. So, um, I don't, I don't really know. There's a lot of stuff to do, and there's no rush to do any of it. So. See ya. ERP is endgame. What do you think so far of MSQ? I think it's rather good. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty fucked up. I like uh, the darker shit. The shit that kind of makes me like really uncomfortable. <laughs> to an extent. To an extent. Have a foul. Mm. That did not feel good. Awesome Sauce Ultra. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Thank you. You reckon you're going to be focused more on the Savage rating? Uh, on Endgame or all jobs or a bit of everything? E probably everything. Probably everything. I would like to do Savage. I would like to do Ultimates. I would like to do House stuff. I kind of want to do everything. That's, you know, that's what you do in MMOs, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too terribly focused on one specific thing, but let's just say I'll have a lot of options and it'll be nice. But we'll, we'll worry about that later. Buying the big house or apartment? We're not, I'm not, well, not buying a house. We're uh, trying to get into a different rental. Something bigger with a bigger yard for the dogs. Something nicer. You know. Kind of upgrade a little bit. Um, so. Oh, in the game. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. I, I think I'd probably just want to get a house. Uh, but, you know, what do you think, man? I'm glad to hear, I'd be glad to hear your input. What do you think? Sorry. House is very hard. Yeah, I don't know. I could maybe try to get one. I'm not, I'm not. Everyone says everything is hard and I'm not saying that it's not hard. And I know that it's a big time investment, but I've done some long grinds in my life, man. I've done some long grinds, man. I play RuneScape. I'm almost maxed in RuneScape. 
That should tell you something. So grinds are grinds, but uh, I've done some grinds, man. There were some grinds I did in WoW that I'm not really proud of that I kind of wish that I didn't do. <laughs> RuneScape? Yo, RuneScape is a fucking grind. Y you did crush the Kugane Tower. Yo, I game. Usually. Sometimes I don't game. Yeah, Cameron, it says it's actually there now. You 99 runecrafting? It's one of my last 99s to get. But is that shocking? No. I am 2227 total, so I need 50 total levels. And it's 699s that I have left. I just, uh... I'm close to woodcutting. I'm really close. I'm actually 98. Then I'm like four levels from Slayer. But Slayer's fun, so I'm kind of saving that for later. Then I have fishing. That's a 91, because I'm just, you know, fishing is... It's just kind of an AFK boring grind. It's kind of like woodcutting. Right now, I'm just chopping redwoods. I have agility. Shocker. Which is like 87. It's not even 90 yet. And then I have hunter, which I'm just passively doing while I'm doing my other skills, and that'll be 99 by the time I get like agility and fishing done probably so revolted sin thank you for gifting a sub to eggman br thank you for s oh that's your first one thanks so much is this osrs yes it's old school runescape yeah fuck a runescape 3 everything listen runescape 3 is easy xp mode dude i'm telling you Give me a moment, Pyro. Yeah, and then they want you to go for 120 in, in that game. Like, that's insane. No thanks. 114 mil XP. I'd rather fucking drown. Say that again if you would. Hmm. No. No. Maintain your distance for now. Understood. Keep me apprised of any developments. What's going on, Alice? Say, fill me in. That was Aaron Vald. The pair was. Uh, the pair that was spying on us in the fringes has followed us here. What about you, Pyro? Any trouble? No. Not really. And there I was thinking we might be due for some peace and quiet. Glad to hear you dealt with them. I don't know what you're talking about, Alze. I have no idea what... I don't know what she's talking about. Ooh, woonscape. Does material UI change where your bars are? Or just reskin the interfaces? Just a reskin. That's all it is. I used to play RuneScape 2 before it became RuneScape 3. And it may be a good game. It may be. But they destroyed something. That was very important to a lot of people. And a lot of time and a lot of progress that is lost that can never be regained. You understand me? And my account now, in old school, is way better than it was back in 2012. But... You know. It just, it all disappeared. I wonder how many people uh, Alizé and Alphano have killed at this point, which is an interesting thought since they're 16. Yeah, they're going to be fucked up by the time that they're like 18 years old. If they're not already traumatized, like, I... I... But they're hyper-intelligent, so they'll just like omega process through it because they're so smart that they don't have emotions, right? <laughs> I hope the assault on Speculate Imperatoris is going well. Yeah, me too. Hopefully no one's dying. Alfie was backstabbed by the Braves. Yeah, isn't that fucking traumatizing? People you enlisted, you, you you trusted, people you were trying to, you know, give hope to and all that nonsense. Stab you in the back. Start a fucking rebellion. And now look what's happening. We can now hear one-handed and still fucking people up. We need to get Rabon a magic attack arm. That's what needs to happen. Er... Genetically modify his genome to fucking grow it back. Sick. Make his sword, make his arm back You've as a sword. <laughs> yeah. Just a sword that he just swings. Come now, father. You lured the fool onto my blade and do not try to deny it. You guys can talk later. Go kill someone. Kill, go help these people. Our work here is all but done. <laughs> what of Conrad and his men? I'm just kidding. They are for the main tower. The skulls have offered fierce resistance thus far. But Conrad seems to believe he can convince them to lay down their arms. Then we will tend to the stragglers down below. With me!
All right, here we go. Exciting. Whoa. Look at all this. Report. Enemy forces have overrun the lower facilities and appear to be mounting an assault on the main tower. We have already received a request for reinforcements. A unit of legionaries has been mustered and is ready to depart. They await your orders, Commander. Stand down. She's been like having headaches since her Commander? operation. Like she was like holding her head there earlier. I mean, I but they implanted a thing into her brain. Tell them to stand down. Commander, if I may, our people, your people are still in there. They will be slaughtered. You think I don't know that? I want nothing more than to help them. To lead the bloody charge. But I have my orders. Lord Zeno said no reinforcements. He would have us use the main cannon to destroy the installation. What? Kill our own soldiers? You must be mistaken. the firing sequence. Wars are won on the backs of the dead. Theirs and ours. There is no truth but this. We must remain firm and resolute and always, always do our duty. Now, give the order. Her VA is really good, dude. Ooh, that was really good. Initiate firing sequence. Aye, aye. Initiating firing sequence. Release safety locks. Deploy main cannon. Okay. That's Fred. Frudolf. Emlyn. For us. For our people. For our future. I need you to confirm the target, Commander. Hold on, guys. I'm really sorry. This is very important. Okay. Wait. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Oh, that's awkward. Sorry. 
It's about the, uh... It's about the... Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I need you to confirm the target command. Okay. Specular Imperatoris, main tower. Fire when ready. So she blacks out and you hear the sound of like electronics working within her within her head, it sounds like. This is fucked up. Oh, that was kinda sick though. What in the seven hells? That's fucked up. She's gonna get mind control. Long range artillery. Those treacherous bastards. Their people were still fighting. Full retreat. Now! Relay the orders! Understood. Why are you guys spamming Pyram blind? You guys are so annoying. It couldn't have possibly been anything that fucking important. They were shooting a cannon. I was, you know, I was watching. I saw the cannon shoot. It hit the fucking building. Relax. All forces retreat. I repeat, all forces retreat. Yeah, spam it like I missed fucking Shin Shinrayu coming out of the fucking ground. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh. My camera like froze. Hello, camera. Hello, camera. Because we don't have a pyro death mode. Because we don't have a. Ah! Oh. You missed the weird cat outside Pyron blind. What? Like, I don't understand. I saw all of this. You guys are so annoying. I heard it too, didn't you? It must have been the cannon at Kastramabanya. Abania. But that was an Imperial installation, and their troops were still... Damn it, no one's responding. I don't know if the shell is being jammed or... We have to go right now. They need our help.
Hmm. How many quests until the end? A 4 0. I think I'm gonna call it, man. It's getting hot in here and I wanna play with my friends. It's Friday night, so. That's 10 hours, though, today. We're not gonna do 12. But we'll do 10. It was a long day, man. With a lot of distraction initially, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm probably not gonna finish, no, I'm not gonna finish for tonight, evidently at this point. And if we're gonna stream tomorrow, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be too insane tonight, you know? Um, so for every 100 subs, we are gonna read one of the, uh, one of the Lodestone short stories. Um, and tomorrow, if you come to the stream, that's, that's what's going on. Um, and we'll fucking go through all the ones that are available if, if people want, and, you know, if we, if we get to that point. But, uh, there's 16 of them to go through, so it's a lot. I think we already have one tomorrow. Is that spoilery? Not for all of them. It's been eight hours? No, it's been ten. Because I had to restart the stream earlier, and I had been streaming for an hour and 50 minutes at that point. So it's been 10. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to fucking, we're going to raid my brother. So everybody, I need all of you. I need everybody to do this. Oh, he's got a camera for the first time. Yeah, buckle up, Cameron. He's looking at his stream now. He's about to, oh God. Buckle up. All right. Buckle, buckle up, dude. So we're going to, we're going to host my brother. He's streaming MSQ. He's level six, uh, what is that? 52, 62, going into Heaven's Ward. And uh, I just, I'm not asking that you follow. I'm not asking that you sub. If you want to do those things, you're more than welcome to. But just to show a little love to the brother and uh, drop, uh, drop a, a bunch of people on him. I'd really appreciate that. I'm sure he would as well, so. Solid prog, thank you. We didn't get as much done today as I wanted to, but it is what it is. We'll get more done tomorrow. So everybody, click that join raid button. Again, I'm not asking anything crazy. Just go uh, spam a couple emotes, show a little bit of love, and then you can dip out if you, you know, whatever you want to do. So, but he's pretty cool. We're pretty similar. We have a pretty similar sense of humor. He's a little bit, uh, we, uh, you'll, you'll see. He's fucking hilarious, though. He's one of my, uh, one of the funniest people I think I know. But anyway. You'll see. So, anyways, thank you all for an amazing stream today. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the tons of gifted subs. He's younger. He's younger by two years. Be nice to him, please. Um, but yeah. Thank you, guys. Is he, is he 18? He's, he's older than 18, yes. He's over 18. And don't spoil him. Well, I mean, he, yeah, don't spoil big, don't spoil anything, you know, please don't do anything like that crazy. He's not 19 either, no, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you his age, why would I tell you his age, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm trying to grind that MSQ, bro, I'm trying to get into the Shadowbringer shit, bro, I'm trying to get there. So, let's get there. I'll see you guys later.